I decided to go live early and didn't tell anyone. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Let me set up my command. Wait. Uh, I didn't change anything to be like, um, playing, no, working on finishing all of the achievements in my single player Stardew Valley save. We're on spring of year three. I don't have like a farm emote. I don't know what to, hmm, one second. Simsy Dino, perhaps? Oh, Simsy Cowplant, that, duh. There we go. Command set, that's fine. Problem solved. I swear, Moobot is always so laggy. I need a different bot. This website is like, not the best. Anyway, hi everyone. I have arrived. <laughs> I should probably, oh, hot coffee, hi, you're the first one. Hello, it's just you and me right now. Nobody else is here. <laughs> Trixie, hi. It's <laughs> just us three. There's no one else. Um, you're the you're the only ones here. I didn't tell anyone I was gonna stream, so. Spidey! You too! Oh, it's just the four of us now. <laughs> My hair is falling out. Oh, anyway. Um, hi everyone, we're gonna play some Stardew Valley today. Uh, I'm gonna play on my single player save because I just really want to. Um, I'll show you around in a second. I'm gonna give people a chance to come in. Um, hey, Pan, what's up? Nice to see you too. Oh, I was gonna post my Twitch link in the Discord and be like, oh, I'm live, by the way, because I didn't tell anyone I was gonna stream early because I didn't even know. I'm live. Should I? I should probably, like, notify people. Huh. At notifs, I'm live early. Sorry. Yeah, that works. Anyway, hi guys. <laughs> Are notifications going out? <laughs> okay, cool. Now it's not just me. <laughs> now there's a chat. I didn't, um, like I said, I didn't say I was gonna stream early today because even I didn't know I was gonna stream early. And then I just decided I wanted to farm. So uh, now I'm gonna farm. Hi everyone. Oh, I'm also wearing a YouTube sweatshirt right now. Um, is that allowed? <laughs> No, of course it is. <laughs> Imagine Twitch is like, you can't wear that. TOS. Banned. Banned. <laughs> Brooke, uh, Elisa, thank you both for the, the resubs. Thank you so much, you guys. Why am I streaming? Wh why are you streaming, lol? Because I want to farm. You ever just want to farm? Because I do. <laughs> okay, well, anyway, let me get my game. I think... Um, I'll show you around my single player save. This is the one that I've been playing a bunch recently on my own time. Um, oh, this this video is not brought to you by EA Game Changers, <laughs> by the way. This is uh, not not The Sims 4. <laughs> Nancy Hogwarts, uh, Sim Brooke, thank you guys for the resubs and bits. Thank you so much. <laughs> Anyway, um, I've been playing a lot of Stardew Valley in my free time the last, like, month and a half or so. Um, as you can see, I've got a couple of hours on this save that I've been playing on. Um, <laughs> a bunch of hours, in fact. So, yeah. Um, anyway, this is my save. I need to decorate my house some more. I'll show you guys around in a second. Uh, Artemis, Avli, Alicia, thank you guys for the resubs also. Thank you so much. Um, Vianne, thank you for the five months. Can you get a birthday song? Psh, yes. <laughs> no, we're not playing with Dan. I'm playing on my own. Um, I didn't ask Dan if he wanted to farm today. I just was like, I really want to play my single player save. So I'm gonna, I wanted to play this all day. You don't understand. I'm, I'm working on like completionisting this game. I'm, I'm getting close. So for example, the achievements. I only have to finish cooking every recipe and crafting every item. I only have one recipe left to cook and I don't have a sea cucumber and I can't get one until the fall, so it doesn't even matter. But like, I'm, I'm very close to finishing. Like, I caught all the fish. I've shipped all the items. I mean, like, I'm, we're doing this. We're gonna do this. Not today. I need more time than just today. But we're, it, we're doing this. <laughs> um, yeah, thank you for the seven months. Peachy, thank you for the two months. Witchy, thank you for the sub gift. Plancy, thank you for the bits. Uh, Zai, thank you for the four months. Rachel, thank you for the 13 months. Kate, thank you for the five months. Love, thank you for the six months. 
Awesome, thank you for the 15 months. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much, you guys. It's good to see you. <laughs> I only have one kid in this save, but uh, my character is pregnant. You can't really see because they don't, like, show. But Elliot asked me if I wanted to have another kid the other day, so... I forget how um, many days it's been, but I have one. This is Harry Styles. Um, <laughs> his name is Harry, and he's got a watermelon headband on. Hence, um, Harry Styles. Oh, wait! Hang on, 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 hang on. Tea leaves! This is my tea room, except all of these kegs have, um, not tea in them, and instead... They've got, uh, ancient fruit wine in them. So. <laughs> yeah, you can have a baby with, um, whoever your person marries. Um, they'll, they'll, like, ask you if you want to have a kid or adopt a kid or whatever. Like, they'll, there's, like, a random chance once you're married in Stardew Valley and once your house is big enough. Like, once you have the upgrade to have the kid's bedroom. You can see the bedroom up here. Once you have the upgrade, um, your partner will be like, hey, do you want to have a kid? And then you'll be like, yes. Or possibly no. Um, and then... Like, two weeks later, you either give birth or adopt. <laughs> and that's how it works. So. Yes, you can indeed have children in Stardew Valley. Shocking. Very exciting. How am I? I'm good, thank you. Luna, thank you for the eight months. Uh, Yasmin, thank you for the three months. Katie with the bits. Mother loved. Uh, Janine, Sims fan. Bub, Kara, Canadian Apple Puff. Thank you all for the bits and subs, too. Thank you so much. Um, no, the kids don't look like a player. The kids just, I think they just always have brown hair. And they don't grow up past that little toddler stage. Um, so they just sort of all look the same. Yeah, with the new update, you can move the greenhouse. So I moved mine down here. My farm is still kind of a work in progress. Um, please don't look at me. Or my farm. Um, but I moved my greenhouse. <laughs> it's central now. I'm sure there's mods to make the kids look more like you. Oh. Cat has arrived. So. <laughs> Jude, thank you for the two months. Luna, thank you for the eight months. Um, but I'll show you around the farm in a second. But um, I just, you know, cat wanted attention really fast. So I had to, <laughs> had to show you. So the reason I have a lot of money is because I have a greenhouse full of ancient fruit. This, this is exactly why I have a lot of money in this game. Because, um, you grow a lot of ancient fruit, these things keep regrowing, and then you make them into wine, which you then age. Which, I haven't gotten any aged wine yet, but, um, you make them into wine. Oh! I have to bring these to Pam. Don't mind me, don't mind me. Oh my goodness. Okay, bringing to Pam. See? <laughs> um, dude, thanks again for the two months, though. How do you get the trees off to the side? Persephone, you can plant trees uh, in the greenhouse off to the side of your crops. Like, all around the side of the greenhouse, even at the top, um, you can put trees around the greenhouse. That's not a mod. That's just a thing. It's always been that way. Ancient fruit is better than star fruit, Tiffany. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you can plant uh, trees in your greenhouse around the side of it. I need more kegs, but I don't have enough oak resin, so we have to work on that today, too. <laughs> that is our plan. Um, okay. That's not the right chest. I need to- oh, I have so much stuff I need to, like, organize better. We really have a lot to do. Folks, this is- we're gonna be here all day. And we have a lot to do. Minty, sure you can get Junos with Starfruit, but as far as, like, money goes, Ancient Fruit is the better crop to plant. Starfruit's a close second, though. Like, what I usually do in the greenhouse, until I have the whole thing full of Ancient Fruit, is I'll put, like, as many Ancient Fruit as I can, and then fill the rest with Starfruit. Um, and then you, like, slowly split surely. If replace it all with star fruit or ancient fruit. I mean, once they grow, um, and you never have to replant the ancient fruit. Like once it grows, it just keeps growing, which is why it's so useful because it just keeps reproducing ancient fruit once you've got it grown. So, um, much much better <laughs> in the long run, I assure you. Okay, we have to put uh, these twelve things in Pam's kitchen. Maybe I'll go do that now. But anyway, hello everyone. Oh, do you want to see my ostrich? Look. That's my ostrich. <laughs> um, Pascal, thank you for the four months. Vanity, thank you for the two months. Uh, Krista, thank you for the thousand bits. Yeah, I, I'm not a huge fan that they, they never grow up past the toddler stage either, but I guess it kind of makes sense because they don't really, like, you know, they have years that go by in Stardew Valley, but like, you know, no, none of the other townies age, like the, like Vincent and Jas never grow up, you know, like the kids sort of just stay the same age. Um, so if your kids started growing up and getting older than like Vincent and Jas, it would be kind of weird. Um, you cannot see the ostrich. What do you mean? He's right here. You can see the ostrich. 
<laughs> He's right there. There's ostriches um, with the new update. Uh, after 1.5, you can eventually get an ostrich egg from the island. So, you couldn't before? Oh. Well, that's not my problem. <laughs> Jasmine, thank you for the bits. <laughs> Happy birthday. Um, Beth, thank you for the bits. You got your first prismatic shard just a second. Oh, do you want to see my prismatic shards? <laughs> How do you have that many? Once you go, um, once you get good at the skull caverns, it's really easy to get a lot of prismatic shards. Um, it's, it's the skull caverns. <laughs> There's just a lot of them. Uh, there's there because they show up pretty easily from iridium nodes um so once you've gone deep into the skull caverns like they're pretty easy to come well not easy to come across but you get a lot of them like i i got six of them in one day the other day in the skull caverns and i'm not kidding six in one day i don't have any mods <laughs> it wasn't even a good luck day <laughs> it was just a regular day <laughs> um Krista, thank you for the bids um, yeah, it would be fun if people grew up and, like, aged in this save, or in this world, but I would also be a little bit sad if, uh, like, people died or something. Like, if George died, I would be really upset. So I'm okay with people just not aging in Stardew. That is totally fine by me. Totally fine by me. <laughs> I don't mind. They can just stay how they are. Um, I've already done all of the thingies to get all of the, um recipes i think the one that i just did was the last one that i needed to do um are you with elliot now what do you mean now julie i've been playing like two saves on stream um the one that dan and i are playing is different from this one um this is the one that i've been playing like in my free time the past like couple, couple months or so um so my character is married to elliot in this save yeah uh alien thank you for the bits uh catherine thank you for the five months <laughs> Crayola, Dangerous Moth, thank you both for the bits. Uh, Sully, thank you for the 10 months. Thank you so much, you guys. Um, but... <laughs> oh, Caden, I remember. I remember you. Don't worry. I remember you telling me that. Leaf, thank you for the 7 months also. Did you know you can get a free sub to Lil Simsy with Twitch Prime? You mean to tell me that if you have Amazon Prime, you can connect your account and subscribe for free? Oh, so the people watch the rings that I'm using. Um, I combined two different rings. This one, um has uh it glows it's a magnet ring and a glow ring and it also increases attack damage and also um when you defeat an enemy it explodes <laughs> and this one uh, prevents damage from slimes um and adds more defense as well so that's what i've been using um when i've been going into the skull caverns and stuff i'm not on switch no i'm playing on pc <laughs> Uh, Lucy, thank you for the bits. Jules, thank you for the prime sub. Quark, thank you for the prime sub. Um, your skull cavern recipe for success. You've been doing eel for speed and a bit of luck. Um, uh, but you need to level up. No, spicy eel is a good thing to bring into the skull caverns. Um, like, I usually bring, like, a good quality food thing and some spicy eel and just a bunch of bombs. Like, that is how you do it. You can combine rings with the new 1.5 update. Uh, I don't want to spoil too many things, but you can combine rings, uh, if you go to the island that comes with the 1.5 update, and once you, like, get through the volcano, there's, like, a forge there, and you can enchant things, and you can, like, combine rings and all kinds of stuff like that. Um, so, yes, I have enchanted my sword <laughs> with a prismatic shard. In fact, I have enchanted all of my things. Um, uh, like, my watering can doesn't ever lose water now, it's bottomless. Um, my axe and my pickaxe are efficient, that means that you don't lose energy when you use them. Um the master fishing rod it means that you have like plus one fishing skill every time you use it um so i have like level 11 fishing basically um the hoe has it's like a bigger reach i'll show you in a second and then the haymaker galaxy sword um i probably should re-enchant this because that was the first one i got and then it, it was just so funny that i didn't want to change it there's like ones that give you better damage and like you know all this like cool you know combat type enchantments haymaker means when you use the sword to destroy weeds you have a chance of getting hay. <laughs> it's just kind of funny when you, I mean, it's, it's actually very useful, but it's like you, you go there. This is the first thing I got, keep in mind. So I like brought my prismatic shard. I get all the way through the volcano for the first time. I'm like enchanting my thing for the first time. What am I going to get? A uh, haymaker. <laughs> but it's pretty useful because you get hay and it automatically adds it to your silos so if you're like in the mines and you're you're cutting down weeds that are like growing in the early levels of the mines it adds hay to your silos 
even when you're not there. So that's honestly pretty useful. You got to admit. <laughs> um, Tanda, thank you for the bits, by the way. Uh, Brianna, thank you for the three months. Evie, thank you for the 11 months. Foxy, thank you for the three months. Gabby, thank you for the four months. Jelly, thank you for the 24 months. Shelby, thank you for the thousand bits. Um, Glitch, thank you for the prime sub. Also, um, Tanda, that's really funny uh, that you got Rod as a starter on your on your new Animal Crossing island. That he is one of my birthday twins. I've got two birthday twins um, in in Animal Crossing. No, this this is an origin game. <laughs> You can buy it on Steam. Um, it's not free. It costs fifteen dollars. Uh, what other questions did I see asked in chat a lot? Um, no, it's not like Terraria or Minecraft really at all. <laughs> um, I know that like the art style maybe is kind of similar, but just because they look kind of similar doesn't mean anything. People compare this game a lot to Animal Crossing too, um, which I I don't know. I guess they're both like kind of cozy games maybe, but I don't don't really think this game is anything like Animal Crossing <laughs> in like any way. Okay, so I need to, uh, I'm currently working on trying to max my hearts with everybody. I only have three left to do. I got Dwarf, Krobus, and Leo left to max hearts with and also my child, but you know, we're working on it. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna go grab some gifts and bring them around to people, but Dwarf, Krobus, no, Leo. Oh, wrong thing. No, 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 no. I wanted a mango. Okay, let's go gift. Let's go gift people things. Like an intense version of Harvest Moon. This game is inspired by Harvest Moon, so it's it's more like Harvest Moon, but I don't think a lot of these people that are saying this know what Harvest Moon is. Um, so my island is so, my island is so cool, Maggie. <laughs> We've been playing too much Animal Crossing. I say island by accident all the time. I do the exact same thing. I'm like, oh, my island. I need to work on my island. I just mean my farm. But I, I say the wrong thing all the time. <laughs> there is an island after the new update. Um, so, oh. <laughs> uh, there is an island with the new update. But anyway, I turned off a lot of the Moobot commands the other day. Um in preparation for the stream. I was like, the the PogChamp stream. And so most of them are still off. I need to put a lot of them back on. This is year three coffee. My I put it in my stream title. I'm on spring of year three right now. Where is Leo? It's Monday. I'm looking up the wiki. Oh, this is kind of a spoiler, by the way. I'm sorry, close your eyes. <laughs> if you haven't played much with, if you don't have um, a bunch of hearts with Leo yet, Close your eyes. <laughs> he definitely, there, there's, I didn't, I, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm, I'm late game, okay? Listen, it's, I, I'm sorry. <laughs> don't worry about it. Who is Leo? I don't know. I don't know who Leo is. Okay, I've no, I don't, I have no idea. No, so, um, everyone close your ears if you want, if you don't want spoilers. Everyone, please, uh, mute me. I'm not kidding. Mute me, and then I'm gonna explain. Mute me. Are you ready? Did you mute me? Okay, so, Leo, uh, is a character that lives on the new island in 1.5, and after you get a certain number of hearts with him, he comes and moves onto the- this farm, like, onto your- like, into Sturdy Valley, and he lives in that treehouse. Um, so he comes and, like, lives here, after you have enough hearts with him. Um, and he still goes and, like, stays on the island sometimes, but not always. So, anyway, um, he also, like, I seem to have misplaced Leo. Oh, it's Monday. Never mind, he's not here because he's on Ginger Island today. I thought it was a Tuesday. That's embarrassing. Well, <laughs> never mind. Yeah, you can unmute now. You can unmute now. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go bring this to my friend Krobus quickly. Okay. Hello, Krobus. I give you gift. Do you like me yet? Do you like me yet? <gasps> yes! Good. You do like me. Okay, perfect. Just Dwarf, Krobus, and Leo that we have to finish giving hearts to. Everything is fine. 
Everything is fine. Yeah, I have the golden scythe now. Um, yeah, I've got a lot of hearts with everybody. I have 10 hearts, or, like, max hearts with everybody, except for Krobus, uh, the dwarf, and Leo. So, <laughs> I'm getting there. We still have, um, a bunch of stuff to do, but we're getting there. So, the reason that I'm doing this, I'm trying to, like, perfectionist complete the game, right? Um, and so, I almost have all of the in-game achievements. The only two things I have to do left are cook every recipe and craft every item, um, I've already got everything else, like, I shipped all of the items, you know, I, I finished this one, I caught all of the fish, all the artifacts are got, all the minerals I've got, cooking, I've, I've cooked everything, I have all the recipes, I just don't have the, I can't craft lucky lunch yet, because, so basically, um, you can only catch that sea cucumber in fall and winter, and I thought I already had one, so I was like, oh, whatever, I don't need to bother catching one in winter, because, like, all I need is the blue jazz, so I'll just grow that in spring and then craft it, um, turns out I didn't have a sea cucumber, or a blue jazz. Now I have blue jazz, but I didn't, um, in the fall and winter, so I have to wait now until fall so that I can, I can get a sea cucumber so I can cook this last thing. Isn't that so annoying? But I thought I had one already. I had a super cucumber, but I thought I had both. <sighs> didn't, so we have to do that still. Uh, <laughs> I've, like, found all the walnuts already on the island, um, but yeah, for the most part, we just need to get the obelisks and, like, the golden clock. Um, but I don't have enough money to do that. So I think today, what I want to try and do, um, I think, so basically on the island, the new island, there aren't seasons. Like, crops grow there all year round. Um, and they just grow there. So I think what I want to do is, like, start building up an ancient fruit field on the new island. Um, so that we can, like have more ancient fruit growing all the time so we can get more money <laughs> um because i have a, a bunch of plants in the greenhouse and like i'm starting to age a bunch of wine and stuff obviously but um i need more i need to be rich rich because you need like two million gold to get all of the four obelisks and you need 10 million gold to get the golden clock so we have a lot of work to do um <laughs> as you can see so that is my goal I think we're just gonna try and start, like, planting a bunch of ancient fruit on the island. I have a bunch of pineapple planted there already. Um, oh, I was gonna show you guys- okay, so, the enchantment on the hoe, this is actually really cool. So, usually, the hoe, like, when you upgrade the hoes and all of the- the watering can too, um, the- the first one, like, you can only do, like, one tile at a time without any upgrades. And then you can do three at a time. And then you can do five. <laughs> um, and then you can do, like, a bunch. And if you, like, just hold it longer, it, like, starts adding more. This is with the, like, the enchantment. You can do this. Um, usually the max you can do is, like, the big, long one. This one. Um, but with the enchantment, you can do that, which is the size of an iridium sprinkler. Which is pretty useful. Um, so that's what the enchantment does. <laughs> um, which is interesting, right? So that's the, uh, oh, I did, I didn't even do it right. See? But that's the, the reaching enchantment. <laughs> Isn't that cool? But yeah, that's kind of fun. I, I've been having a lot of fun playing with the new update and stuff and, like, exploring all these new things. So, also, Concerned Ape uh, announced that he submitted the game, the update on consoles yesterday. It takes, like, a little bit for it to get approved, but he submitted the update, like, you know, to Sony or whatever um, for consoles yesterday. So, hopefully soon. Um we'll have the update out on console. It's probably gonna be a few weeks, um, but if you play on console, that's a, a quick update for you. <laughs> um, just, just so you're aware. Okay, well, I need to get... How many ancient fruit do I have in here? How much did I leave in here? This is an important question. Oh, so many. Okay, I'm gonna turn all of that, that 50 into seeds, I think. That will be my plan. This is my off-stream save, yeah. <laughs> that I am uh, currently streaming. <laughs> yeah, I've got an ostrich. That's another one of the things from the update um, that you can get. I can tell you how to get it if, if um, you want, but I might recommend people that don't want spoilers mute me again. <laughs> but let me know, should I explain how to get an ostrich? Um, <laughs> Don't want to spoil anything if people don't want spoilers, but, um, I am- I am welcome. Okay, everyone mute me, please. If you don't want to know how to get an ostrich because you want to find out yourself, mute me. 
And maybe close your eyes too. <laughs> and then I'll tell you in chat when you can come back. Oh, I guess that's not gonna work. Anyway, I won't, I won't show anything. Um, mute me. Mute me. I'm going to talk now. So mute me. Okay. So basically, on the island, which we'll go to tomorrow in game, I'll show you. On the island, you can get an ostrich egg a couple ways. Um, there's one, there's like a secret note you can find that tells you where to dig up one of the walnuts, and that walnut gives you an ostrich egg. And there's also a chance of getting an ostrich egg from the chests in the new volcano mines. Um, and then, once you complete the, like, little mini museum on the island, he gives you the recipe to make an ostrich egg incubator, and then you can incubate the ostrich egg, and then it takes, like, a week or two or something, and then an ostrich grows from the ostrich egg. And I've only gotten one ostrich egg yet, um, like, he- I- well, I got the one, and then I put it in the incubator, and then he grew, and then he laid one, so I sold it to finish the, like, shipment achievement. Um, but apparently, if you make mustard from the ostrich eggs, these are them, you get ten mustard from one. Just from one egg. Isn't that so interesting? Anyway, you can unmute now. <laughs> I'll shut up about ostriches. <laughs> um, but you're- you can come back now. <laughs> it's, it's safe again. <laughs> Um, anyway, I'm just trying to get more ancient fruit seeds that we can bring to the island. I don't know how many I'm gonna want. But- Oh, it's your birthday! Uh, did I say mustard? Oh, I meant mayo! <laughs> you don't get mustard from eggs in this game! I meant mayo! Did I say mustard? Okay, <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, that's that's obviously not what I meant. You don't turn eggs into into mustard. Um, but there's like mayo machines, like just regular mayo machines in the game, obviously, and you can turn uh, any of the eggs in the game into mayo. So, <laughs> ignore what I just said. <laughs> don't listen to me. I clearly uh, <laughs> have no idea what I'm talking about. <laughs> No, there's no, like, new mustard. No. Um. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Oops. Carrie Ellen, thank you for the 18 months, by the way. Tegan, Sammy, um, wow, thank you for the bits. Sammy, thank you for the three months. Uh, Flea, Bethany, Tegan, Mutt, Faye, Clocky, Witching, Pizza Burgers, Nameless, Tilly, oh no, Glitch, thank you all for the resubs. Oh, I've been so distracted talking about farms that I haven't even, oh no. Thank you all so much. I really appreciate that. Okay, um, Cinder, I'm planning on streaming regular time today. I'm not gonna get off early, unless something happens. Uh, Lacey, I don't want to harvest the potato, <laughs> so I'm not going to. I'll harvest it later in the season. Uh, I don't want to plant anything more there, because I don't- I can't be bothered. I probably should, but I can't be bothered to plant more things there. Uh, maybe I'll plant some kale. I don't know, something that'll grow fast. I just- I don't want to. Do I have any seeds I can plant? I've been sort of leaving them there on purpose because I don't want to deal with it. I have 26 potato seeds. Takes six days to mature. I can put some here. I'll grow some more potatoes right here. <laughs> and we can plant some other things tomorrow. I've sort of been avoiding having to put more things down. I got distracted because I was talking about starting one stream, obviously, and then... Now look at me. Um... There we go, more potatoes. You're welcome. You're welcome. Okay, I have 72 ancient fruits, that's pretty good. I think I'm gonna just turn all of these 20, or whatever, 19 I have left, um, into more ancient fruit, and then we'll go plant it on the island tomorrow, I think. Paisley, Redson, Carrie Ellen, thank you guys for the resubs. Thank you so much, you guys. I really, really appreciate that. Okay. Well. You know what? Maybe I'll put a Junimo hut right here instead of um, an Iridium sprinkler, and I'll bring these sprinklers with me. So I'll just I'll put a Junimo hut there eventually. That'll be fun. <laughs> no, Dom, I don't have enough. I'm I'm gonna try and buy the obelisk before I buy the Junimo huts. They're not that expensive. They cost like twenty thousand gold, but I want the obelisks first because you don't need Junimo huts to like complete the game. Um, and this is only my first season having all these fields. Uh, I like redid my farm in the winter and now it's only spring. Um, so it's not that I haven't considered getting Junimo huts, I just haven't yet. 
So, yes, it, most of the commands are off still from the stream the other night. So, um, I'm not going to play other games later, by the way. I'm playing Stardew Valley today. <laughs> Just so we're all aware. I'm not going to play The Sims later. I've played a lot of The Sims. Um, I literally played Sims, like, all day and night yesterday because of the new pack. Um, and I want to play Stardew today. I'm really sorry. Um, please don't guilt me, though. It makes me feel sad. <laughs> uh, you get Junimo Huts from the wizard. Once you, um, like, the wizard, he has a bunch of, like, fancy, like, kind of magic buildings you can get. Like, the warp totems. Um, that, like, basically the warp totems. I can show you once we're on the island, because I have one that takes me back to the farm. Um, but it's, like, a big magic tower. <laughs> um, that, like, or warp obelisk, I mean, that sends you back and to, like, a place. So you can get a tower that's, like, I click on this and it sends me straight to the, to the desert. It kind of works like these mini obelisks. Um, that, like, it warps me to the bottom of my farm in between the two of them. You can buy, like, these giant ones that warp you to other places uh, if you want from him, <laughs> which is kind of fun. Um, and you can also buy, like, the Junimo huts. That, they're, like, these little huts of little Junimos that come and help you harvest your crops. Um, so, like, that's a possibility that you can buy from him. Um, all such things. <laughs> um, but you can buy a bunch of cool things from the wizard. Like I said, you need to, like, to complete the game, you need to have all of the obelisks. Um, but they cost two million gold total to get them all. The, the ones to the desert and to the island cost a million each. Um, and the one, the ones to the mountain and to the beach cost 500,000 each. So I'm still trying to save up for them. I want to get the island one first. So I'm trying to save up a million gold to get the island one. Um, so... <laughs> <laughs> That's why I don't want to buy the Junimo huts yet, because I don't want to spend, like, it's only 40000 but I'm trying to get to the to the million gold, so I'm, like, trying to save it up, you know? <laughs> Thanks, Sid. Um, yeah, I turned off most of our regular commands um, for the stream, the like, the day that we were PogChamp. Like, I was just being overly cautious about people trying to harass us. I didn't really know what to expect, but... I was, I was just trying to be, like, super overly cautious about it in case people came here and tried to harass us. So, like, I've got commands that leaked some of my friends' streams, and I was like, you know what? I don't need them to, like, hunt through my commands and, and find my boyfriend, too, <laughs> if, they're, if they're trying to harass me, you know? So I was like, let's just hide every command ever <laughs> on my channel <laughs> on, on that day. And then nothing even ended up happening, but it's, it's always okay to be, like, overly cautious. Tomorrow is the flower dance. Can I dance with Krobus? No. <laughs> uh, Winter Sims, thank you, by the way, for the 12 months. I really, I really appreciate that again. Thank you. Um, okay. Well, let me put that away. You can see my ostrich down there. <laughs> um, we're going to go bring these to... Did I not have enough gold bars? Is that why I had to stop? Maybe I'll make some more gold bars. I'll be okay with the four um, sprinklers for now, but you can never have too many. I should dance with my husband. Yeah, I'll dance with Elliot. Last year um, at the flower dance, I danced with... I forget, but the, if you dance with the flower dance with somebody, as long as you have four hearts with them, you can dance with them the flower dance, and then you automatically get um, like another heart with them. <laughs> <laughs> it gets your friendship up really high. Uh, so I was using the flower dance as a chance to befriend everyone better. Um, and I was like, I'm already married to Elliot. I don't need to be closer to him. That's not my problem. So I didn't dance with him. But I could have. I just chose not to. No, you can't dance with Linus. You can only dance with the marriage candidates. Um, so you can't dance with Linus. Although, that would be fun. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go sell these things. Leo? Okay. No, he wasn't upset I didn't dance with him. Sorry. I'm trying to think. I need to, I need to bring gifts to everybody, so I'm just trying to make sure I know where everyone is. <laughs> don't mind me. Do I need anything else for the island? I don't think so. I have my gifts. I have my seeds. I have my sprinkler. Yeah, I think we're okay. Is that, is that what? An ostrich? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Sorry, spoilers. Spoilers. Um, 
It's hard. I think he's like behind my face, isn't he, right now? Yeah, that's my ostrich. So. <laughs> You're welcome, everybody. <laughs> no, it's not a turkey, it's an ostrich. <laughs> no, I don't always stream early on Saturdays, but I wanted to play Stardew Valley really badly, so I am here. I, I simply really wanted to play Stardew Valley. Everyone, I'm, j I'm just gonna recommend, if you don't want 1.5 spoilers, close your eyes very briefly. I'll tell you when you can open them. Like, like, 30 seconds. Just close your eyes, and then, and then we can play again. Just everyone, if you don't want spoilers, close your eyes. <laughs> um, but I don't want there to be some sort of shock that ruins something for you. What?! You can open your eyes again. I don't understand. I was... Where? That is a mango in my inventory, yes. <laughs> uh, yes, indeed, that is a mango. Well, that wasn't what I was anticipating would happen, but that's okay. Oh, I need to make sure I get enough of these clams. I'm pretty sure I have enough clams now, but you need 10 clams to get the um, beach obelisk. So I'm gonna make sure I grab them all. So that is a mango in my pocket, yes. <laughs> that is indeed a mango in my pocket. There's new, um, you can get mangoes and banana trees in the one point five update. That's not a big spoiler, I don't think, because, like, uh, Concerned Ape was, like, tweeting. He did, like, votes to see what kind of fruit people wanted to unlock. Um, so, I don't think that's a huge spoiler. Oh, this is a spoiler. Well, not really. You've probably seen this stuff by now. I'm on the 1.5 island. Um, so, <laughs> I guess this is all kind of a spoiler. You know what I didn't bring is my, um, Scythe. I can't- I still can't get rid of that hay. It's so annoying. Oh well. Okay, well, should I- Maybe I'll plant, like, the- Hmm. Tea leaves aren't from this update. They're from the last update. I think that was 1.4 that had tea leaves in them. Uh, but aren't the trees kind of fun? <laughs> Anyway, uh, we need to put- I'm gonna start planting ancient fruit here, but I kind of- I don't want to get rid of the pineapple that I have growing, you know? So, I guess there will be eventually an iridium sprinkler here. Two down, two down. Iridium sprinkler here. One, two. One, two. Iridium sprinkler here. Is that right? I guess it's not a huge deal if I- well, maybe I'll- you know what? It's okay if we have to replant things. We'll just put it. Or, oh, we could put a pathway down in between them. That wouldn't be so bad. You can get tea leaves if you befriend um, Caroline. She has this, like, sunroom. And she'll, like, let you in there and teach you how to make them. So... Tea bushes are pretty useful because they- you don't have to water them, and you can put them, like, inside your house in the little, like, planter boxes, you know? Um, again, they don't need to be watered, so you can super easily just, like, have them in your house. Um, and then they only- they grow- they take, like, a season to grow, I think, and then they only give you tea leaves on the last week of the season. Um, but it's super, super useful, in- in my humble opinion. <laughs> Um, because then you can just have, like, a cute little tea room in your house, like me. Um, and then you get tea leaves in your, in your, um, thing, and then you can make tea. So, won't, won't complain about that. One, two, put that there. How to get tea bushes? Uh, sh Caroline will give you the recipe and then you can make them. One, two. They're not hard to craft, either. I can show you. Um, the recipe is, like, uh, tea sapling. Two wild seeds, five fiber, and five wood. Takes 20 days to mature, and then it gives tea leaves during the final week of each season, except winter. 
easy. <laughs> super, super, super easy. Oh, I should have, like, made some speed grow or something. I don't, I didn't bring any pine tar with me. I have some clams. Eh, that's okay. <laughs> it's too late. We'll just plant them. It's fine. I guess I could go back and then come back. I have some speed grow at home, but it's not that big of a deal. Eventually, we will have so much ancient fruit. I will make so much money. We are going to be on a roll. Now, I wonder... Plant. Okay. Still have 22 left. Oh, I want another iridium sprinkler. Should I go home? This is one of the warp outlets, by the way, <laughs> that I was talking about. Okay, we gotta go fast. We gotta go fast. We gotta go fast. Um, make four more iridium sprinklers. Um, what else is I gonna get? Oh, um, pine tar, pine tar, pine tar, pine tar, pine tar. And then I'm pretty sure I have some speed grow. I have six, okay. <gasps> My scythe! Thank you, okay. <laughs> you missed a spot? I'm going back, calm down. It's not that big of a deal. <laughs> we'll do it once I get back. Okay. Everything is fine. We run, we run. I just wasted like, it, it costs a thousand gold to go there. Am I gonna upload today? Yep. Yeah. I should have gone up already. What? Didn't go up. <laughs> because I didn't schedule the video and it's published. <laughs> okay, well, yes, I'm gonna upload today. I just did. <laughs> um, I thought I scheduled it because I put a thumbnail on it and stuff, but... <laughs> well, it's up now, so... <laughs> nice work, everybody. Nice work. Okay, let's go. Just got notification? Well. You're welcome. Okay. Off we go. I must plant my plants. I could have brought more ancient fruit with me over here. I don't know why I didn't. <laughs> Cause I could have, I have a seed maker here. I could have like done more. Oh well. It's not that big of a deal. Oh look, I did miss a spot. Would you look at that? Okay. The board in front of Mary Lewis's house? Uh, I don't really know what triggers the board showing up. I do know that I got the board in front of Mary Lewis's house. Oh, why did I plant them like that? Why did I do it like that? Oh my god, I'm really mad at myself right now for that. But I'm pretty sure it's the first day of fall in year one. Um, I don't know if there's like another prerequisite, but in both the saves I've been playing since 1.5, it's been the first day of fall in year one. Um, in with the 1.5 update, but I, I don't know if you need to like do something else first or not. Um, I just know that the 1.5 update makes it so that uh, that happens the first day of fall. So, it is just fall day one? Okay. Easy. Fall day one. Uh, um, if you upgrade your watering can, uh, and you just keep holding down, you can water more spots at a time. My watering can is fully upgraded, and I also have it enchanted so it never runs out of water. <laughs> this is my single player save, yeah, Jill. Um... Steph, I didn't miss your bits. I've just been watering my plants. I didn't get to them yet. Don't worry. <laughs> I didn't miss them. Um, Steph, Nerdart, Hungry, Eleanor, Ducklin, Kira. Um, thank you all for the resubs and bits and stuff. The tier 2, 28 months, Nerdart, by the way. And the 35 months, Ducklin. Thank you so, 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 so much. Um, that was only a minute ago. I didn't read things from six minutes ago. <laughs> I am the worst. Okay. Finally, get rid of those. Do I have any pineapple that I can make more pineapple seeds with? Because otherwise I will be sad. I need to organize these chests. Surely I don't have any pineapple. Oh, there's an ancient seed in there. <laughs> okay. Well, that we can plant. Off we go. <laughs> okay. Um, and then I'll make some more speed grow. We can't put speed grow on all of them, but we can put speed grow on some of them. Which will be fine, um... Because at least this way, like, some of them will grow faster. 
uh, and then we'll be able to use those to reproduce more ancient fruit. So that'll be all right. Okay, pretty good work, team. Pretty good work. Should I, I might leave these sprinklers here in case I want them in the future for something. Don't know for what, but you never know. You never, never, never know. Okay. See, I have, oh, wait, maybe we should organize these chests. <laughs> maybe it's time that we do some organizing, shall we? Okay, I don't need that. I do not need trash, trash, that thing, that thing is annoying and not necessary right now. Get rid of that. Okay. Early stream poggies. Yes, indeed. <laughs> yes, indeed. What did I just do? Oh, I shot my master slingshot by accident. Um, Okay, <laughs> Free Marie, Mora, uh, thank you both for the for the resubs and sub gifts. Thank you so much. And again, thank you, Steph, for the bits. I appreciate that. Okay, I'm gonna sell both of those. So much random stuff that I don't need. Oh, look, like that. Hang on, come back. Mix seeds, trash. Don't need you. <laughs> Not interested. Honestly, these garlic seeds, I don't need them. <laughs> Oh, the emerald ward isn't gone. I can I forgot to put it back on yesterday. Um, I had so I had the uh, some of the point rewards that we usually have on off uh, the past couple days, like the Discord roll one. Because um, truthfully, the other day I was trying to pretend that I didn't have a Discord server. <laughs> um, so when I was streaming um, on the Pog Champ day when we were when we were Pog Champ. Um, I was like, you know what? These people don't need to know I have a Discord server. I was really worried about them, like, coming and harassing us in the server. So, uh, essentially, I was just hiding things from them, um, that they might use against us, including, like, the, the Discord server. Um, so, <laughs> I, like, turned off the point reward that would imply that we had a server. And then yesterday, I kept it off, uh, because we were... Like, well, it was a uh, early access day, so I knew there was going to be a lot of people there. My mods would have a hard time dealing with point rewards and moderating chat. So, um, there's no, like, reason in particular. I just had it off because I was trying to make it easier to moderate stuff in general. <laughs> so, um, but anyway, I basically just hid the server so that the random people uh, couldn't, like, join it and use it to harass us. Because that wouldn't be good. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there were so many people here yesterday. I was not not expecting that at all. I guess I don't really know what I was expecting um, But I really wasn't expecting that <laughs> um, I don't know. I just it's it's hard to ever like guess What's gonna happen in a stream like that, you know, like because obviously it's an early access stream So there's definitely gonna be a bunch of people there, but like how how do you know how many to expect? I mean you just can't so, like, there, there could have been five, there could have been 500, like, 5,000, 8,000, <laughs> like, I don't know. But it was, um, it wasn't a bad early access stream by any means. I, I've definitely had, like, significantly more stressful early access streams. Um, so it was, it was a good one. I had a lot of fun yesterday. Um, there was, like, more people, I think that's my biggest stream ever, like, not on the front page. Like, I've, I've never had 8,000 viewers um, that wasn't, like, a special, like, Twitch is hosting me on the front page of Twitch kind of thing, you know? We, we just had 8,000 viewers yesterday. And obviously, I plugged the stream on YouTube, and I was like, hey, by the way, I'm streaming this tonight. You know, it's early access. So, like, obviously, more people were going to come because it was, like, a special event, and I plugged it on YouTube. But um, I didn't really know what to expect. <laughs> um, it was kind of fun. But it's always, like, a little bit... Um, spooky when there's like more people than usual because the chat's a lot faster than you're used to um so it's kind of hard to like you know anyway um I want to buy oh, I might just waste three of these because I want to plant the three pineapple seeds <laughs> just because I I just want to fill up the rest of the space I need the rest of the plants to be ready um Addy congrats on the prime sub or no, sorry. I was trying to combine congratulate Kay and Perry and Clocky and Lara on the Discord roles and then also thank Addy and Daffy Danny for the Prime subs. And then I said, Addy, congrats on the Prime sub. Congrats on using your Prime sub on me. <laughs> That's 
not what I meant. I'm sorry. <laughs> also, Alpha Unfolding Bree Marie, thank you guys for the resubs. Congrats on giving me money, but it was free for you, so... Honestly, con congrats on... on that. <laughs> what am I saying? I'm sorry. Okay, let's put that there and make sure it's lit. I guess I'll make sure that this one is lit, too. Okay. Very nice. Very, very, very nice. Slowly but surely, we're getting there. I'm gonna harvest these mangoes while I'm here, too. And stick them in the chest. For in case we come back. I'd like to go find Leo, but I don't know if... Um, I don't know if he's gonna be here. If I can get into his spot right now. Maybe I'll just go home. I mean, we planted all of our ancient seeds, so we basically just have to leave these for a while until they finish growing, so. We might just go. Yeah? Okay. I just go. <laughs> and we have returned. Oh, I brought my path back with me by accident. I didn't mean to do that. Whoops. No, I'm playing. This is my single player save. Dan's not here right now. Um, I want to play. I'm, I'm really close to, like, completing everything in this game, so I'm just- I want to play on my single player save really badly today. Um, okay, let me stick that inside. I also had- I think I had some broken fences I want to fix. You get that warp tower, um, you can buy it with walnuts eventually. I forget- I think you have to, like, build everything else with walnuts first, but, like, as you find walnuts, you can, like, pay- this sounds really weird, I realize that, but you can, like, pay walnuts to the little birds on the island and then, like, unlock new parts of the island. Um, and so, <laughs> oh, I can scythe this. And so, uh, I think the last thing you can get is the, the obelisk that takes you back home. So, it's not even that hard to get, to be honest. But, is Dan streaming today? I would assume so. Uh, I was talking to him earlier, and it didn't sound like he wasn't going to stream today, but I don't know. Who knows what could happen. Can you only put, like, one kind of quality? Oh, no, you can put any of them in there. Mill my rice. Thank you. Okay. Well, you're my on. This is uh, spring of year three that I'm on right now. Spring of year three. Oh, wrong thing. Um, no, there's no game over financial aid. Um, to be honest, I don't know what happens when you finish everything. And if you do know, I will ban you for spoiling it in my Twitch chat, and I'm not kidding. And I'll probably ban you in my friend's chats too, just as like, because I'll be so enraged. Um, but I, I'm trying to finish the game. <laughs> so, there's, you can't really, like, you could just keep farming, like, it doesn't ever stop. Um, but there's like, you know, like, there's achievements that you want to finish. Like, the game doesn't end when you beat all the achievements, but... Um, you know, you can sort of, like, have that, like, I completed it sort of feeling. Um, do I like playing solo or co-op better? I don't know. I don't dislike either. I, I've just played solo a lot longer. Um, the co-op is fun because I usually play with Dan and it's just always a really good time. But, um, yeah, I've got one kid with Elliot Sid and my character is technically pregnant with our second one right now. <laughs> um, but I don't know. I, like, co-op is a different experience, I feel like. Um. It's still kind of fun. That's my child. That's my husband. I've had this recurring nightmare that you gave me a buzz cut. I wouldn't do that to you. Kayla, we're going to have a baby soon. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> oh, a 500 gold check. That's nice. That is nice. How kind of you. Okay. You're on year two summer? Well, I'm on year three spring, Lozzie, so don't beat yourself about not being close to where I am, because I um, am very far along in this game. <laughs> I've been kind of, like, try-harding it a little bit, so don't make yourself feel bad about it. Trust me, you're doing great. Having a child after marriage? <laughs> Gross. Rosera, Addy, Daffy Danny, thank you again. Caffeine, um, everyone, thank you for all the resubs. That is a solar panel, yeah, Krista. That's, um, a new item that you can unlock. Um, it's like a recipe you can get from one of the people. I forget who gives it to you. From, like, one of the quests, like, one of the mayor's board quests. Um, you can get a solar panel recipe. So. 
Queen of Sauce rerun? I don't know why I clicked on that. I already have all the recipes. <laughs> um, the spirits feel neutral today. Okay. Each season is 28 days. They're like four weeks long, basically. Um, I'm gonna go put my thingies away. Oh, I tabbed out of the game by accident. Um, put this away. I've actually never played with mods, no. <laughs> Which, um, is a little bit- I can't even get in. I need- mm. I need to get my fences back. They're broken. I've never played with mods, though. I've seen a lot of people play with mods, but I I don't know. I, I like playing vanilla a lot, and I still feel like there's so much that I haven't done with vanilla Stardew that, like, I haven't felt the need to get mods yet, you know? Um, but I've seen, obviously, a lot of people play with mods, and I think they're very cool. Okay. I will take care of this. In here, I have an auto grabber. I will take three eggs. And I will turn them into mayonnaise. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this is a really fun game. This is like one of my favorite games of all time. Like I, I can say that easily, like hands down. I really, really, really like Stardew Valley. Okay. Um. The auto grabbers are so useful. <laughs> Not having to milk your own cows is so useful. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, I'm going to... I only just built this mini warp obelisk. Oh wait, I was gonna use it because I was gonna say I always forget to use it, but look, they want something from me. Three Omni Geodes. I think I have three Omni Geodes I can give you. And the flower dance has begun. But I'm busy. <laughs> I'm trying to give Omni Geodes to my <laughs> to my friends. Don't mind me. Oh yeah, I have lots of Omni Geodes. One, two, three. Okay. Don't mind me. Just just off bringing some Omni Geodes to my <laughs> my sturgeons. <laughs> um, but these like the fish ponds, they basically get like requests, and then if you give them what they want, um, they'll like learn how to have so there was five in there now they can have up to seven and so they'll breed and then there'll be seven in there and you know that's how it works uh princess play i'll play animal crossing at some point this week um i've been playing a lot of sims recently instead of animal crossing because uh the new pack just came out and stuff or is coming out i never know how to answer people's weird questions they're like when are you gonna play this again why aren't you playing this and i'm like i don't know I'm, i've got there's so many things i want to do on stream I don't there's, there's not enough time to do them all. <laughs> there's no reason. I just... There's too much happening. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. I know you weren't trying to be rude, Princess Leia. I just... Um, people ask me that a lot, and I never have an answer for them. <laughs> uh, you would be so surprised how many people are like, Why aren't you playing Sims right now? All day. Every day. <laughs> um, oh, wait. It broke. I'll fix that, too. And then I'll go to the flower dance. But yeah, you're fine. I just, I don't have an answer when I'm gonna play Animal Crossing again. Probably like on Wednesday or something. I don't know. Um, but like the new Sims pack comes out on Tuesday and like my dad's birthday is on Monday. So I don't really know what my stream title is gonna be like next week. <laughs> I'm not sure. I am not sure. I forgot that your kids come with you to the festivals now. There's my son, there's my friend, there's my husband. Dance with me. Okay. I still don't have the tub of flowers recipes, but I need to buy that. I also don't have this rare crow yet. I don't need any of that stuff, though. Okay, easy. Anyway, my dad's birthday's on Monday, so... I might get off stream early on Monday, um, so that I can go to my parents' house for dinner or something. Oh, Leo comes! I forgot about that. Close your eyes. I mean, no, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. There's nobody behind me. There's nobody behind me. Nobody is right there. Nobody is there. <laughs> nobody comes to the festivals. Nothing happened. No, nobody comes here. Nobody. <laughs> There's no one behind my face. <laughs> Sims fan, Emily, uh, Noel, thank you guys for the bits and subs. Oh my goodness. 
I'm gonna talk to everybody really fast and then I'll start the, the dance. <laughs> Pretend I do not see it. <laughs> I'm already friends with everybody. Like I got max hearts with everyone except for um for Leo, Krobus, and the dwarf. So I'm still working on those, but do you know what I did? I made myself a really fancy dinner last night. You know how I, um, I, I talk about it a lot because we always ask, like, what do you eat for, like, Christmas dinner if you don't eat meat? Well, there's this, like, cauliflower roast that I make a lot. Um, and last night, I made myself that for dinner. <laughs> I, like, roasted a cauliflower, made this, like, fancy meal. I got off stream and took, like, it takes, like, an hour and a half to roast. So I was, like, <laughs> eating dinner at, like, 10 o'clock because I, <laughs> I made this fancy dinner. <laughs> and then I ate leftovers for lunch today, so I'm having a good time. Um... But I decided that I wanted to eat a nice meal. And so I did. I made a cauliflower roast. <laughs> Ravenclaw, death by flies. Thank you both for the resubs. Pumpkin with the eight months. Thank you all so much. Um, the recipe is pinned in my Discord. Or it's in my Discord announcement somewhere if you're interested in it. Um, people ask me about it a lot. So it's probably in there somewhere. Um, how do you eat so late? I don't usually... It doesn't usually take me like two hours to make dinner. <laughs> um, <laughs> but I got off stream at like 7.30. Uh, and then, you know, you have to prepare everything. And then it has to roast for like an hour and a half. So I don't typically make such a meal on a regular day. You know? Okay, can I make... Um, let me grab my oak resin. I'm gonna make like three more. Oh no. I don't have any copper bars. What? Oh, I need to do better at like making sure I have enough of these things. Ugh, that's so annoying. Molly, thank you for the bits. But yeah, I usually get off stream at seven um, or like 7.30 and then I usually cook dinner around like eight. But um, if you search cauliflower in announcements, it'll come up. <laughs> yeah, see? If you just search cauliflower in announcements, you'll get it. <sighs> Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. Okay, thank you. I'm gonna make some more while I'm at it. Thank you. And then I'll probably make some more iron bar- oh, Actually, I need to make more gold bars overnight. That's what we'll do. Anyway, um, roast cauliflower is one of my favorite foods, so basically what I do is I get an entire head of cauliflower, a whole brain looking thing, right? And then you make a gravy, the recipe is in my Discord, I can get the link for you in a second. <laughs> oh no, Bruin put the link in chat, that one, yes Bruin. And then you get like cut up some potatoes, you cut up some carrots, you put it all in a pot, you put the gravy on top of it. Then you put it in the oven for like 40 minutes. Halfway through, you put some more gravy on top of it. Then you take the lid off, and then you put it in for another 30 minutes, and then you eat it. Um, and that's what it is. It's really yummy. Look, I'll show you the picture. That's what that's what it looks like. It's really yummy. So, <laughs> big fan, big fan. Um, but there, there's like a lot of recipes for cooking cauliflower like this, but this one I like. It is yummy, so I make it a lot. And people always ask me about it because um, I think people are very interested in like, what are you going to eat for Christmas dinner if you don't eat meat? For some reason, people ask me that all the time. Um, the answer is that. <laughs> the answer is um, cauliflower, at least in my household. Sounds gross. Tanda, be nice. I like it. It's one of my favorite foods. You sound gross. Cauliflower is yummy. It's just vegetables. <laughs> it's vegetables and potatoes. What do you mean? <laughs> um, you can't really go wrong <laughs> with, with vegetables. Um, okay. I'm gonna go to bed now. Thank you very much. Smoked Toby for holidays. Yeah, that is good. I like to make the cauliflower dish for holidays. Obviously, like, you know, we're not exactly seeing other people for holidays right now, but cauliflower, like, and, like, the potatoes and stuff, it's a really good, like, easy dish that's, like, a nice side dish for regular people, 
you know? Um, <laughs> regular people is in like people that eat meat is what I'm talking <laughs> In my mind, it's not regular, but like, you know, like the average person who still eats like meat or whatever, like if they're gonna have turkey for dinner, they're okay with eating like the cauliflower and like the potatoes and carrots as like a side dish. Um, and it doesn't seem like weird vegan food. It's like just a nice like vegetable side dish for dinner that people are like, oh, yum. Um, it's not, Tate, <laughs> gravy, it's not like a weird meat gravy. The gravy, um, is made with vegetable broth and a bunch of spices and, like, a little bit of soy sauce. It's not, like, a weird gravy. It's, like, vegetable broth and spices. Um, I don't know what you think gravy is, but it's, like, it's just the sauce that you put on the cauliflower. Um, so, it's not, it's just a sauce. It's not, it's more like, kind of like a marinade or whatever you might want to think of it as. Um, but it's literally just vegetable broth and spices. Like, you don't like gravy? If I had called it sauce, would you feel differently about it? Because <laughs> I used to think the idea of gravy was weird too when I was younger. Um, and then uh, I got more used to it. Like, because this is obviously not like the same as like the gravy you'd put on mashed potatoes, you know, or whatever. Um, <laughs> but, uh, trust me, it's not as icky as you think. You can read the recipe. I mean, I'm not trying to force you to eat it, but, um, I'm just trying to justify myself. <laughs> it's not icky, I swear. It's really yummy. I'm a really picky eater, and I eat this. My whole family likes it. Um, and they're not, like, weird vegans, you know? So, it's not a weird vegan dish, I promise. I promise. <laughs> weird vegans. <laughs> oh. Okay. I'm gonna put this in here. Um, oh, well, thank you for the bits, by the way. Let me tell you a story of the first, my first Stardew farm. I was influenced to buy Stardew by a certain streamer my sophomore year of high school, and she was playing on a river farm. And me, having never played before, being easily influenced, decided to also pick that farm type. Now I'm a freshman in college, and I still regret this whenever I play this farm, and it's been literal years. Thank you. The, I regret it, too. I'm sorry about what I've done to you. <sighs> that river farm was the biggest mistake of my life. And I, I stand by that. River farm... Worst mistake I ever made. 100% hands down the worst mistake that I ever made. <laughs> easily, easily will say that. Um, the river farm is, is a fun farm type. It's just, I, I so much like to have like massive fields of crops, you know, um, that the river farm is just not for me. You know, I mean, as you can see by this farm, I, I like to have lots and lots of crops and the river farm just does not suit that because there's not space so <laughs> i am just a big 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 fan of um the lots of crop space in my farm so okay lots of ancient fruit today worst stardew farm type pole Ooh, interesting that river and beach seem to be people's least favorite ones so far um, which is intriguing. I'm surprised that Hilltop isn't more commonly disliked. I feel like people don't like the Hilltop one too much either. Um, but yeah, the river farm is widely thought as being the, the worst one. I think the beach farm, I, that to me, the river and beach ones both seem like people don't like them because you can't, um, very easily have a lot of crops because you, you can't use regular, like you can't use sprinklers on most of the beach farm. Um, so it seems to me like people don't like it very much because of that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, I think that's why. It seems like people don't like those two farm types because they're both not, like, that conducive to having a lot of crops. Which makes sense. That just people here apparently just like to have lots of crops on their farms. So. Um. I think the forest farm is pretty good. I've been playing with it a lot more recently because Dan and I have a forest farm. Um, and I honestly, I think the forest farm is, like, really good. Uh, I've really enjoyed playing on it. I'm gonna sell the gold ones of those. And then I'm gonna go, I think I'm gonna go to the island today. Where? Okay. Everyone, um, maybe, let me bring some gifts. Oh, how about a duck feather for Leo? He'll be happy about that. We'll bring Leo a duck feather. <laughs> You're welcome, Leo. I got you, buddy. Okay. And then... This is the standard farm. Um, literally just called the standard farm that I'm playing on right now. So... 
but I don't know. It's not that, like, that big of a deal. They aren't, like, that different, any of them. Um, I just, I think I just personally prefer having more space for farming. Um, why are poppies a universal hate? I don't know. Okay, everyone, perhaps consider closing your eyes if you don't want 1.5 spoilers. <laughs> um, perhaps close your eyes. <laughs> Keep them close. Keep them close. Okay. Um, keep them close. Keep them close. Keep them close. Keep them closed. Keep them closed. Okay, you can open them again. <laughs> um, I, I'm just... Oh, I already gave the dwarf two gifts this week. Oh, oops. I should have known that. Okay, well, never mind. I guess I will just leave these things here. Well, I have lots of gifts in this chest for people, apparently. <laughs> I saved a bunch of emeralds in that chest to give to the, um, no, wrong place. Town. Kathy, Hidden Azog, Gothic, uh, Tilly, Wow, Opal, Girl Names, Heidi, Lil Rouge, Molly, Maddie, thank you all so much for the resubs and stuff. Jordan, Adora, Ravenclaw, oh no, I, don't, I didn't miss any of those, did I? I'm so, I'm the worst, I'm so sorry. Um. Anyway, you can open your eyes. We're no more spoilers. <laughs> um, don't think you can give to until you can translate. Uh, play. I've already translated with the. Unless I'm talking to other people, but I have um, I have like eight hearts with the with the dwarf now. But you need to get all the dwarf scrolls, and then you need to like open the rocks that are blocking him, and then you can go talk to him or buy things from him if you'd like. So, <laughs> hey Christian, what's up? No, I haven't bought horses yet, but that's only because I didn't have enough hardwood. Um, I have no reason for this. I, there's not, like, some deep reasoning that I don't have any horses yet. Uh, or don't have a horse yet. I just didn't buy one yet. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, Molly, thank you for the five months, by the way. Oh, also, Kathy, I'm glad I'm glad that you managed to uh, figure out fishing. That's That's awesome. The training rod is helpful for people that don't know how to fish yet. If you guys didn't know, um, if you struggle with fishing a lot in Sturdy Valley, you can buy this thing called the training rod. Uh, and it makes it so you can only catch, like, the easiest fish. But it's, like, easier. So it's a good way to, like, start learning how to fish in Sturdy Valley. Because you can, like, practice with these easy fish and, like, slowly get your skill up higher. Because the higher your skill is in the game, um, the bigger the bar is. So it's, like, objectively easier to fish. Um... So that could be a really good resource for those of you who are, like, trying to figure out how to fish better. Um. Okay. Don't mind me. I am just planting some more ancient fruit down here. <laughs> um. But yeah, I've, I've been playing longer than the training rod has existed, so I didn't have such, uh, such things when I first started playing. But it seems like it would be a very, very helpful resource, you know? Okay, I can finally put these here terrible. It's going to be all out of sync. <laughs> Absolutely terrible. 1.4 update. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was 1.4. I think you're right, Sid. I think you were right. I've been playing this game since like 2016, so <laughs> I've, I've been around for a while. <laughs> uh, Jordan, spontaneous. Molly, thank you all so much. Um, your best friend's baby shower was today. Um, I'm, I'm really, uh, I'm glad to hear that she was still able to, to have a little couple people over for that. Um, what a weird time that we're in that, you know, we can't have like these important life events, you know? Um, but how exciting that she's going to have the baby. That's so fun. Um, okay. Luckily I'm getting a bunch more seeds, so we're going to be rich. Mark my words. Mark my words. I don't know anyone that's had a, like, baby or baby shower. Like, none of, none of my, like, close circle has had kids yet. So, um, I'm, I'm very curious. That's going to be such a fun experience. Even my, my friends haven't really, I only had one friend, um, who's gotten married. Like, one close friend that, like, is my age, like, college friend that's gotten married. But I couldn't go to their wedding because it was in South Carolina and, like, really small and, you know, COVID. So, I wasn't going to go. But, um, I, I'm, I'm excited for, like, these sorts of exciting things to start happening, you know? Um, it'll be fun. 
<laughs> not to me though. You won't be catching any babies from me for 10 years. <laughs> um, thanks again though, Ben and Jordan. Thank you both for the, uh, the resubs and bits and stuff. Okay. Okay. My cousin, um, sent out a save the date for his wedding. I've got three cousins. I guess so I've got three cousins who are, um, like, married and or getting married. But one of my cousins, uh, is hoping to get married in September. And they sent out a save the date. I, I got it in the mail yesterday. I don't know if that's gonna happen. But I guess we can keep our hopes up. <laughs> um, but I'm not, I'm not really sure what to expect. <laughs> to be honest with you. Alright, I got some more speed grow. I might put that down on the two that are, like, delayed. And then maybe we can put some, like, here. I don't know. Um, yeah, casually, I didn't- I didn't warn anybody I was gonna start stream early. I'm sorry. <laughs> I wanna bring two of these home with me, I think. Uh, no point in having them here. Do I have any more, um... No, I don't. I was gonna see if I had any more clams. Can you get clams here? Yeah, I've got all the star drops now, Hidden Azar. I've got them all. I have finished collecting all of these star drops. I got- the last one I needed was the one that you get for, uh, the Master Angler achievement, and I got that last weekend. You know what was sweet is they put- uh, my cousin put, like, the save the date was addressed to me and Dan. Um, and I was like, Oh, if only Dan could be here by September, although I doubt it will happen. <laughs> but, I, I mean, obviously he would be invited, but I thought that was sweet. So. <laughs> this isn't the- my, like, my other cousin's wedding uh, invites were addressed to both of us as well, but. Um, it's still kind of exciting to get mail, like, addressed to the both of us. You know, like, his grandparents, um, sent him a Christmas card and it was, like, addressed to both of us. I'm not gonna see it. I'm not there. <laughs> but it's still sweet. Like, the- the thought behind that is really sweet, I think. Like, addressing the card to both of us. Um, so. Yeah, I've got all the ones already, Robert. I don't think I need to be here anymore today. I think I- I just came to put my ancient fruit down, so. I guess we can just go home. So, I will use my obelisk and I will warp back. <laughs> it is the thought that counts, right? Yeah. Um, okay. What a weird time we are living in. Okay, so one of the other things, one of the last things that I need to do, and this we can actually start working on, um, one of the achievements, I almost have all of them in the save, uh, except one of them you need to craft every item. And I haven't done that yet. <laughs> so, um, we can start trying to finish that. Um, because I need to- the, the recipes that I have, that I haven't crafted yet, are Deluxe Speed Grow, Dress Spinner, Fairy Dust, Life Elixir, Mini Jukebox, Quality Bobber, Warp Totem Farm, Wild Seeds Fall, Wild Seeds Summer, and Wild Seeds Winter. Um, so we can start crafting those, probably. And we'll get closer to, to crafting everything. So, which ones did I say I needed to craft? The warp totem to the farm, it should be easy. Hardwood, honey, and fiber. Oh, did I sell all of my honey again? No, I have one. Okay. I can make a farm warp totem then. Easy. Done. Done. Um, yeah, so the, uh, I can show you. There's a, there's a website called Stardew Checkup, and you can upload your save file to it. And then it'll tell you, like, all the things that you're missing. Um, and so it, you can see, like, for the crafting one, it tells me which recipes that I haven't crafted yet that I know and which ones that I don't know. Um, and then you just upload your, like, save file and then you can, you can see it all. It also will tell you, like, you know, what fish you're missing or, like, what crops you haven't shipped all of for, for, like, the polyculture achievement and, like, um, what, you know, everything. It just tells you that you're missing, which is really useful. Um, obviously this doesn't work if you have console. It only works for PC because you can't upload your save file from consoles, but... Um, this, especially for the crafting thing, is so helpful because it doesn't really mark off what you've crafted and what you haven't. So, like, you go to craft something and it's like, uh, have I made it? Have I not? I have literally no idea. <laughs> um, so that part is a little annoying, but luckily, um, we have this to help us. Oh, how do you make that flower? Oh. Tulip bulb, jazz seeds, poppy seeds, spangle seeds. Oh! I can get those really easily. 
<laughs> there's a thing. Um, never mind. Don't worry about it. There, okay, spo close your ears. Mute me, and I'll explain. If you don't want a spoiler, it's 1.5 thing. Shh, and then I'll explain, and I'll tell you when to unmute. All thumbs up when you can unmute. Ready? I'm going to tell it now. Close your ears. Okay, go. So, basically, once you finish, like, uh, getting 100 walnuts, you can go into this, like, secret walnut room on the island, um, and there's, like, a bunch of little mini quests in there, uh, and one of the quests, or, well, one of the things you can buy, so, okay, back up. All the quests, you get these, like, special gems that are, like, a new kind of currency, and then you can use those gems to buy things from the guy in the walnut room, and one of them is Pierre's missing stock list, um, and it, once you buy it, it's, like, 50 of the gems, you can give it to Pierre, and then he sells all of the seeds all year round. So I can buy like fall seeds in the spring. Obviously you can't plant them in spring because they'll die, but you can buy fall seeds in the spring once you have the stock list. So like I could buy the things that I need to make this. I can buy the, like it's spring right now, so only tulips and jazz seeds are for sale, but I could also buy poppy and spangle seeds if I want. Anyway, you can unmute. <laughs> unmute, unmute, unmute. Welcome back. Unmute. <laughs> Welcome home. You can come back now. Um, but there are, like, a lot of things that uh, you can buy. <laughs> Imagine that's all you hear me say is, there are a lot of things you can buy. Okay. Sure, Simsy. I might harvest these now, because I don't need them. Let's just get them and sell them, shall we? Let's just get them and sell them. Oh, I was going to work on crafting the... Um, the forageable seeds, but I got distracted and didn't. You can make- okay, wait. So you can make the- the wild seeds, spiceberry, grape, sweet pea. Yeah, we need to make all of these, I think. That'll be easy to do, though. Should be, at least. You can unmute. Yeah, chat. Um, I thought people told that, but in case you missed it, you can unmute. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, I'm muted, so I guess you can't hear me tell you to unmute, but you can indeed unmute. Forget which things I need for the winter ones. Have I made the winter ones yet? No. Okay. Wild seeds. Winter. Easy. Easy. I made the spring ones. The summer ones. It's grape. This. Do I not have the flower? Oh, that's annoying. Okay. Um, what is the fall one? I didn't even check. Well... Fall, common mushroom, wild plum, hazelnut. I don't know if I have a common mushroom. <laughs> common mushroom, wild plum, hazelnut. Do I have a mushroom? <gasps> yes, I do have mushroom. Okay, easy. If you click show advanced crafting options, it'll tell you what you made before. What, like in the settings? Oh. Oh, interesting. But anyway, it's still easier the way that I'm doing it. Because <laughs> you don't have to hover over things to find out. But I was wondering how people open this. Because that is useful. But, well, now you know. You click show advanced crafting options. Okay, well, I can't make the summer ones yet, but that's easy. What else did I have to make? Deluxe speed grow and dressed spinner. How do you make those? Oak resin and coral. I don't want to waste oak resin on that. <laughs> I don't even have any. Okay. Never mind. We can do that another time. Dressed spinner. How do you make that? Iron bar and cloth. Oh. Interesting. Well, made that. <laughs> um, quality bobber. Cork bobber, trap bobber, magnet spinner, barbed hook. Which one is the Spinner? Oh, copper bar sap and solar essence. Interesting. It's called, if you just Google Stardew Checkup, you'll find um, the website that'll help you with this. Just Google Stardew Checkup. Okay, quality bobber. Mini jukebox. Made that now. Life elixir. Red, purple. Oh, I don't have a moral. Oh, it's spring. We should probably go try and get one while we still can. Oh, Sammy, I'm glad. That's really cute. <laughs> Bunny, Mari, Miss Ellie, Cat, Mandana, Velocity, Sassy, Cat, Lindsay, Ben, Jordan. I don't know. Thank you all so much for all the resubs and stuff, too. Um, 
No, so Christian, beating the game means uh, completionisting everything. So technically, like this website, the Stardew Checkup thing will tell you, uh, there's like a perfection tracker. Um, like the achievement to ship one of everything, get all the obelisks, get the golden clock, uh, do the monster slayer hero goal thingy in the, um, you know how there's like the adventurers guild, like do the, all of their goals, um, max all the skills, like max all the friendships, find all the star drops, cook everything, craft everything, catch all the fish, find all the golden walnuts, and then you've perfected everything. This is from a website. If you just Google Stardew Checkup, you'll find it. My mods will put it in chat, but it doesn't work on console. It only works on PC. No, I did the fruit bat cave on this save because I always do the mushroom one. So I was like, oh, this one I can like try and do something different. I'll do the, the fruit bat cave. But I realized that I very, very much regret it. <laughs> I very, very, very much regret doing the fruit bat cave instead. People always would tell me in chat, like, why are you doing the the mushroom cave? The fruit one is way better. But the fruit one is better for, like, finishing the community center early. Um, but for, like, long-term gameplay, the mushroom one is way better. Way better. Um, but yeah, that's perfect in the game. It doesn't- you could say you beat the game. I think that, like, finishing the community center is kind of like beating the game. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. There's no, like, end game to this. Like, you can just keep playing as long as you want. Um, but mushrooms are good for mine food. Like, the mushrooms are- here we go. Here's a moral. That is what I needed. But I think the mushrooms are better, personally. But I'm glad I did the fruit one just to see what it would be like this time. It's also nice because the fruit makes really good gifts. Like, nobody likes mushrooms, really, but people like the fruit. So I guess it, like, makes for a good gift early on. Um, like, cause I was trying to marry Elliot, and I would occasionally get pomegranates from the cave, and that's pretty useful because, you know, then you have, um, a gift, like a loved gift for Elliot, and he's kind of hard to get loved gift for as early, so that's kind of helpful, but this is just my sword, but I've got a ring, um, there's a, a ring that you can get from finishing the Adventurer's Guild, one of the prizes, um, that, it's combined with something, but when you defeat an enemy, they explode. <laughs> <laughs> Which is why the slimes were exploding when I was killing them. It's pretty fun in the mines because it's like a bomb. Like you kill something and then it blows up the rocks around it. It's really useful. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, Emily. I think that fruit is better short term, like early game, and the um, the mushrooms are better long term. So, at least in my opinion. But obviously, it just depends on your preference. Like you might like one of them better and disagree with me. You know. So. Okay, I'm gonna go put the jukebox away. Oh wait, let me put those away. Let me put my jukebox in the house. I don't know what to do. I need to organize my house more. It's stressing me out. Okay, what was the thing I was trying to make with the mushrooms? Like, what did I just go in there? Oh, the life elixir. Red, purple, moral. Okay, okay, okay. I have those. We have the moral, we have this. Um, red, purple. Oh wait, don't eat the gold one. Don't waste the gold one, use the regular one. Okay. Boom, life elixir, made. Easy, is the game worth to buy? Oh, 100%. I, I cannot recommend this game enough to you. If you're thinking about getting it because you've liked watching me play it, this game is so much fun. It's so, 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 so much fun. Like you, you will love this game, without a doubt, 100%. <laughs> Okay, maybe I'll harvest all the potatoes while I'm here. I was kind of waiting on it because I didn't want it. I couldn't be bothered, but we have some time tonight, so. I love Stardew Valley. It's so fun. I think people think of it as being like, oh, it's just a little farm simulator, but it's such a, like, well thought out, amazing. Like, there's so much to it. Like, there's so much storyline to it, and there's so much you can do. Like, even after you finish the community center and, like, do that main early goal, there's, like, a whole second game of, like, trying to do the new island stuff. And, like, it just, there, there's so much in this game. It only costs $15. There's no DLC. He posts these, like, massive free updates. Like, I, this game is so good. And, and just one person makes the entire thing. Um, one person developed the entire- like, designed it, coded it, made all the music even. Like, he literally made the entire game all by himself. Um, this is a- a really, really cool game. <laughs> yes, one person! He made the entire game by himself. Um, the developer's name is Concerned Ape. 
uh, and he did the whole thing all by himself. It's really cool. So I, I cannot recommend it enough. <laughs> And like I said, it's really cheap. This game could so easily cost so much more money, but it's only $15. Um, and it's on like every platform. It's on PC, it's on consoles, it's on mobile even. Like you can literally play it everywhere. So it's a nice one, I recommend. Okay, we'll make some money today at least from these crops, which will be nice. And soon it will be summer and then we can plant a million things. Is it hard to play on mobile? I don't know. I don't have a ton of experience playing on mobile. Uh, obviously, I mostly play on PC. Um, so I'm probably not the best person to ask. But I don't think so. Um, I think it's probably definitely better on, like, PC or console. Um, and, it like, obviously, PC gets updates sooner than um, mobile and console do because he can just push them himself instead of, like, wait for, like, console's approval and things like that. Um, but... Uh, it's not like bad or even worse on other platforms. So but yeah, I, I only I only play on PC really though. I play on Switch sometimes, but I've been playing this game on PC since like 2016, so I mostly still only play it on PC. Okay, I'm gonna sell these and then I will go to sleep. Thank you very much. Yeah, Switch, a lot of people like playing Stardew on the Switch because it's like more mobile, um, which is totally valid. Um, I, I used to play Stardew on my Switch a lot more when I left the house more. I would bring my Switch with me and play on, on mobile, or on mobile, play on my Switch, but I don't, like, bring my Switch around and, and like, take it on a plane. <laughs> I haven't for, like, the last year, so, um, I've not really been playing on Switch much recently. But that's because I haven't left the house much. And, like, I'm gonna sit here and play, like, I would play my Switch at my desk still, um, and I would, like, probably stream it, you know? So, like, why not play it on PC? I, it's easier for me to play it on PC, so. <laughs> anyway, it's all just a personal preference kind of thing. The spirits are very happy today. Do you guys want to go to the Skull Caverns? I can show you how to do it. <laughs> do you want to go to the Skull Caverns? We can do it. That'll be fun. Okay, we'll do it. <laughs> okay. Okay, I agree. Okay, let me put the things I don't need away. Let's do it. I will bring some food to 100. We could probably get past 100 pretty easily today. Um, okay, I'm gonna go buy some more bombs and then we can go. Let me get my warp totems. Let me get my warp totems. Wait, wrong chest. I want one of these, I want one of these, okay. I'm gonna go buy bombs and then we'll just warp there. <laughs> um, I have staircases just in case. Here's here's the method, right? I brought some really good food, obviously. Spicy eel um, gives you plus one luck and plus one speed, which is pretty useful. Uh, magma caps, these magma caps are really good for, for energy, so I'm bringing those. I've got this as a backup. I've got some coffee as a backup. I probably don't need to bring that though. Um, I'm gonna bring some more bombs and then the desert warp totem so I don't have to wait for Pam to come take me to the bus. This is the wrong place. <laughs> you missed the beginning of the stream. I'm sorry, little Dika. I didn't. I went live early, like kind of. Um, I randomly was like, you know what? I want a game. So then I just went live, um, and I didn't really warn anyone that I was gonna stream. So I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not gonna bring any mega bombs. I'll just bring regular bombs. That should be fine. Is Kiwi in chat? Hi, Kiwi. Oh wait, what am I doing? I'm just gonna go. What am I doing? We got good luck. It's time to game, everybody. <laughs> um, but anyway, you want to bring good food into the Skull Caverns and you want to bring bombs. Um, if you're trying to make it down... Oh, wait. Also, pro tip, the cactus fruit is really good. Um, 195 energy, 87 health. If you, like, grab a cactus fruit on your way, that's very helpful. I also keep a chest here and I put some food in it. Like, I have a ton of spice eel in here. Um, and some miner's treats, it looks like. I'll bring this with me. Let's eat our presents and let's go. Um, time to go, time to go. And then you just blow things up and it's really fun because you just get to blow things up and, you know, keep gaming. And your main goal is to get down as far as possible, as fast as possible. Because for the most part, like you come into these mines because you want iridium, right? 
Um, so your goal is to like get down as quickly as you can. Oh, there's a ladder right there. I didn't, oh my goodness. Um, but you want to get down as quickly as possible. So like, don't worry about like clearing out the early levels. Just keep going until you get down far. Um, cause you'll, you'll be way better off if you do that. So like bring bombs and just try to go down. La like just ladder, ladder, ladder as fast as you can. And sometimes if it, like the area is infested, I just skip it cause I can't be bothered with it. Um, which is why you bring some staircases. Leave me alone! But like the infested areas, I'm always like, oh, you know what? Probably not that one. <laughs> That'll take you a long time and you might die. So <laughs> buying cheap food from Krobus on Saturdays. That's pretty smart actually. Um, and sometimes you, there's like these shafts you can get that are like holes down here. Um, and they like drop you a bunch of levels really quickly, which is kind of fun. Um, but yeah, basically your goal is just to get down as fast as possible. See, look, there's a ladder right there. Easy. Read my top tip. What's Owen's top tip? When there's that cutscene with Willy where you have to catch the crabs and the saloon sells infinity number crabs for cheap, buy like 300 of them and then keep them on you. Yeah, because then you can make a bunch, a, a bunch of crab cakes. Yeah, that's smart. Um, crab cakes are a good, a good snack for the mines. Some of the scary thingies in here will drop crab cake and drop spicy eel. I hate, this is the worst shape. There's like different shapes of, um, of levels in the skull caverns. I think this one is the worst one. It's so annoying. Back off! so frustrating leave me alone you're wasting all of my time see the spiral ones i don't even bother with sometimes if you're trying to get down really fast sometimes i'll just skip the spiral ones with a ladder um because they're like they take so long but not always it depends nothing okay that's fine hello but the holes are kind of fun because then they like drop you anywhere from like three to 15 levels. Um, I just hit him with a pickaxe. <laughs> uh, but it's kind of fun because you could fall like a bunch of red cabbage seeds. Interesting. Um, yeah, the, you take damage from the bombs. As you can see, I'm like currently taking damage from my own bombs. I might, because I don't want to like waste all of my good food. I'll just eat a small one. But yeah, the, the crab cakes are, are useful because they give you, like, plus defense and plus speed or something, I think. I forget. Um, but I like the, the spicy eel because it gives you plus one luck. And the better luck you have, the chances of finding the ladder and, like, and holes faster are better. Um, and you get more, like, gems and things, too. Which- oh, this level sucks! But yeah, so the, the, the lower you are, the better stuff will be on them. Um, so you want to get like as low as possible as fast as possible basically. I'm not doing that good right now 15 is not that good um, But the lower you are the more like iridium you'll get and stuff, um, which is what you want That's mostly why you come in here. I have like 400 iridium, so I don't really need this but People wanted to see the skull caverns, so I show skull caverns It was right next to the ladder <laughs> It was right there the whole time and I just wasted a bomb! <sighs> anyway, I think the Skull Caverns are fun. See, only three levels? That's weak. So sad. So sad. It's okay. But anyway, check your luck before you come in here, because if you come in here on a better luck day, you've got a better chance of getting more stuff. Um, and so, you know, if you're gonna come all the way here and, like, bring a bunch of resources and, like, fancy food and, like, a bunch of bombs, you're, you're best off if you, like, you know, maximize your luck for the day, because then, um, you'll get the most stuff out of your trip in here. So, <laughs> that is my advice. Okay, level 20 isn't that good! Let me go further down. <sighs> you also get a lot of geodes down here. Oh, look! There's some iridium. Oh, I'm just going. <laughs> I don't- I have like 400 iridium at home. I don't even- I don't even need to be in here. I just came in here for fun. I was watching a, um, a video from Dangerously Funny on YouTube last night, and he was doing this thing where he was trying to find treasure floors in the mines, and he was talking about how it seems like every five levels, there's like, 
level like this was like two years ago so i don't know if it's still like this or not but every five levels the mines generate with only rocks like there won't be any gems there won't be any iridium it's only rocks and i thought that was really interesting because i had never noticed that before um and i don't know if that's true or not but it seemed like that was true and that was the case so interesting I guess we can look and see. Yeah, I have a slime charmer ring on me too. The slime charmer ring is so useful. It makes it so that the slimes don't attack you, which is so helpful because they don't you have to worry about like getting slime because they don't do that much damage. I guess in, in these mines they kind of do. But the slimes are so annoying because they like slow you down if you get slimed. So having the slime charmer ring and not being able to get slimed is very, very useful. <laughs> Back off! Oh, see, I also have the ring that um, makes the enemies blow up when I kill them. <laughs> Which is also very useful. A hole! Nice. Four levels. We haven't gotten much good luck. Oh, a treasure level. <gasps> a red slime egg! Those are worth a lot of money, aren't they? Yeah, you take a little bit of damage from the bombs. Not a ton, but you definitely take some damage from the bombs. Um, oh, he dropped a rabbit's foot. Wow. Die. Die. Okay. Thank you. I have the galaxy sword um on me. Stay away. Mm. Um the galaxy sword you get uh you if you have a prismatic shard, there's a thing you can do. Oh, I didn't need to do that. There was a ladder over there. <laughs> it was just open. It was just open on its own. <laughs> I don't have a slime hutch, no. Um, so, <laughs> I simply have- I've actually never had a slime hutch. I've never, never once in my entire life ever had a slime hutch in this game. I don't know why. I guess there's not really a reason. I just haven't. Oops. Um, and I don't really see the point in getting one, so I just like- haven't gotten one. Thank you, finally. But, like, I don't really, I don't have a, I don't know where I would put it, and, like, it's not that useful, so I'm just gonna sell my slime egg. Because I don't care about it. Oh, no. There we go. Oh. See, I guess you have a chance of getting, um, Iridium from these little guys. They drop Iridium. A lot of times I would skip slime levels because they're just kind of annoying. But I have the slime ring, so they don't attack me. <sighs> it's such a waste of time. We could have gone down so many more levels by now. <laughs> Back off. But on these infested levels, this is saying regular mines too. Um, you have to kill everything and then it opens the way down. And I think sometimes these are really hard for people that are, like, new to the game or, like, you know, not that prepared for the Skull Caverns. So it's probably in your best bet, honestly, to, like, just skip them. Because you can bring staircases into the mines. Um, I've got a, like, I have them on me. I can show you. But um, you can, like, place one of these down and then it opens a staircase. So you can just, like, if, you, if you're, you know, gonna die or something, you can just place a staircase and run. And then you don't have to do the infested levels. Um, especially because when you're trying to- there's a quest to get to level 100 as fast- like, in one day, I mean. Um, and to get that, like, it can be kind of hard to do. So you might want to bring some staircases. If you're like, oh, not getting the staircase fast enough, just put one down and run. <laughs> just put one down and run. Um, but luckily, you know, I've already done that on this save. So, see, I don't want to kill them. I can't be bothered. I don't want to deal with it. Okay, let me through. Thank you. Place a bomb. Thank you. There we go. Thank you. Uh, I don't use- my eyebrows aren't microbladed, no. Um, I use one of those, like, Anastasia Beverly Hills is the brand eyebrow pencils. Um. That is- that is what I use. Oh, my- my spicy eel is worn out. Thank you. We got an Iridium node just then. <laughs> By the way, those Iridium nodes have uh, a really high chance of dropping a Prismatic Shard. Well, not a really high chance, but higher than the other ways to get it in the game. Um, 
So you have a chance of like coming out of the scary mines, is what I call them, with like a but let me through with a bunch of prismatic shards. <laughs> Uh, like, I played this the other day, I swear I'm not kidding, I- I left these mines with six prismatic shards. Oh, nice. Oh, that's a little... Enemy. <laughs> this slime was like, yeah, you shall not pass. Half pint, Don, uh, Don, Alexa, Little Zika, thank you all for the recep bits, by the way. Oh, I'm gonna make it. Let me through. Give me a ladder, please. Please. Oh, that is so annoying. It's so annoying, these levels that have, like, all the things kind of far apart from each other, you know? Oh, good. Um, because you can't put bombs down very easily because it's kind of a waste, you know? Um, it's so frustrating. <laughs> Cal, thank you for the five months. Yeah, we're on 58. It's only six o'clock, so that's pretty good. That is pretty good. Always wimp out and exit the cave. I don't blame you. It's li li listen. These things are scary, and if you don't have the stuff with you to do it well, like it's hard and it's dangerous, and you don't want to die, you know. Um, but as long as you've got bombs and good food, like you're gonna be okay in these mines. Oh, good. Start about Dan is so quiet. Yeah, it's not playing. There's no music playing right now, so that's not helping. Is Dan streaming right now? What time? Oh, it's only four o'clock. Oh. <laughs> I've been live for a while, so it feels like it's later. No, Dan is not streaming right now. Even I'm not usually streaming until right now. <laughs> Back off. Thank you. Thank you. Ooh. Oh no. I was delayed in placing my bomb and now I'm gonna get got. <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh, battery pack, nice. Get rid of that. Nice. Okay, this is the level, the spiral level. This one is so annoying. Um, so luckily I got the thingy really fast, but if I hadn't gotten it really fast, I might have just skipped that level because the spiral, it takes sometimes a really long time to find the hole. Ooh, which one should I go in, left or right? Which one? There's two holes. Which should I pick? Which one's better? <laughs> I'm gonna go right. Four levels. You were wrong. I should have gone left. Who said le who said right? That was your fault. <laughs> I could have gone way farther than that. <laughs> Positive. Uh, thank you for the two months, by the way. Look what you did. This is all your fault. <laughs> okay. That was level. Oh, I'm not bothering with this. See, I'm telling you, those infested levels are just annoying. A hole. Come on. Eight! That's better. That's good. I can get behind that. Let me through. Let me through. Let me through. Thank you. Oh, this is already open. Oh, hi, Laura. Why did you say what? I could very easily kill the slimes. I just don't want to, if that's what you're referring to. Die. Look, I'll use my cherry bomb. I should use these up. Yeah, 15 is the max, but 8 is pretty good compared to the, like, 4 we've been getting. Let's be honest. Oh, you said to blame Laura. Oh, so you summoned Laura by accident, saying to blame Laura. Ah, that makes sense. I see. <laughs> <laughs> Laura has like a, a thingy that tells her when people um, mention her in chat even when she's not there so she knows if you type her name it summons her <laughs> um, Lauren thank you for the bits by the way <sighs> give me the hole yeah, you drop a little bit of health. If you use the holes, it drops a tiny bit of health. You'll never die from it, though. Even if your health is super low, you'll never actually die from, from dropping into the hole, but you'll notice that it makes you drop a little bit of health when you use the hole. Um, but like I said, you won't actually ever die from it. It'll never kill you, but you might, like, get way down. Oh, it was right there the whole time! Oh. Nice one, Simsy. I wasted so many bombs doing that. 
That's a, that's a little crab thingy right there. Die, thank you. Next. And sometimes the bombs hurt you a little bit too. But not a ton. You died after jumping recently? Did you take damage once you got there? Because from what I've heard, you won't die from jumping. So maybe you took damage, like, like you were really low, and then you took damage when you got there, and then you died? But I don't know. We're gonna get to 100. Easy. I've already, like I said, I've already done it, but... Oh, which one? Left or right? You guys said left last time. I didn't listen to you. I'll go into the left one. Seven. Okay. That's, that's fine. That's, oh, another farm totem. That's useful. I brought one with me, though. So I don't even need it. <laughs> Left is always right. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. So this kind of level, um, that has, like, the long, skinny train tracks, if you follow it all the way down, you can, like, mine around if you want to. Oh, see, there's one right there. But if you follow it all the way down, there will always be a ladder at the end. Um, so that's a pro tip. You don't need to, like, waste bombs on that level or anything, because there will always be a ladder at the end. Um, which is kind of useful. And there's gonna be coal in it, too. Um, but sometimes I, like- Oh, a prismatic shard! I- my inventory is full. Uh, I don't need- what do I- I don't, um, uh, go away. <laughs> Those are pretty rare. Nice! <laughs> that worked out pretty well. Birthday's on Wednesday. Happy almost birthday. Prismatic shards are one of the rarer items in the game. Um, they're, they're pretty frequent drops in the skull caverns, I guess, because those iridium nodes, like that little um, blue and purple thingy in the corner down there, um, they pretty frequently drop them. So sometimes you'll get, like, I've had times I've come in here and I've gotten, like, six of them, literally. Um, but they're pretty rare, so it's, like, always kind of exciting when you get one. <laughs> Um, uh, yeah, it's getting late in game, but I'm gonna keep going, because I'm almost on level 100, so. Why did I do that? Die! Oh my god, leave me alone. Leave me alone. What do you do with them? Um, so, early game, one of the things that you need them for is that you obviously put it in the museum. You can also, and I recommend doing this first if you get one, you can also uh, use it to trade to get this galaxy sword, the best weapon, one of the best weapons in the game, um, which is pretty useful. Uh, that's level 100, by the way. There's usually, the first time you get there, there's a treasure there, but we already got it, obviously. I've already come down here. Um, but anyway, you can also use them to enchant things now with 1.5 uh, with the new update, so they're pretty useful to keep on you if you've got a bunch of them. Um, you can also- they're- they're a loved gift. I don't know if I would give them to people, but you could. Because literally everyone in the game loves them except for Haley. <laughs> um, so you could always give them to people if you wanted to. And then they would enjoy the gift. Um, except for Haley, because she's like, I don't like things that are prettier than me, or something. Um, which, yeah, fair enough. <laughs> oh, hello, little buddies. I don't really want to deal with this. Maybe I'll just go home. <laughs> It's already 1 a.m. anyway. Sophia, thank you for the two months, by the way. Uh, Sybil, thank you for the for the bits. Block, thank you for the prime sub. Warren, thank you for the bits. Thank you so much. Um, but anyway, she doesn't like it because it's prettier than her. So don't waste it on her, but like, I already have 15 of them. Um, they are pretty rare though, even though it might not look that way. Because <laughs> I have like 15 of them, but... I've married Haley recently, um, in this game, so don't worry, I'm not- I'm not slandering Haley. I married her on stream- in one of my stream saves in the past. So, okay, let me put my tools away. Bombs, that, that. Let me get these thingies back. Okay, let me put the food I don't need away. Haley is one of the NPCs. Um, I can show you her. Haley is... This one. <laughs> uh, Mike, thank you for the bits, by the way. Thank you so much. Congrats on uh, on starting college classes on Monday. I People always ask me for advice about stuff like this, and I never know what to tell them. Um, but <laughs> I don't know. You're going to do great. That's my advice to you about starting your new classes in college. It's not as scary as it sounds. I think people always make it out like it's like the hardest thing in the entire world. Your worst nightmare is college classes. It's, it's really not. You're going to be okay. I mean, some of them will be hard, but... You got this. I believe in you. 
Okay. 2,500. I was wondering how much this line that was going to be worth. Um, interesting. <laughs> Sasha with the 41 months, by the way. Oh my god. I'm not going to bother giving Emily a birthday gift because I've already given her... She's, I already have full hearts with her. Anyway, you guys, if you don't follow my friend Sasha on Twitch, there's a link to her channel in the chat. Sasha's one of my best friends. Please check out her channel. Thank you very much. How are you doing, Sasha? I hope you had a good day. My farm looks so good. Thank you. I need to finish decorating my house. I guess we could, honestly, we could probably work on that a little bit right now, but I don't really want to. <laughs> it stresses me out. I don't want to think, never mind. I don't want to think about it anymore. <laughs> never mind. I don't want to. I take it back. Never mind. <laughs> okay, nothing yet in there. Can we have a house tour? I've only really done the one room, that tea room down there. Um, oh! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> That's my first uh, giant cauliflower on this save. Nice! I might, I might leave my cauliflower again until tomorrow. Oh, another one! <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'll leave the cauliflower there until tomorrow because we might still get more of them. Um, so we'll leave those there until tomorrow. <laughs> Not bad. Sounds good to me. Thank you very much. Okay. Well, we'll have to start preparing. You know what we could do? We could go buy the seeds that we'll need um, for Monday. We could go buy them right now. Um, cause the season's almost over, almost over, and I have, uh, that thingy, so I can buy the seeds any time of year. Um, so perhaps we could go do that. This is year three, by the way, on my save. Uh, the giant cauliflower doesn't do anything. It just, it gives you, basically just gives you more cauliflower. So you see how it, like, takes up nine spaces? You would just get nine cauliflower from that, but the giant one is gonna give me, like, 17 or something. Um... So, you just get more cauliflower from it, basically. A coconut. I'm just gonna sell it. <laughs> I'm just gonna sell that coconut. Thank you. I don't even care. I'm just gonna sell all this stuff. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. How do you plant trees in the greenhouse? You can put any trees in the greenhouse anytime, Swiggle. Any trees in the greenhouse anytime. Um... And as long as there's space for giant crops to grow, like as long as there's nine um, of any of the cauliflower, melon, or pumpkins in a spot um, together, like touching, they could turn into a giant crop. Um, and if you, even once they're fully grown, like these are fully grown cauliflower, that's, they were fully grown yesterday too, but I left them overnight. And because they were left overnight and watered again, they turned into giant ones today. There was like a chance again of them doing it again. Um, so... Um, I can buy seeds all year because of a thingy I got with the 1.5 update. <laughs> it's a 1.5 thingy. I won't tell you how to get it, um, unless you want to know, but I'll tell people to close their ears again, but it's a 1.5 thingy. There's a lot of, like, late game, like, really easy, like, life-changing perks that you can get late game with, um, with 1.5 now, so. Am I tired today? Why do you ask that? Do I look tired? Are you being rude? <laughs> Is that why? <laughs> okay, um, so I need to, like, draw out. Do you guys mind? Let me get some paper. <laughs> Do you guys mind if I, like, draw my farm really fast so I can figure out what crops I need to buy? <laughs> Do you mind, uh, if I just, um, draw out my farm really fast? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get... I don't know, I need a pen. So basically, obviously you can see I've got like three um, big sets of iridium sprinklers. They're on that side and then there's the the greenhouse and then we have the same thing kind of mirrored down below but I didn't have enough iridium sprinklers to fill this up how I wanted so I put regular ones down. And so um, basically buying seeds is a very complicated thing for me. It doesn't have to be but I make it that way. So, art cam, imagine- well, here's my greenhouse. <laughs> I'm so embarrassed. Okay, and then there's three, uh, regular sprinklers. So, we'll need some flowers to put there. And then, um, obviously we have a bunch of sections of 48 next to it. 
you can't see what I'm doing. I'm literally just drawing, like, I just need to figure out what I want to put. <laughs> Should I change the category to an art stream? Yeah, imagine. Sorry, everyone. Um, you can't see what I'm doing right now because I'm working on something. So sorry. So sorry. Um, this is very sad for you. Okay. I <laughs> Why do I have to make this so complicated? I think I might put all melons at the top um, and all blueberries at the bottom. And then we could always go to the desert to buy some more seeds if we wanted to. Because, like, so here's what I'm thinking. Oops. Obviously, we'll put some flowers in there. We'll get all melons up here, all melons to the right. And then um, down here, all blueberries. Over here, all blueberries. I might make like one, two, three, four, like these middle ones all the same thing. We can get like a section here of something and then a section here of something, you know? That's my plan. <laughs> okay. I think I've got it all figured out. I have it written, so this way I'll be able to, to decide what I want to buy, so I'm fine. My problem is solved. I'm gonna go to the to the desert. I'm gonna get some um you know what? Maybe I'll plant star fruit instead. Uh I probably should plant star fruit. I'm gonna do star fruit instead of blueberries. And then I'll put blueberries in the middle. I'm doing it. Off I go. To the desert. Thank you very much. Yeah, there's a farm planner website, but I prefer this. <laughs> I could have shown you if I used the farm planner, but I think instead I'll just, um, do this. <laughs> okay. I could, like, upload my save file to the farm planner and we could, like, figure it out pretty easily, but... Um, so, basically, star fruit grows in the summer. This is one of the best crops in the game. I'd probably be best off to, like, plant as much of it as possible, to be honest. Um... But I'm not sure. How long does it take to grow? 13 days? Okay, so we can buy, like, both sets. We need 288 of them for the first... <laughs> for the first half of the season. Oh, it hurts! It hurts! <laughs> and we need 288 again for the second half of the season. Oh, it hurts! Oh, I'm spending so much money! Oh my god! <laughs> Oh, okay. Okay. So we'll plant all of those. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I spent so much money. But we're gonna get a lot of money back. We're gonna be rich after this. It's just, um... You know, the meantime, it's gonna be painful. <laughs> Riley, Jules, Happily, Hannah, Fro, uh, Kate, thank you guys for the resubs, by the way. Um... Oh my goodness, this is painful. So, so painful. <laughs> I'm a Leo, mom, I'm a Leo. Opal, thank you for the bits. I was born on August 14th. So, I am a Leo. <laughs> okay, so I have that 1.5 thingy so I can... Okay, I was gonna say, can I not buy anything, but you still can't? <laughs> I, was, I was gonna get really upset. <laughs> I was like, Pierre, what do you mean? But it's okay, I can still buy stuff even though he's not here. Okay, so we'll buy another 288 um, to put on top with the melons. And then I'm gonna get some blueberries as well. Okay, so that's the top and bottom section. Um, and then we're gonna wanna get like 96 blueberries for the middle section. Um, I'm buying summer seeds in spring. There's a thing that you can get with the 1.5 update that lets you do this. You can buy any seeds anytime. Um, that's a, a thing that happens um, with the 1.5 update. 
well, you have to buy, like, unlock it first. I don't have any mods, Arden, no. This is 1.5 thing. Um, okay, so then I wanted to get some summer flowers. Poppy and Spangle. Hmm, which one do I like better? I'm gonna buy eight poppies, and then I'll buy 16 of the Spangles. <laughs> um... Not so you can plant on the island, no. It's a thing that you unlock uh, after a quest thingy, basically. Um, but it, it's there's, like, a bunch of, like, late-game helpful things you can unlock. Like, you can buy, like, hoppers and, like, all kinds of random stuff um, once you're late-game, and that is one of them. Okay, I'm gonna buy, like, 24 peppers. Should I buy... Maybe I'll just get some tomato for the rest. I guess you need tomatoes a lot to make... Um, like, to cook with. So maybe I'll buy, like, 48 tomatoes. The thing is, these aren't very lucrative. They're just, like, mostly decorative. I, we're, we're more investing in, like, the star fruit, right? Um, but I'm on year three, Riley. This is year three. Okay, so we're ready for the summer. <laughs> we still have a couple days, but I am ready for the summer. I already gave two gifts. I need to give another gift to Leo. Where will Leo be... Okay, good. I'm gonna go see if I can find a, um, I'm gonna give him a mango. <laughs> uh, Psyched, thank you for the three months, by the way. Summer, summer, <laughs> summer, summer, right? Um, Sammy, thank you for the three months. Thank you all so much. I'm sorry if I missed anything, by the way. Uh, you know it's not on purpose, but. Leo's in the 1.5, yeah, the Leo is in the 1.5 update too. Yeah, sorry. Um, Lots of 1.5. There's there's so much new stuff with 1.5. It's, like, unbelievable. Um, if you haven't played with any of it yet, I recommend checking it out. Uh, it's really cool. <laughs> it's my birthday. Can I get a happy birthday song? I'm a big fan. Oh, psh. <laughs> you know what? I'd sing a song for you any day, even even when it's not your birthday. But just you, nobody else. <laughs> anyway, okay, I think uh, I'm gonna go give this present to my friend. And then, oh, I get it. <laughs> Sorry, Sid, it's just, you know. Yeah, hopefully it'll come out on Switch as soon as possible. I mean, they, he said that they submitted uh, the update for console to get, it has to get, like, approved by the the, plat the console platforms. Um, like, ba like, basically, like, Sony has to approve the PlayStation update um, and whatever. But uh, he said he submitted it yesterday, so it might take a second. Um, maybe, like, a couple more weeks, but hopefully it'll it'll be soon. Hello, my friends. How many... Everyone, I pranked you. Wait, JJ, is that you? I had no idea. <laughs> this is shocking information. <laughs> I might actually, um, you know what? I want the, I need the weeds. Gimme, 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 gimme. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Oh, let me harvest this. Well, basically, oh, you know what? I might go chop down the hardwood. And then, like, basically, I did everything that I can today. Is the baby named for Harry Styles? Yes. <laughs> um, this is the galaxy sword, but it's enchanted with the haymaker enchantment. Um, and what that does is you might have just seen when you chop down weeds with the sword, it uh, has a chance of giving you hay. Which is what just happened. It gave me hay. <laughs> so. <laughs> um, I finished the museum. Sally, I am really close to like, I've basically done it. Like I shipped everything. I caught all the fish. I finished all the artifacts. I finished all the minerals. I've cooked everything except the lucky lunch. Cause I can't get the sea cucumber yet until, until fall. Um, I just need to cook everything and craft everything still. I, I'm, like, super close to finishing everything. <laughs> we are almost there. Almost there. Um, but the giant cauliflower is really silly, isn't it? 
But yeah, I've never finished the museum before the save, so I've been playing the save a lot off stream, obviously. Um, yeah, hopefully the traveling cart will have it, but I'm not sure. I'm not counting on it, Thomas, but I'm gonna obviously take the traveling cart tomorrow and hope that it has it. Um, because the traveling cart can have sea cucumber. So, we will see. Oh, that's a good question. Krista, I, I like your existing username, but I think the, um, the lavender one is kind of a fun name. I kind of like that. Now, that cauliflower would feed a lot of people if you roasted it, yeah. <laughs> now, if you roasted that cauliflower, everybody gets to eat. <laughs> um... <laughs> Plenty of food for everyone with those giant ones. We're on year three. This is spring of year three. Almost summer of year three. Okay. I chopped my hardwood. I might go to my crab pots. I want to try to make some, um, some quality for- Let me through! The slime- I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Okay. I want to try to make some quality fertilizer for, um, for this next event. You know what? I have so much, um, this one's really spelled differently. Yeah, that's the thing. Um, so like, if you're not comfortable with it being your username, like change it to whatever you want. But I do think that it's a fun, it's a fun username. I like the idea of it. Sarah, thank you for the 10 months. Um, <laughs> thank you all so much. Okay, well, we just, I'm going to the crab pots to try and see if I can get some fish, basically. Um, oh, I'm stuck. I'm far ahead of you. How did I do it? I don't know. I I guess I was like tryharding a little bit. Don't like don't compare your progress to me cuz I like I'm intentionally trying to like perfectionist run this. Um, you know, and and also like I I've played this game a lot over the years. Like I've been playing it for like 4 years, you know? So I like know Stardew Valley really well. So like don't, you know, like feel bad about yourself cuz I'm farther along than you or whatever cuz it doesn't matter. Um it, like, trust me, you're doing great. You don't have to play it this way. You don't have to play it, like, with this, like, mad rush to finish everything, you know? Um, you're just fine. <laughs> you are just fine. I, like, Dan and I have been playing together a lot, um, recently, like, in a, but, like, separately, but together. Like, we'll play both of our separate single-player saves together in a call, um, and I'm like way ahead of him too. He's like in the same, he's also in spring of year three, but I'm like way ahead of him as well. <laughs> That's just because I like, um, I don't know. I like know more things, you know? Um, so I know what I'm doing basically. Um, yeah, Caroline, I still cut my own hair. I cut my own hair like last weekend actually. I literally just uh, gave myself a haircut. I was in desperate need of one, <laughs> so. I did it. Okay, I'm gonna go turn all of this into some quality fertilizer, hopefully. Um, and I'm gonna try to put as much quality fertilizer- I have a bunch more mussels at home, I think. But I'm gonna try to put a bunch of quality fertilizer underneath the star fruit. Because if you have fertilizer, they have a better chance of better quality crops. Like, there's like gold star crops, basically, that you can get. And we're trying to make as much money as possible because we spent like 300,000 gold on seeds. Um, so I would like to have a very high return on my star fruit investment, so I'm going to try, uh, my absolute hardest to get as much out of it as I can. <laughs> so, don't mind me, I'm going to make some quality fertilizer now. 39, okay, how many more random things do I have that I can- I can use that. Okay, well, 42. <laughs> Ah, uh, 83. <laughs> and then we have like 49 basic, or uh, 490 basic fertilizer, so that'll be fine. Um, I do have the bone mill, yeah. I, we could probably start putting some bones in the bone mill. I might put it outside so I can see it. <gasps> Wine. Oh, more of it. <laughs> we must have like just caught it. Uh, we walked in here at like the exact right time, apparently. That's kind of funny. Um. Okay, I'll leave this right here and we'll keep putting bones into it so that we can... That'll come out with fertilizer for us too, which will be very useful. The wine just jump scared you, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's spooky. <laughs> it kind of scared me too. Okay, let's um put some more of this in here. Make sure you don't miss any of them, Kayla. Okay. 
lots and lots of money. Thank you very much. I am going to have so much money. Yeah, people make a lot of kegs because like the, the best way to make money really fast in this game essentially is to just make a lot of kegs and grow a lot of ancient fruit and make a lot of ancient fruit wine. Um, so that that's like the, the pro tip, I guess you could say, is just to make as, I need to, I need to cut down some more trees, I'm out of wood. Um, but the pro tip is to make like as much wine as possible. Oh, the wine it down, down there is finished too. This isn't laid out the best way that it could be. <laughs> And I can't move it very easily. Uh, uh, once it's finished, maybe I'll like go through and redo it. <laughs> Cause I, I should have like moved them before I started, but I didn't. Um, can you even walk through that? You can, okay. Maybe I'll stick one there. <laughs> Anyway, you can put uh, wine in these kegs to age it, and then it gets to be higher quality, and then it gets to be worth more. Um, so you can see some of it is like gold star now that I have, um, which is pretty good. Yeah, it's not, this is not a very efficient layout. I like can't get more down here. That's embarrassing. Okay, leave that in there. Well, <laughs> zombie, Basil, Mike, thank you guys for the bits and subs also. Thank you so much. Your birthday's tomorrow? I can sing you a song. Uh, hello, Elliot. Is he going to bed at 10 p.m.? Wow, <laughs> couldn't be me. <laughs> okay. This, this room is like mostly decorative, you know, like it, it's not like the most efficient layout of kegs, obviously, but I like how it looks. <laughs> I think it's really pretty, so I keep it, um, which is all that matters. I mean, you're allowed to just have things because they're pretty, but that was my first kegs I put in there and then like slowly but surely I was getting more and more and then putting them in the shed, you know? I'm just gonna sell that wine that I got from in there, um, I think. Okay, I think we should be ready for tomorrow. How long does this take? Should I wait? Yeah, you can only put casks in the basement to age things. Uh, Lil, thank you for the bits, by the way. Thank you so much. So I can't put them anywhere else. You have to put them in the basement and only the basement, unfortunately. Um, well, I guess we can just hang out. <laughs> what do you guys want to talk about? <laughs> uh, say congrats on the Discord roll and Salty. Congrats on the Discord roll, both of you. Congratulations. I don't know how long it's gonna take. Oh, you know what I should do? Literally any chance I get, I need to put. Oh, see, that was worthwhile. I'm, aren't you glad I waited? Deluxe speed grow. I didn't need that. <laughs> okay, <laughs> well. Now I have some deluxe speed grow. <laughs> no, I don't have any mods. Uh, Pearl Pal, thank you for the prime sub. Thank you so much. If you put those things in the basement, does it increase anything? Um, what the the casks in the basement? Yeah, it inc it slowly increases. <gasps> oh, sorry. It slowly increases the quality of your wine. I just gave birth to a second child. Well, I have one child named Harry after Harry Styles. Name her Mary? Harry and Mary? Oh, I might do that. <laughs> I might name her Mary and some of my kids are Mary and Harry. Okay, no, I'll, I'll do that. <laughs> Perfect, thank you for the prime sub. I was thinking about naming it Taylor after Taylor Swift, but I think Harry and Mary is kind of funny. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. <laughs> It's the last day of the season. We have to go cut down so many trees today. Why did I just talk to the queen of sauce? I know I already have all the recipes. <laughs> the spirits are neutral today. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Look at it, it looks like a little caterpillar, but it's my child. Hi, buddy. <laughs> okay, <laughs> sorry. Let me through. <sighs> <laughs> Wait, zombie, thank you for the subs. <laughs> oh, tree fertilizer. 
That makes you grow trees faster. Do we get any more giant cauliflower? We had two. I'm not sure if we got any more. No, we did not. That's okay. It was still worthwhile. <laughs> it was it was still worth it. We got a lot of cauliflower. Um, we're gonna make a bunch of money today. I was leaving them overnight again just in case it would grow me another giant cauliflower, but I'll take my two. I am I am not opposed to this. What does it do? Okay, so basically, you see how it takes up nine spaces? Usually, you would only get nine cauliflower from it. Um, but we're, instead, we're gonna get like 17. So it like doubles your output of cauliflower if it turns into a giant one. Which is super useful, um, because then you get more money. <laughs> you know, um, you can't go wrong with more money. 16, yeah. Pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah, that's a lot. <laughs> My Iridium Axe hits it so fast. I wasn't expecting it to break it that easily. That was kind of fun. <laughs> uh, the Paranormal Stuff Pack for The Sims comes out on Tuesday, Aesthetic. Um, so it'll, it'll be out on Tuesday. The 26th. So in a couple days. I need to harvest my flowers too. Come here, thank you. Good to see all of you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I have so many things. You're gonna buy it? I honestly, I really enjoyed it. Um, I had fun playing with it yesterday. Again, it's a stuff pack. You're not gonna use it every day, but like the building cast is fun in it. The gameplay, there's a whole new career, which is always a, a nice touch. Like, it's a, it, I think it's a good pack. My, one of my high school friends was like, so should I buy it? And I was like, you know what? I think you'd like it. I think you should get it. Which is, I mean, I'd tell my real life friends to buy it. That's pretty good. I mean, I would, I would tell you the same thing, but. Um, <laughs> I recommended it to my friend Kylie, and I, I think I would recommend it to all of you, so. I thought I wasn't gonna like it that much, but I, I honestly had a lot of fun playing with it yesterday. I'm not gonna use it all the time, and I think people think that I have, like, a, something against the cult sims, um, and that's not the case. I just, like, for example, I hate, hate, hate the vampires in The Sims 4, um, and that's, that is solely because of the fact that the vampires in The Sims 4 are so annoying, and they're always, 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 like, bothering you, you know, and I- do they only stay in, like, stacks of three? That's so weird. But, like, the vampires are always bothering you and, like, showing up at your house. And, like, they're so in your way. And I don't like that about it. Like, if the if the vampires were less, like, invasive in The Sims, like, then I would like them better. But because they show up at your house constantly, like, you can't, you can't escape them. Um, and that's what I don't like about them. <laughs> Minty, but it's just the vampires that bother me. Um, they were different colors. They look the same to me, but maybe they were, maybe they were different colors. Oops. <gasps> I can make more kegs. I need to chop down some trees first, but we have a little bit more oak resin. Yeah, Dawn, if you drop things on the ground in Animal Crossing, it'll stay there forever. It won't, like, disappear or despawn or anything. Um, if you drop it on the ground in Animal Crossing, it'll stay there, so don't worry. You can, like, leave things on the ground in Animal Crossing. I didn't know that for a long time. So I was, like, keeping everything in my inventory because I didn't have any- my house built yet. I didn't know you could just, like, put things on the floor. So I was, like, I want to keep this gold nugget, but I have nowhere to put it yet. So I was, like, keeping it in my inventory for so long. Um, which, uh, like, I just didn't know that I could put it on the floor. Um, not in this game, in Animal Crossing. You can drop things- well, you can drop things in this game, but, um, I would assume it would despawn. If you left it there. I don't know. Um, yeah, I wish Animal Crossing had chests, too. Danny, thank you for the sub gift. Tilly, thank you for the bits. You're making a new gaming PC for yourself? That is awesome news. Congratulations. Um, congratulations, congratulations. That is so, so cool. Um. I don't need any of that. Oh, well. Well, you can't drop things, Talisha, but what you can do, and what I always do, is you can build a chest and you can place it, like, by the elevator in the mines. 
Um, and then you can, like, when you get to level, like, the next, like, five, level five increment, like, you get to level 80, you can take the elevator back up, dump your stuff in the chest, and then keep going. Um, which is super useful, because you, no one's gonna break, like, you can put the chest next to the mines. Um, and then if you pass out, or, like, you could, like, leave food by the mines, um, it's just, it's super useful for that, because then you always have, like, a spot to dump your stuff if your inventory fills up fast. Um, but that is a, a really good pro tip for, like, early game stuff. Um, that you can leave some extra food and like dump your stuff in the mines because you when you first start out You only have the first row of inventory slots um, Yeah, the Iridium max is really good <laughs> Yeah <laughs> The Iridium max is really nice um, Big fan big fan but Yeah, you can put a chest in the mines. That's my pro tip to you <laughs> I also have my Iridium Axe enchanted so that I don't lose energy when I'm chopping with it. It's pretty nice if you ask me. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna chop down like any wood that I find down here basically. Um, cause that will be very useful. What food do I recommend for the Skull Caverns? Well, it depends like where you're at in your save. Like early game, um, I think that saving crops can be useful because you can eat them and they're like a high, um, high energy. Like things like cauliflower is really good for that. Um, I, a lot of times I bring cheese with me into the Skull Caverns. Um, cause like the cheese is a pretty good food to eat. Um, if you can, like, and that's if you can't afford to buy food. Um, you could always buy like salad or something from Gus if you wanted to or make it. Once you get level 10 foraging, you can get iridium quality forageables that are really good. Um, so that's useful, um, but you can like, it depends, it depends where you're at, you know, o obviously bringing like spicy eel and crab cakes is really helpful as well, because they give you like the boost, like the, the speed and luck bonuses and stuff like that, um, but it just depends like if you can even craft those or if you can even buy them, um, but yeah, that is my advice to you. <laughs> I chopped like 300 more wood, that's pretty good. Yeah, the, um, you can make like like uh, like granola bar type things from the seeds. <laughs> uh, one of the things you can craft is the field snack. That's not a that's not a bad snack either. It's like forty five energy and twenty health. It's not great for the skull caverns, but it's good for the regular mines. And that's stuff that you have access to like really easily when you're first playing, uh, which is really helpful. So if you don't have a kitchen yet, so you can't cook food, like you can just make those because you have access to like acorns, you know. Um, but you can also, yeah, you can bring rubies to the desert and you can trade one ruby for one spicy eel. That's, that's well worth doing when you're going into the skull caverns. Um, I have lots of spicy eel that I, <laughs> that I keep on me. <laughs> um, yeah, you still have to go back to the regular mines sometimes for things. Um, sometimes you might, like, have a quest to kill something. Maybe you want more slime. I don't know. There, I still go back to the regular mines. I also, like, for a while, I didn't want to spend money to buy bombs. So I would go to the mines and, like, get a bunch of iron so that I could craft the bombs. Um. So. Okay, that's a bunch of wood. That's pretty good. I'm gonna go bring some presents to my friends. <laughs> Um, I need to bring a present to Krobus and to, uh, the dwarf, so I will go do that, but I want to make my kegs first. Did I just hear a steam notification? Did I just imagine that? I thought, I thought somebody was inviting me to a game. <laughs> I think I might have just imagined that. <laughs> what is wrong with me? Oh, Hello. That is 10 quality fertilizer. That is pretty good if you ask me. Okay, I'll put that away. Do I want you to, do I want you to invite me to a game? Well, no, not that much. Okay, let me put these things away as well. Keep this on me. I'm pretty sure I have gifts for them already, um, but I might bring, Oh wait, I was gonna craft the oak resin. Or the the kegs, I mean. With my new wood. Oop. One, two, three. Very useful. I'm glad that um they'll be at the same time as these two. 
<laughs> All my kegs being out of time with each other is so annoying, but I'm still like slowly filling up the room with kegs, you know? So they're not they're not in sync at all <laughs> which is very frustrating but it's okay slowly but surely we will get there um all right i wanted to bring let's see i need a diamond and an emerald why is your bone bill in the most inconvenient place for crop planting minty i just put it there because i'm only using it right now um <laughs> it's only there because it's the last day of the season and there's no crops there. Don't judge me. <laughs> it's just there because there's nothing else there right now. Um, gummy worm, did you- were you just rude to my mods? I'm going to ban you for that. You can appeal your ban tomorrow and you can apologize. You asked a question, my mods answered you, and you said, Except I wasn't asking you. You got no business being rude to anybody, let alone my friends. Go away. Four messages in chat, two of them being rude to my friends. <sighs> Spontaneous cat, thank you for the bits, by the way. Jacqueline, Cray Girl, Danny, um, all of you, thank you so much for the bits and subs and stuff. <laughs> oh my god. All right, are you friends with me yet? Wait, yes, nine hearts with the dwarf now. This is good, this is good. And I go bring the diamond to Krobus. <laughs> I don't understand the like audacity of people to, to like, why? I don't know why they have to be so rude for no reason. You get like a basic answer to your question and then they like yell at my mods over it. Like you just asked if I was going to play Sims and my mod was like, no, we're playing Stardew today, but maybe another time later this week. And then you're like, I didn't ask you what? <laughs> Calm down. You just, you're, someone just answered your question. <laughs> I don't understand, like, even even if they weren't my mods that said it, why would you say that to anybody? Why would you treat anybody like that? What is wrong with you? Somebody just, you asked a question, somebody answered it. I didn't ask you. What? <laughs> you, they were just answering your question. <laughs> Tilly, thank you for the bits. Anyway, they probably wanted me to answer because they, like, wanted attention from it. And they got their attention, so I guess that's good for them. <laughs> Congrats. Um. <laughs> okay. You would be so surprised how many people say stuff like that in chat, though. I, I would never talk to anybody like that in any chat. Uh, no, Charlotte, I'm cutting down the trees because I those trees will regrow, and I, I need wood because I've been using all my wood to craft the, um, the kegs. So uh, I was just chopping down trees on my way because then I was going to get more wood. That's all that I was doing for doing it for, I mean. Um, okay. Does Krobus- <gasps> Yes! Nine hearts with Krobus. Okay, we're- we're almost there. I'm still not close enough with Leo yet, but we're getting there. We're getting there. I'm very excited for the next day of the season. <laughs> uh, I might go see if there's anything on the beach that I need. Yeah, Leo loves duck feathers. He also loves mango, and that's way easier because I got mango trees, so I've been giving him mangoes. Um, so that's a pro tip as well, I guess, if you guys didn't know. If you want to befriend Leo, once you get a mango tree, he loves mango, so that's pretty easy to give him, because you, like, the game gives you a mango every day anyway, once you have a mango tree. So, easy. Are you going to stream tonight? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> I'm pretty sure, yeah. That is the plan. <laughs> yeah. I'm not gonna stream like later than usual, but I'm gonna stream until about seven. So I'll be live for like two more hours probably. That is my plan. That is my plan. But yeah, Leo loves duck feathers. Um, he also loves, what is the soup? Was it like the, is it the new curry? No, he gives you the recipe for the new curry, doesn't he? What is the one he loves? Oh, the poi, yeah, he likes this too. 
He might love other things, but I haven't given him any of them. Those are the three things. that There's, like, a crafting recipe that you can give him. He also loves duck feathers, and he loves mangoes. But mango is by far the easiest. I think to craft, to cook that, you need, like, four taro root, which isn't so bad, but the one mango is a way easier gift. So. <laughs> it's pre-recorded? Yeah, 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 yeah. This stream is definitely pre-recorded content. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. <laughs> Hawk, thank you for the seven months. Yeah, so Arden, the gift guide isn't, like, quite in the game, but um, once you've given someone a gift, it tells you how they feel about it. Um, so it'll, like, mark it down. If once you've given it to them, it'll tell you, like, their loved and liked gifts. Also, you know how there's some, like, um, sometimes different people, like, you know how there's, like, secret notes that'll tell you, like, oh, you know, my, like, it's like, oh, this is a note from some so-and-so's shopping list, and it's like, I need to buy this for my mom for her birthday, and it kind of, like, tells you that they love it. Um, if you get those secret notes, it'll add that information to their, um, their page as well. So it'll, like, tell you the things they love based on, like, the, the secret notes or, or whatever access you have to any of that knowledge. Um, and then it adds it to your thing, which is pretty useful. You can make some more quality fertilizer. I guess I'll just spend the rest of this sap on regular fertilizer. I don't even know if I'll have time to fertilize everything tomorrow. <laughs> I'm gonna make sure I grab all my fertilizer. Um, okay, put all of the spring things away. Put all of that away. Trash that. I, I think I have a couple of those things saved, yeah. Okay, put that away. Save those. I don't have any mods, no. <laughs> I don't, I don't have any mods. Okay, I need all of my summer seeds, too. I got these, 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 these. Oh, I had 14 pineapple. I didn't realize I had pineapple seeds here. Oh, well. Okay, so we just, maybe I'll actually know what I'll do really fast. Is I'll go into my greenhouse and I'll get all my fruit. Speaking of mangoes, oh, why, why, oh, one of the ancient fruit is out of, out of, oh, that's annoying. One ancient fruit that's, like, not in sync with the rest of them. I should have left it there and let it get in sync with the rest of them. Next time I'll, I'll try to remember to leave it there. Oh, that's so annoying. Just one ancient fruit that's out of sync with them. <laughs> is uptime off? No, it shouldn't be. Uh, no, someone just used it. Uh, Misha, Jenna, May, May, Hawk, thank you guys for the resubs also. Thank you so much. Oh no, I meant like in-game mods, not Twitch mods. Like, I don't have any Stardew mods. Um, okay. Let me go sell my thingies that I do not need. How do you have three fruits? You usually only get one? I, I didn't harvest it for three days. So it can, it can grow up to three fruits. Um, I just didn't go in there for three days. So there was like, lots of fruits in there essentially um but that's that's how i got three fruits is i just didn't harvest it for a while <laughs> um that is all okay i'm gonna go to sleep i'm ready i'm ready it's time for the first day of summer oh i can change my stream title to say summer year three summer summer <laughs> summer <laughs> um this is great. We're doing very well. Look, see how much money I made from my crops yesterday? I'm just saying. New season, new season. <laughs> okay. We are going pretty well. I need to say hi to my child quickly. What time is it? In real life, for me, it is currently exactly 5 p.m. Um... Deluxe speed grow. I don't need that right now, but I appreciate it. <laughs> I don't need that, but I appreciate the offer. Okay, I need to put that away. Now we simply just hoe everything. Everything. Also, this is a fun one. Um, that This is a fun pro tip that you can do now. Um, so if you enchant your hoe and you get the, the reaching enchantment, you can do what I'm doing right now, um, and it goes, like, one further. It does the exact right size for Iridium Sprinklers. It usually doesn't go that far. Um, it usually does, like, the weird long skinny one instead. But this enchantment, like, usually the max is, wait for it, wait for it, that. But now it's this. Which is super useful, because when you have Iridium Sprinklers, um, and your thing is fully upgraded, you can just, boom, 
like hoe the whole thing all at once. Very, very, very helpful. Yeah, it's not so useful. It's just so much easier <laughs> when you can just hoe it all at once like that. Um, yeah, that's one of the enchantments that you can get with the new 1.5 stuff. Um, and I'm really glad I got that one. I also, my watering can is like infinite now. It doesn't run out of water. Very useful. I don't have to like rewater anything ever or refill it. I mean, <laughs> thank God. Um, oh, so it used to get rid of the sprinkler back in the day when you would hoe things, it would get rid of the sprinkler. So you used to have to put um, a floor tile underneath it so that it wouldn't. Oh no. How did my duck escape? <laughs> anyway, it used to break the sprinkler when you would hoe it, um, but it doesn't do that anymore. Uh, now, now you don't have to worry about that. Um, so I you used to have to like put a piece of flooring underneath it and then it would um, make it so it wouldn't break. But now that is not a problem anymore. So do not worry. <laughs> but yeah, I think that was from the update like last year, to be honest. I don't really remember exactly. It's okay. If the duck wants to be on the loose, he can be on the loose. I don't mind. <laughs> That's totally fine by me. <laughs> Um, he's, but he, there's not any water where the duck is. So, sure, they can swim, but they're, th that's not why he's out. Because <laughs> there's not any water where their house is. <laughs> so that's not it. Um, no, it won't run away. <laughs> nice that we had the strawberries here, because now they won't break. Or now that they're, now they're already watered and hoed, I mean, is, is what I meant to say. Okay. It's just so much faster doing all this stuff when you have the whole thing. There's a hole by your pumpkin scarecrow. What? Oh, I did it wrong. Oh. What? Why are we clapping for Sid? I missed it. What's happening? Congrats, Sid, on whatever happened. I don't know. I'm not sure. <laughs> But congratulations! I'm glad I got to buy my seeds already. This is way easier. Okay, so this is a different world. This is my single player save. Um, this is the one that I've been playing off stream a lot. Um, this is the one that Dan and I have been playing. I haven't streamed this much because um, I've been like keeping it for myself for fun, <laughs> basically. Um, but I want it. I'm getting really close to like fully completing the whole game, kind of. So I was. I just wanted to play a bunch today. Um, uh, so I decided I would stream it for a while. I even went live early so that I could play a bunch today. I just- I was basically just looking for an excuse to play my single player save, and I was like, I'll stream it! <laughs> then it's content! <laughs> so, how many saves do I have? Well, I- I have a bunch because I've played this game for like four years, but I'm actively playing two right now. One with my boyfriend and one, um, one just by myself for fun. And that's this one. I've been mostly streaming. Dan and I have been streaming the one that we've been playing together. So if you've seen me play Stardew Valley recently, you've probably um, been watching that save that Dan and I have been playing. So. Okay, we'll have to water these. Very annoying. Very, very, very annoying. Uh, I've been playing- I have like 80 hours in this save. I've been playing in it for like a month or two. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> this is what I do like literally every night after I get off stream. I go make dinner and then I play Stardew Valley. Um, wait, that was wrong. Oh no. I'm sorry. I wasn't thinking. I put him in the wrong place. I don't, I'm starting the day over. I'm sorry. I was talking to you and I put my melons in the wrong place and now I'm starting the day over. So we have to do all of that again, but that's okay. Um, <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> I got so distracted talking. Now I have to do it all over again. <laughs> nice work, Simsy. Well, it's not my fault that it was in the wrong place. Oh, that's so annoying. Why did I do this to myself? We literally have to do the whole thing all over again. It's fine. It's really fun to hoe the ground. I really enjoy it. The coffee maker you get given to you as a gift from a quest. 
Um, so I, I finished one of the quests on like the mayor's like little board and then I got, I think it was one from Evelyn maybe? Um, I don't remember exactly, I'm sorry, but uh, I got the coffee maker from a quest and then it, it gives me a fresh cup of coffee every day, which is very useful. Um, cause coffee makes you run faster in the game. To be honest, I probably should drink some coffee so I can run around and- I'll drink coffee when I'm planting everything, so I can run around and do it faster. Um, I think it's the leak quest, yeah, but I don't remember exactly, but I'm pretty sure it's the leak quest that Evelyn gives you. Um. So. Can you please get out of my way? I, I love you, little guy, but you're you're sort of making it so that I can't hoe the ground. You went, you made it worse! <sighs> okay, I'll just come back and do that another time. Maybe I'll start watering this area. <laughs> New to Twitch, downloaded for Lil Simsy content? Oh, thank you, welcome to the stream. Uh, Izzy, thank you for the eight months, by, or the, for the prime sub, I mean. Sorry, thank you so much. Oh no. I feel like maybe I'll start planting the star fruit. We'll like come down here. We'll plant a bunch of star fruit down here while I wait for the thing to go away. Oh, thank you. The, you're you're really frustrating me, Mr. Duck. You're you're sort of in the way. You're a, you're a little bit in the way. Have you considered not being in the way? <sighs> What's his name? I'm not sure. I'll check in a second. Because I don't remember what the duck's name is. Dave. That's Duck Dave. Right there. <laughs> I don't know. That's news to me, too. <laughs> okay, we plant star fruit down here. What? Oh, that's how they get out. There's a hole right there. Go away, void chicken. You're on. I can't plant this. <laughs> Shoo! Oh, that's so annoying. Okay, this is fine. This is fine. Everything is fine. I am not- the Sim Guru Ninja is really- oh, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Got it. Okay. <laughs> we need to prioritize planting the star fruit and the, um, the melons first. The other stuff- is not such a huge deal if we plant it late. Okay, I'm putting quality fertilizer on this stuff. It's okay if we miss some spots, because I don't have enough for everything, so it's not like the biggest deal if we miss some spots of this. I just want to make sure that I've got quality fertilizer on all of the star fruit, so. Or, well, I want to put all of the quality fertilizer on star fruit, I should say. <laughs> but again, we don't have enough, so it's not a big deal if there's some random spots missing. Oh yeah, I was gonna drink coffee while I was doing that. Oh well, it's too late. Let's go finish hoeing the ground for the rest of the star fruit. Do I have mods on? I don't have any mods for this game, no. I do not. I've, I've never played with Stardew Valley mods before. I've obviously seen people play with them and stuff, but I just, I, oh, I have a lot of fun playing vanilla Stardew Valley and I've never like felt the need to download mods before. Um, I think I'll probably eventually play with a Stardew Valley Expanded mod, but I haven't finished regular Stardew Valley yet, so <laughs> I feel like I need to do this one first, um, and then eventually we can move on to, like, other exciting mods. Yeah, you can fertilize the planting now. Um, you didn't used to be able to do that, but now, um, if they've started to grow, so you can't fertilize them, so, like, I couldn't put fertilizer tomorrow, but you can put fertilizer, um, after you put the seeds down on the first day before they've started to grow. So like, I, I couldn't do it tomorrow, but I can do it now after I've planted them. Okay, let me put all of these things down. Have fun I stream? Every day except for Sundays. So I, I stream six days a week, usually from four to 7 p.m. Eastern time, but I went live early today because I wanted to farm. <laughs> I wanted to stream for a longer time so I could play Stardew Valley. <laughs> okay. Let's water this quickly and then we'll, um, put all the regular fertilizer down. We should have plenty of time to finish this. Oh, maybe I should, maybe I should try to finish before I put regular fertilizer down on this, right? Just so that I know that everything is planted. Do you think? I don't know. I'm not sure what to do. 
You don't like Oreos? Really, Shell? That's interesting. I'm not, like, the biggest fan. Like, I don't buy Oreos very often. But I wouldn't say I dislike Oreos. I'm just not, like, the biggest fan of Oreos. It is nice that Oreos are, like, a easy, like, fun snack, vegan snack that's, like, normal food that people don't think of as being, like, weird vegan food. So you can buy Oreos and then still eat a regular snack that no one's gonna think is, like, weird vegan food, you know? Um, so I do enjoy that about them. <laughs> uh, that, that part, uh, appeals to me. So... <laughs> They're a bit boring. Yeah, it, same thing as like, okay, so here's another example. Like the purple Doritos are vegan and they're not like special weird vegan Doritos. They're just Doritos that are vegan. And so it's that's like a nice easy snack that is like regular. So you can like buy it and then have vegan snacks around and then not have to like have a weird special vegan snack, you know? And that's nice. They're the spicy ones. The purple ones, the, I just mean the bag is purple. <laughs> they're like the sweet chili ones or whatever. Um, are the, the vegan Doritos. They're good, aren't they? I don't buy them very often, but, um, the, the, the Doritos themselves aren't purple. The bag is purple. Um, I'm sorry. It's sort of like how I, I kind of call the Cool Ranch ones the blue Doritos as well, even though obviously the Doritos aren't blue. They're just in a blue bag. <laughs> but you know what I mean? Um, the, by purple ones, I just mean the bag is purple. <laughs> sorry. Um, but yeah, that's the one I'm talking about. You know what's interesting? Um, the Doritos, the regular Doritos are in different color bags in the UK than they are in the US. Um, which is, it's kind of confusing, in my opinion. Like, the spicy Doritos are in a red bag in the UK, and, um, the cheese ones are in an orange bag, but the spicy ones are red here. Isn't that weird? Different branding, same thing. I always think that kind of thing is so interesting. It's like, this is the same product, but it's like slightly different. Um, cause obviously different country, different market, all that stuff, but curious, very, very curious. <laughs> okay. You don't have blue ones there. Do you not have the cool ranch Doritos? I thought, I guess I've never bought them there. So I wouldn't know. Do you not have cool ranch Doritos in the UK? Really? Oh, cool original or cool American. Ah, it's the same thing. But you just call it, okay. <laughs> you just call it something different because the, the words, the word ranch doesn't mean anything to you because you guys don't really have ranch dressing. Um, right. That makes sense. Interesting. Cool American. <laughs> that reminds me, there's, um... I think, I forget what it is. I, I just know because Dan orders it sometimes. Like the pepperoni pizza um, at uh, Pizza Express in the UK is called like an American hot or, or something like that. Um, and Dan says that he always feels embarrassed ordering it when I'm there because he's there with like his American girlfriend and he's like, they're gonna judge me for saying, can I get the American hot? <laughs> but I think that's kind of funny. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I put my melons down now. Oh, hold. Okay, if you hold the, um, if you hold your mouse off, like, farther away from where you're walking, um, you can just walk in the places that where you're standing, which is a pretty useful pro tip. Um. Next. Salsa Dorito in the green bag. Oh, I don't remember that. Huh. Oh, I keep saying I'm gonna drink coffee and then not doing it. Let me, f I'll finish this row and then I'll drink the coffee. <laughs> okay, there's some. I only, I only have one coffee on me. Maybe I'll save it for when I um, do this next section. We have plenty of time, we'll finish it today. I'm gonna put fertilizer last. I wanna make sure I get them planted first because I don't want them to be like not growing, <laughs> you know? <laughs> so I'm gonna do the fertilizer last after I plant them, I think. Touch of Lime Doritos. Uh, they have Touch of Lime Tostitos. I don't know if Doritos have a Touch of Lime flavor in the U.S. I don't really buy chips that often, um, so I'm not, like, <laughs> I'm the, probably the wrong person to ask about this kind of thing, um, because they might have it and I just wouldn't know, but 
I used to I used to eat the touch of lime tostitos ones a lot. I think those are good. What does ranch taste like? Truly, I don't know. I I never like. I was I'm I've always been a very picky eater, um, and I never ate like I would always eat salad with no dressing because I didn't want like the weird sauce on my salad. Um, and so I, I like don't really know what ranch tastes like and I haven't had it in years and I like obviously I don't eat dairy stuff anymore so I don't know what it tastes like. <laughs> I don't, I could not tell you. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, a dill dressing. Cream with a little tang. People like it a lot. Um, people speak very highly of ranch dressing. But, oh, I didn't drink, I didn't drink the coffee again. What is wrong with me? I keep saying I'm gonna have my character drink coffee and then not doing it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, hey, Snappy. Hi, how can I help you? Oh, you may mess up, Snap. I, I looked down and then I didn't hold the thing down far enough. Hi, Snappy. How can I help you? Are you okay? You want to say hi to everybody? If you hear any um, small cat noises, <laughs> that is just my cat. Don't worry about it. Is it like salad cream? That's I don't I don't know, but probably that sounds like a um, would be right. That's like one of the most British things I've ever heard in my entire life. Salad cream. What is salad cream? Does anybody know? Okay. Sounds icky, in my humble opinion. Oh, my cat's playing with her toy, by the way. <laughs> like a tangy mayo? Oh, interesting. No, stop! I'm not gonna have enough time to finish! <laughs> Let me finish! No, we'll finish, it's fine, don't worry. Thought everyone had salad cream? Mm -mm. Uh-uh. <laughs> no. Cane sauce? We don't have canes here either, so that's that also means nothing to me. I couldn't tell you. Anyway, if you hear the, the little noises in the background, that's just my cat playing with her toy. <laughs> um, okay, tomatoes, peppers. Tomatoes. These are purely decorative tomatoes, tomatoes. What's cane sauce? I don't know. I guess, I mean, people always talk about like Chick-fil-A sauce and stuff. So I assume it's probably something, you know, one of their like little signature versions of some sort of sauce. I don't, I've never even had Chick-fil-A sauce. I'm not kidding. I have literally no idea what that tastes like. Um, so... <laughs> I, I do not know. I'm just gonna keep placing um, fertilizer until my character passes out, I think, by the way. Um, you aren't missing out? Yeah, but that's the thing, like, I used to be so picky, and now I don't, like, I'm not gonna go to Chick-fil-A now, there's no point. Um, I, but like, I've never, I don't, I don't know, I've never tried it. <laughs> I used to be like, so anti any kind of sauce. I like, didn't, I didn't want sauce when I was a kid. I thought it was gross. Um, miss a tomato spot? Did I miss a tomato spot? Um, no, I don't think so. Where? Up above? What? Oh, you're wasting my time! <laughs> I could have been putting fertilizer and now I'm not gonna get to! Ah! Next time you have to be very specific about where the spot is. <laughs> you need to be like, you missed one in the middle row. At the top. <laughs> Roy, thank you for the four months. People was like, you just mi you missed one. And it's like, where? Where? Okay, well, we did it. I made it. I made it to the next day. It is done. Um. I did it. Hello. Thank you. My spirits are very happy today. 
Oh, wait. Oh, never mind. I thought that um, possibly my uh, wine was done, but it's not. <laughs> so, never mind. Ooh, some sashimi. Sashimi. Um, people, that's a good gift. I think that... Sebastian loves sashimi, right? I'm pretty sure. I don't know. I think so. I don't know. Yes. Okay. I knew that because I'm really good at this game and I know everything. <laughs> okay. Next. I like, I was like blanking on his name for a second though. I was like, uh, the guy, you know, is Tushi in chat? All I'm seeing is Sid spamming Tushi's link. I didn't even see him if he was there. <laughs> Um, hi, how are you doing? Oh, you are there. Okay. See, this is what happens to me sometimes. My mods put links in chat and I'm like, are we just saying that because we like them or are we, is there, are they actually here? <laughs> By the way, everyone from my stream, um, Tushi is really, really, really good at Stardew Valley. If you don't follow him on, on Twitch, I think you really enjoy his streams. Um, okay. Eventually, oh, I have to get my Dunamo hut still. This is such a mess. Such a mess. Everything is a mess. Uh, but anyway, I think you'll enjoy Tushi's streams a lot. I, I lurk there a lot. Um, I think that- you, Oh, that was- Okay, you can't see it. But for a second there, my ostrich was, like, standing behind the- the sheep, and it- it looked like they were- it was really weird. The sheep had, like, a weird second head. The farmer's beautiful? Thank you! I- I appreciate that. I've, um, I've been doing my best. <laughs> Um, I really like how this- I, I have a lot of crops, but I like how it looks a lot when it's, like, all planted, you know? I just- I think that farms look so fun when they're, like, fully planted and everything. Well, except for, you know, just random things and kind of a mess, but, you know, <laughs> everything's fine. <laughs> it happens. Okay, we need to make some, um, snacks for the animals. <laughs> By snacks, I'm referring to, um, some grass starters. Uh, in case that wasn't clear. <laughs> we, we need to make some snacks for them. Um, okay, I- let's see. The last things we need to do... Um, I still need to... <sighs> I'm so close to being max hearts with everybody. We need to get a couple more hearts with Leo. And then we're nine hearts with Krobus, uh, and with the dwarf. So we're super close to maxing hearts with everybody. So that's like a, a number one goal. And then... I still need this stupid sea cucumber we should have to wait for to craft the last recipe. If you guys missed it, I'm trying to, like, complete everything. Like, perfection run, complete the game. Um, and I've done, like, a lot of it. Um, I just- I thought that I had a sea cucumber in my chest and I was like, okay, I'll just wait until spring and- and grow my blue jazz and then, you know, I can craft the last thing and then I didn't have a sea cucumber so now I have to wait because I am dumb and didn't save one, so either we gotta find a traveling cart or we have to catch it in the fall or winter. So that's annoying. That's the last thing we have to cook. Um, so we have to do that. <laughs> that's so sad. I can't- I was- in my head, I remember I was like, oh, I don't need to go fishing for one because I already have one. And so all of fall and winter, I was like, oh, just sell them. I don't need it. I already have one. No. No, you don't have one. You are wrong. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I've pretty much done everything except for cook every recipe and craft every item. Um, I don't have all of the- I can't craft everything yet because I don't have all of the, like, recipes and stuff, but... This is why you should hoard things. <laughs> because you're gonna go try to cook everything, and you're gonna need all kinds of, like, random fish, and you're gonna need all kinds of random plants. You just... Don't get rid of anything. <laughs> Keep everything. <laughs> And then I get made fun of for, like, keeping everything. But you need it! <laughs> it's not my fault. You need all of the things. It's the only way. Okay. I get to my cheese. <laughs> oh. oh, we should go check. I When did I plant that ancient fruit on the island? It's not gonna be ready yet. But I, I should have, like taken note of when I planted it, so I would know when to go back and harvest it, because I don't remember when I planted it. Oh no. But anyway, one of the other things I need to focus on is, like, getting a lot of money, obviously, so, um, I didn't plant- I could have planted, like, all starfruit if I wanted to, but I kind of wanted to have, like, a bunch of different crops just because it's pretty. Um, but we need to get the obelisk still, and we need to get the golden clock, and those things are all very expensive, so I'm trying to grow ancient fruit on the island farm. Um, just so I can get more wine. 
<laughs> essentially. Happy Fox, thank you for the sub. Uh, Jordan, thank you for the four months. Thank you guys so much. Um, the golden clock costs 10 million gold, and like to get all the obelisks, it'll be 2 million, which like we'll be able to afford, but um, the golden clock is going to take a while. <laughs> so um, we just have to grow a lot more ancient fruit, essentially. The golden clock makes it so that none of the weird little things spawn on your island, right? Or, or your farm, I mean. I've been playing a lot of Animal Crossing. I keep saying island. Uh, but you know how, like, when the new season turns over and, like, all the random, like, all these little weeds and, like, all that random stuff um, spawn on your island when the new season turns over? The golden clock means that that doesn't happen anymore. Um, but it costs 10 million gold. <laughs> um, so I've never even bought- I've never bought it. I've never bothered to buy it, but I'm- I'm trying to- to do it on this one. Oh, and your fences don't decay, that's right. That's- that's even more useful. I don't know why I didn't mention that. But your fences won't decay. Um, so that is a very, very useful thing, but it costs 10 million gold, so you, you know, got a lot of saving up to do. <laughs> I have a lot of work to do. Okay. Oh, my first ostrich egg! That, well, second, because I sold the first one. Oh, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make mayonnaise with this. <laughs> this is exciting. Okay, go. I need to fix that fence too, because it's broken. I don't want to use hardwood fences because I don't want to waste my hardwood yet. I still don't even have a horse, but... Oh yeah, my command still says I'm spring of year three. I can change that. Do not worry. Oh, I guess, well, Sid? <laughs> Sid, can you do it? <laughs> Never mind, Sid can change that. Um... <laughs> okay, let me um, put all those things away. I see some ostrich mustard. Yeah, 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 of course. Okay. I'm gonna put this back inside my shed. Why don't I have a horse? I don't have a reason. I just haven't bothered yet. <laughs> I don't know. I think, like, usually- I mean, I obviously have had the island unlocked for a long time now, so it's not even an excuse, but, like, when I first started playing this save, I really wanted to get to the island as fast as possible, so I was trying to save all my hardwood so that I would have enough to go to the island with. Um, and then, uh, I've just been, like, saving it, like, to, I was, like, upgrading my house then. So I was like, I don't need to get a horse now still, I just want to upgrade my house. And then, I just, I've been, like, using it for other things. But I have a bunch of, I have, like, 230, so I could get a horse, but... Um, I like how it makes me run faster. I just haven't bothered yet. I don't know. I guess we could go buy one, like, right now if you want. I don't mind. Oh, no, it's a Tuesday, never mind. <laughs> no, we can't go buy one right now. I take it back, actually. <laughs> Lucas, you're not doing really bad. You're not- listen, if you aren't, like, this far along by- by, like, year three, um, you're- I, like, I- some people are way further along. Don't watch Tushi, then, if you don't want to feel bad about yourself. But some people, like, speedrun this game and are, like, really good at it and know everything and are, like, super, super, super good at the game. Um, the average player isn't trying to, like, perfectionist complete the entire game, you know? So don't feel bad if, like, I'm further along or have more money, money than you in the game or whatever. Um, she won't be in there on on Tuesdays because she's gonna she's doing yoga right now, <laughs> so so she won't be in there right now. We can't give her uh, we can't pay for it, the thing. We'll have to wait until tomorrow. Uh, Robin is doing yoga, so she won't be in at work today. Okay, I'm gonna bring some gifts. I God, I gotta clear this out. I have someone. Maybe I'll craft some um some stairs. <laughs> yeah, get rid of them, please. Thank you. We'll save those just in case. Um, okay, I need to get also the mango for Leo. Okay, I'm ready. Off we go. <laughs> Time to give some gifts. Off we go, off we go. How long will I stream for today? Uh, I'm not sure. I'll probably stream, well, until at least seven, but I don't know if I'll stay much longer after that. Oh, that's not right. I almost went to the desert by accident. That's not what I wanted to do. I was, like, talking to chat and not paying attention. And, like, <laughs> Went there instead of the minecart. Oops. Oops. Okay. Do you love me yet? He won't. But I want him to. Hello? Yeah, nine hearts. Couple more gifts. You have 16 prismatic shards. Well, you get so many prismatic shards so easily. Like, once you- once you get really deep into the skull caverns, like, you get prismatic shards really quickly and really easily. Like, I- I got six of those in one 
like one trip to the skull caverns um if you know what you're doing and you get down kind of far and you happen to be very lucky <laughs> clearly i literally got six i was like on level 150 and i had gotten six in one day oh wait let me see if i can find the screenshot i think i posted it in my mods chat in because i wanted to brag why load i want to show you all no this isn't helpful there we go never mind i found it okay here is the image i was on 155 <laughs> i had gotten six prismatic shards that day and i was right about to pass out it was like 2 a.m <laughs> um but this was um this was my best uh, trip to the Skull Caverns so far. I know some people are like way better at it and they get like to like, I don't know, 300 or something. I'm not that good. This was my best. This is like wild. Before this, my best was like 117 or something. And then I like would pass out at 2 a.m., you know? Um, but this one I got to 155. It wasn't even a good luck day. It was a neutral luck day. Um, which I've, like, I usually only go there on, on good luck days, because I, like, want to do as best as I can <laughs> and get as far as possible. Um, and you, when you have good luck, you're, like, more likely to find the, like, the ladders and stuff. Um, but neutral luck day, and I got six prismatic shards and level 155. <laughs> um, hello, Krobus. I love you. Hello. Care to buy anything? No, not really. <laughs> Jasmine, thank you for the two months. Anna, thank you for the sub. Evil Kitten, thank you for the four months. Um, but anyway, that was really fun. I think going to the Skull Caverns is really fun. <laughs> I, I find it very stressful on multiplayer because on multiplayer, like, it doesn't pause when you stop to eat and, like, it's just very, very stressful. Um, but uh, it's way easier when you're playing on single player and it's just really fun. Yeah, I watched, it was so funny, I watched a clip of Arden, she was, um, like, she was in the, she was opening geodes, right? So she was talking to Clint, and she was opening geodes, um, and then she was literally talking at the time. She was like, yeah, prismatic shards are pretty rare, like, they're kind of hard to get, it'd be cool to find one soon, and then she opens Omni Geode, and then it gives her a prismatic shard, literally as she was talking about it, and I think that's so funny. Those, like, perfectly timed clips are always so exciting. When you're like, oh yeah, it'd be nice to get a prismatic shard, and then it just gives you one. <laughs> Ruby, thank you for the eight months, by the way. Uh, I really appreciate that. Thank you. Okay. Made it to a stream. Hey, Ellie, welcome. It's good to see you. <gasps> I can give this lobster to my husband. I have lots of pomegranate. I don't know why I'm acting excited about the lobster. <laughs> We have lots of pomegranates I could give to him. Yeah, like when me and Dan got one at the exact same time. You know what? I'll show you guys the tweet. You aren't going to believe this. If you're, like, big into Sturdy Valley, this is, like, ridiculous. Unheard of. Unheard of. <laughs> but me and Dan, we were playing on our multiplayer farm, and we both... So, basically, when you're playing on multiplayer, um, you need to get a prismatic shard to, like, get a ring to propose to the other player. Um, you, it's like five iridium bar and a prismatic shard to craft the recipe for the ring. This is a Twitter clip, so it's bad quality. I'm sorry. Um, but <laughs> has been very good at not coming here, we literally not both got it at the it. exact same I time. The reason, I think the reason... Um, I think the, the reason... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> And the thing is, we were both trying to keep it a secret from each other because we wanted to, like, surprise the other one with the prismatic shard. But we both got it at the exact same time from, like, kind of rare ways. Like, him getting the prismatic shard from that bug in the mines was super rare. And it's pretty rare to get from the Omni Geodes, too. Um, so that was kind of funny. <laughs> and we were both like, ah, oh, nothing happened, nothing's going on, nothing happened. <laughs> nothing at all, nothing happened, <laughs> nothing, nothing. Um, it was just, it's a good clip. It was a really good clip. Did I see Tommy in its reaction to my pig emote? No, Birdie, I didn't. <laughs> what did Tommy in it say about my pig emote? <laughs> what? Okay, I'm gonna go to the island really quickly. Um, I think. Off I go, off I go. 
What are you talking about? Can we get a Simsy Thick in the chat, please? <laughs> that is a good emote, isn't it? Pig or Pog? Oh, that's a good question. No, they might have meant Pog emote, but it, I wouldn't be surprised if a streamer had a um, interesting reaction to the pig emote. So, um, there's no way to be certain. <laughs> Both make a lot of sense to me. <laughs> I, I would not be surprised if Tommy was um, surprised with a pig emote. So, okay, well, I'm glad I came here because I have a lot of pineapple to harvest. I don't want you. I want to put you away. Okay. No, I don't want to eat the pineapple. Leave me alone. I still have so much ancient root to grow. I just want to be rich. Steph Casey has pog today? Who's pog? Who is today's pog champ? That's not Steph. <laughs> um, they would have announced it on their Instagram. We can look up who today's pog champ is. They put it on their Instagram story. And they don't tag people anymore because they were getting harassed. <laughs> so. Um. Today, oh, I got, oh. I don't see it on the Instagram story. Never mind. False alarm. I don't know who, today, who today's Pog Champ is. They meant Pog, not Pig. Well, Pog is exciting too. Um, I was wondering how Tommy Innit would have seen- Tommy Innit gets like 300,000 viewers on Twitch. I was like, how did he notice the pig emote? But it is- it is far more likely that he would have noticed the pog emote. I don't really know- I don't really want to think about what his reaction to my pog emote was, to be honest with you. Um, especially if he didn't like it. <laughs> I don't really- I don't really want to know. <laughs> uh, imagine he's like, wow, this emote is so ugly! Whoever's emote this is sucks! <laughs> That's not what he did, I would assume, but, um, I don't really want to, I don't want to know. He liked it? Oh, that's cool. Um, I heard a lot of good things about our Pog emote, uh, which is, you guys might, type Pog, type Simsy Pog in chat, um, if those of you who are subbed, <laughs> so people can see. Uh, but we, we were the global Pog champ emote a couple days ago, uh, and I was really nervous because ours is a, was the drawing, like, I didn't submit a picture of my face, I submitted the drawing. Um, well, because, well, partially, I, I wouldn't have done it if they wanted my face. Um, I would have said no. <laughs> um, but also, uh, she told me specifically, she was like, you can use one of your existing emotes if you have Pog emote already. And I was like, oh, cool, I have one. I didn't know that everybody else was only going to submit, like, pictures of their faces. So I was getting so nervous, like, all week. I've been stressing. Um, or the last, like, two weeks, I've been stressing about that. I was like, I'm gonna be the only drawing. That's so embarrassing. Um, but it seems like a lot of people liked it, uh, which is good. I didn't, I didn't see anything super negative. The, the worst things I saw people making, like, furry jokes about it, which, uh, like, you 100% expect, you know? <laughs> one of your favorite streamers said, can we get the fox back, please? I liked that one. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> Um, anyway, uh, yeah, Jess, my, my emote artist Jess drew that emote, so we were both really excited, because I was like, Jess, your art's gonna be everywhere on Twitch for a whole day! <laughs> so we were both really excited about that, um, and I, I'm glad that we got to, like, kind of give her a massive shout-out like that, you know, because Jess is such a talented artist, um, and she deserves the world, <laughs> so. You know what, I was the first person that Jess ever did emotes for, which is so wild to think about. Well, she had drawn emotes for, like, her friends, but she- I was, like, her first, like, commission commission, um, from, like, a stranger. Uh, and <laughs> look at us now! <laughs> Isn't that so cool? Um, and now she's, like, obviously she's always been talented, but now she's, like, uh, this, like, really popular, super cool emote artist, and I just- I think that is so impressive, so. Um, yeah, I think that Avery's Pog Champ was one of the better ones as well. I, I think that Avery just did, like, Little Sia, I think she just did a really good job with her Pog Champ. Like, I was really impressed with it. Um, but I, I, I think that they're all, they've all been good. I don't really understand the, such negative reaction to them by these Twitch people, but I guess these Twitch people, like, they have, um, a very specific vision in their minds for what Pog Champ is supposed to look like, and they don't want it to look like anything else. And they will, they will tell you that. 
they will make that very clear to you. <laughs> so you can't appease them. Like, they're all good, but these people are, like, bad people that can't be pleased. Because in their mind, the only good one is the original one. So anything other than that is bad, you know? Um, some people just are very negative. But anyway, I was really nervous about it, um, obviously, after seeing how people reacted to the other ones. But I think that ours was pretty well received, which is good. Very lucky that... Um, nothing bad happened, because I was so scared. I, like, full-on locked down the Discord server. Like, I made it so that people who didn't already have the, the special role, we have, like, a role gate in the server, so you have to, like, click on a, like, react to a message in order to type. And I just deleted the message, and so nobody who was, like, if you weren't already in the server, you just couldn't type. <laughs> like, I, I full-on just made it impossible to join my server. I was like, you know what? These people don't need a chance to harass me on Discord. <laughs> so I'm gonna just remove mentions of my Discord server from Twitch. Uh, I'm going to lock down my server so you can't join it. Like, we're just gonna hide. Uh, but it ended up not being an issue at all. I was just, I was like extra paranoid and trying to be extra prepared. So, but it ended up being fine. Oh, here's an interesting stream stat. So yesterday uh, was the early access stream for the new Sims pack. So obviously there were a lot more people there than usual because I like plugged it on my YouTube channel and, and I said we were gonna play um, the new early access pack. So we usually get like three or 4,000 viewers. Uh, yesterday we had 8,000 viewers, which is a lot more than usual, but kind of, I guess, to be a little expected because of the special event. But um, there was uh, on Wednesday or Thursday for the PogChamp thing, there was like 7,500 unique chatters, like different people that had typed in chat. And yesterday there was only 5,000. And I thought that was really interesting that there was like less people had typed in chat yesterday, even though there was like 3,000 more viewers. Um, Cause that's kind of like a, a curious like stat, right? That there were, cause I guess it makes sense that people would like, oh, this girl is PogChamp. I'm going to go to her chat and put like PogChamp in chat once. And so there's like a bunch of strangers coming in um, and like typing one message. So there was more like unique chatters coming, but I thought that was really interesting. Um, no, this is, this is just unique type of people that typed in chat. So not, not it, not people that just watch, um, but anyone who typed in chat, the number of like different unique accounts that typed in chat um, uh, on Thursday versus yesterday. And I thought it was interesting that there was so many, like, there was, like, 1,600 less people that typed in chat yesterday versus the PogChamp day, which you wouldn't expect because there were so many more viewers, but I didn't notice. It was spammy both days. <laughs> there was so many things in chat both days, like, I... But they're, they're just a lot more lurkers from the sim streams, I guess, um, which makes sense. It's kind of intimidating to type in big streams, you know? Um... Like, it's, it's kind of nerve-wracking to go to, like, massive streams when there's so many people there and, and type. So, that doesn't really surprise me that much. Um, you know, you just kind of, like, sit and watch instead of typing. So, I don't know. I mean, you're just in awe with the new pack. Everybody's just watching instead of typing. <laughs> um, but, anyway. <laughs> Trey, Dr. Vader, thank you guys both for the subs and bits. I really appreciate that. That was, like, five minutes ago. I'm sorry. We have like 76 more hardwood, so we can definitely get our thing tomorrow. That'll be good. You like big streams because you don't stand out that much? I just don't like typing in chat that much in general. Like, I think I just get kind of nervous typing in chat at all, no matter whose chat it is. Um, do you know what I think? This is going to sound bad, but I don't mean this in a bad way. I, Because I'm a Twitch ambassador, I have like a really fancy badge. Um, and I can turn off my partner badge, but my badge is like a partner badge, but a special color partner badge. And so it like really stands out. And so whenever I go to a Twitch chat, people are always like, oh my god, Lil Simsy, who are you? What is that? And it's like instant attention. And then I get kind of nervous. And so I don't like to type in chat. I could turn it off, but like, I don't know. I don't know what the best way to go about that is ever. So I just, I just get nervous and then I get scared to type in people's chats. Which doesn't make sense, I know, but that, um, it's really pretty. I can, I'll type for you. It's like blue and purple instead of just purple, like the regular partner badges. Um, and I can turn it off. I can put on a regular partner badge if I want to, but a lot of times I like forget to change my badge and then I type them and then I'm like, oh no, which is really dumb. Cause it's not like, a, it's not a bad thing to have. Like it's a really fun thing to have. It's just sometimes, um, you want a little, you want to lay a little bit more low than that. You know, <laughs> you want to, you want to just like hide a little bit more than that. <laughs> and then you've like exposed yourself. 
um but i'm a i'm an ambassador which is like twitch basically has like a program of how do they describe it hang on there's like words they said we're allowed to share with people i don't remember um twitch ambassadors are partners who have built a positive and engaged community that are selected to share their channel to a broader audience they are chosen because of the positive impact they've contributed to their own and broader Twitch community. From being role models to establishing new content genres on Twitch to having inspirational stories that empower those around them. And these creators are an example of what it means to hashtag bleed purple. So that's what it means. I am an example of what it means to hashtag bleed purple. <laughs> Anyway, um, they just, they pick people that they, I don't know, they like, I guess, and then they gave me a special badge. So, <laughs> I'm a role model. They want you to bleed what? <laughs> they just mean, like, uh, bleed purple is a global emote. Um, but it's a, it's a really cool program, and it's a really cool opportunity. So, and, like, they announced me, like, a few months ago, they, like, announced me on Twitter, and, like, I had a, a week long of front page slots because of it, um, and sometimes they, like, uh, put me, like, in a beta program for, like, um, testing things on Twitch. Like, you know how that the multiplayer ads aren't out publicly? Like, not everybody can run multiplayer ads yet. Um, I can run them, so sometimes I get things like that from it, too. And there's, like, a Twitch team and, and stuff like that. But Oh, and they sent me a lot of presents. They sent me, because usually, I think they're planning on, like, flying people out to TwitchCon, but they couldn't do that this year. So instead, they sent me a lot of presents. They literally mailed me a Switch. And, like, some merch, and, like, a bunch of, a bunch of, like, I got an Apple TV and an Amazon Fire, an Amazon Fire Stick. Like, they sent me both. Like, they sent me a lot of presents. And a Twitch Snuggie? Oh my god, look, wait. <laughs> No, 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 you're, you're gonna love this. Wait, 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 wait. They sent me this Twitch Snuggie. Oh, sorry, I almost tripped. Okay, that could have been bad. They sent me a Twitch Snuggie with my name on it. And it has like a pocket. Oh. So, you know, you could put your like harmonica in there. Um, but <laughs> they sent me a Snuggie that says Lil Susie. This is really soft. This is like one of the best things I've ever received because it's so soft and like it's basically a blanket But it has arms like it's not a robe. It's a, like a blanket. You can see it's got like, you know corners But it's got arm holes so you can like put the blanket on you but have your arms through it so you can still game even though You're wearing a blanket See um, I have two switches. I, I didn't keep the third switch. They, they sent me a switch, but I gave it to my sister for Christmas because I already have two. I have, like, a regular one that I've had for years, and then I bought an Animal Crossing switch, and then they gave me another one, so... <laughs> um, obviously, I did not need that third switch, so I gave it to my sister for Christmas, but she was really excited about it, so... It worked out pretty well. <laughs> oh, and I'm... I'm sitting here talking about being a Twitch ambassador, and I'm wearing a YouTube gaming shirt. Please... Don't, j just don't look at my, don't look at the logo on my shirt. I'm a Twitch ambassador. I'm a Twitch ambassador. <laughs> don't, <laughs> ignore this, okay? J just, shh. <laughs> Jack, thank you for the 12 months, by the way. Uh, this is awkward. <laughs> and, okay. It also, it says, like, YouTube gaming on the bottom, too. It's kind of fun. Um. Yeah, my, my harmonica is here, don't worry. I didn't, I didn't put it away. We are fine. Oh. Rebate program. Okay, so... I put my Iridium away. All I see is a plain black shirt, no logos. Certainly not a YouTube logo. Oh, where did I put all of my fences? Do you remember? What did I do with them? Oh no. Oh no. Oh, I still didn't make the um the snacks for my little friends. <laughs> let me get my <laughs> let me get my weeds so I can make some snacks for my little friends. What did I do with the fences? Oh yeah, oh the oh. 
The ostrich mayo is boring. It just gives you 10. I thought it was going to give me, like, special ostrich mayo, but it just gives you 10 regular mayo. <sighs> Should have kept the ostrich egg. <laughs> oh, well. Where did I put my fences? I'm not kidding about that, by the way. Do you know where they are? What did I do with them? How did I misplace all of my fences? <sighs> oh, I left them on the island. That makes sense. I probably just like let it. Yeah, they're, they're definitely on the island. No, I think you're right about that. Well, that wasn't very smart of me. It's okay. It happens to the best of us. It's fine. That's not enough for them. They're in too small of spaces. I really should give them more stuff. <laughs> oh well, that's not my problem. They'll probably be fine. No, I think I left them on the island because I probably like just put everything away in my inventory and I already had some fences on the island. So that makes a lot of sense that I left them on the island by accident. That would not surprise me. That's okay. That is okay. It could be worse. <laughs> could also be better, but it could be worse. Okay, so I put the grass under the fences because then they can't eat that grass, but it has a chance of growing and spreading. So the grass can't get eaten and, like, get, you know, wasted, but um, it can grow from there and, like, continue spreading. This isn't a really good- don't look at my, like, animal layout as, like, inspiration because this isn't very good. Like, you can, you can definitely do a lot better than this for your animals. Um, and there's, like, more efficient ways to have the grass, but um, that's why I did that. So that the grass would like grow from there, but they wouldn't eat it before it has a chance to grow. No, I'm not still Pog Champ, Peyton. I was it's only for 24 hours that I was Pog Champ. We are not still Pog Champ. But yeah, it's a pretty it's a pretty good idea. It's useful. Um Okay, so how do I get the Um, I'm gonna bring some more gifts to these people, to my friends, by the way, while I'm here. Cause I need them. There we go. And then I put this away. Is it just, let me look up um, horse stardew valley. <laughs> horse stardew valley. I My farm is not very well laid out to have a horse. The paths are too small. I know I need um, hardwood and five iron bars. Okay, that, that's what I wanted to know. The iron bars. <laughs> The iron bars. Okay, let me make some more while I am here. Okay. <laughs> I guess we will just go bring some gifts to our friends then and buy a horse. Where should I put it? I think it probably makes the most sense to have it like over here, but I have some bait. I know my face is sort of blocking it, but like over here where these things are. So I'll just move them. Where should I put my cute statue? This thing gives me iridium every day. <laughs> um, I'll put it there because I don't, I want it out of my way. I have so many random things. It's so annoying. <laughs> oh, okay. Back up we go. Let's go build a horse. That was an accident. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Nice work, Ayla. Honestly, that was really impressive. Okay. Anyway, build a stable, I should say. I'm sitting here calling it. Let's go build a horse. How do you get a statue? That statue is given to you if you impress Grandpa enough at the end of winter year two. Oh, close your eyes if you don't want to see Leo. If, if you don't want spoilers 1.5, close your eyes, close your eyes, close your eyes, close your eyes. Close your eyes. Spoilers, spoilers, close your eyes. <laughs> I 
<laughs> I'll tell you when you can open them. <laughs> I didn't know that was gonna happen. <laughs> You can't open yet. Keep them closed. Aww. <laughs> Aww. Aww. <laughs> Aww. Everyone, shh. No spoilers. You can't open your eyes yet. I'm sorry. It's a beautiful world, friends. And I'm glad to be a part of it. Aww. Okay, you can open your eyes. <laughs> nope. Where? Oh. I'm going to bring a thing to, um, oh, that's my hat. I'm going to bring a thing to the dwarf and then to Krobus. This is very important. Double hot, thank you for the three months. Uh, Mel, thank you for the for the bits. Forever, thank you for the four months. Uh, Basil, thank you for the 22 months. Shay, thank you for the bits. Or for the prime sub, sorry. CPM, thank you for the prime sub. Lebeau, thank you for the bits. Uh, Jack, thanks again for the 12 months. Oh my goodness, thank you so much. I'm sorry, I didn't know that there was gonna be a cutscene and obviously cutscenes are kind of spoilery, so um, it just happened. <laughs> you can come back, by the way. Um, oh. I already gave- did I? Oh. I did give the dwarf and Krobus two gifts already this week. That's my bad. <laughs> well, I didn't give Leo two gifts yet, so... Is Leo a child? Yeah. You can go, um... If you want to know more about him, perhaps look him up. I feel bad talking about the new 1.5 stuff that's, like, story-based. Because it feels a little bit spoilery and I don't want to, like, ruin anything for anyone, so. Okay, I'm gonna quickly move. Just to make my life a tiny bit easier. Oh, put that there for now. Because I don't really even need that thing. And then we can construct the, the stable. How much does it cost? 10,000? That's okay. Oh, I probably should have put that higher up. Oh, no. Okay. Well, <laughs> it's too late now. Oh, no. Okay. Well, we'll have a horse that we can use to get around faster soon, which will be nice. Yes, you can open your eyes, by the way. That was, like, minutes ago now. <laughs> uh, did I get a sweet pea? Yeah, I, I have lots of sweet peas that we can grab for the crafting. We need to make the spring seeds. That's one of the last things we need. To, or the summer seeds, I mean. That's one of the last things that we need to craft still for... Uh, the craft... Well, the one... The last things we need to craft that we can craft. So... <laughs> Well, yeah, that's, I mean, Sammy, listen, they're, 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 if you haven't played 1.5 and you don't want spoilers, this is probably the, I just gave the makeup to the wrong person. <laughs> this is probably the wrong stream to be watching if you don't want spoilers, because um, I'm obviously playing with 1.5 stuff, um, but I also don't want to, like, intentionally spoil things for people, so I'll definitely warn you if I, if I know there's a big spoiler thing happening. I just gave Vincent a mango and he said, this isn't very nice. Mangoes are yummy. Vincent is mean. There, I said it. Vincent likes grapes. Should I grab some grapes for him? <laughs> oh, I can't even give it to him today to make it up for. I'll give him, a, I'll give him grapes tomorrow to make up for it. <laughs> Molly, thank you for the 16 months. You don't like mangoes? I like mango. Mango is, um, is probably Dan's favorite fruit, I think. Not that you care, but I'm just, mangoes are... Um, a popular snack. <laughs> okay. Did I do it yet? No. 
Nine hearts with Dwarf, Krobus, and Leo. I'm so close to maxing hearts with everybody. Oh, okay. We're almost there. We are almost there. Anyway, I like mango too. It's yummy. I've never had dried mango. That does sound good. I might have to try that sometime. Mm -hmm. One of your cats is named Mango. That's a nice name for a cat. I like that. I respect that. Okay, I'm gonna pull up the Stardew checkup thing and I'm gonna like refresh it and see what all left we have to craft. <laughs> um, I can show you, this is my save file. Oh, this is my save file. Uh, we still obviously need to max out hearts with the villagers. We need three more, we have one more recipe but I can't make that. Okay, deluxe speed grow, fairy dust, tubbo flowers, and wild seeds. We still need to craft. Um, wait. Yeah, the summer wild seeds. Okay. I thought I had to do more than just that, but. Okay. I can't buy the stuff for the tub of flowers right now. Let me go do that. That is important. What is that page? If you Google Stardew Checkup, you can like upload your save file. Sid's putting a link in the chat. You can upload your save file to it and then it'll tell you like, what you need to do. <laughs> It'll tell you like all the rest of things. It's it's not really useful if you're not trying to like complete complete the game, you know? Um, but if you are trying to complete complete the game, it is useful. Okay, I need to grow some fairy rose um, for some cooking. So I might put some fairy rose in the greenhouse. Yeah, you can't do it for console because you can't upload your console saves, unfortunately, but um, you can't, wait, what else do I need for the tub of flowers? I probably should have checked before I just left. Oh yeah, wood, that's it, okay, easy. Easy, how do you get the save file? Um, well, it tells you on the website, like the path to go to, um, but I can copy and paste the path for Windows into chat if it helps you. This is the kind of thing that you might just wanna Google. This is the folder that you're gonna be in. It'll tell you, it'll tell you on the website. Um, kind of like how you, for the Sims, it's like Electronic Arts, The Sims 4 mods, that's the path to get to the save files for Stardew Valley. Okay, <laughs> but you might want to just Google that one if, because then you can, if you forget, you can like copy and paste it or whatever, um, which may be more helpful to you. Okay, I need some grapes. Is that all I need to craft the summer seeds? Yes. Okay, summer wild seeds are crafted. Put that away. I need the wood to make the tub of flowers. Okay. I have so much messy random stuff around. Uh, okay. I'm gonna put like five fairy seeds in here. I'm gonna slowly get rid of the pineapples in here. So one, two, three, four, five, and replace them with, um, well, obviously replace them with ancient fruit, but I had them cause I, I knew I was gonna need to grow a hundred pineapples in a week. So I was trying to make sure I had enough or in like whatever the quest was, um, forget how much time you had, but I knew I was gonna grow a lot of pineapples. So I was trying to make sure that I had, um, is Dan here? What, aren't you streaming? Hello, Duck Dan, how are you? How was your stream? Clearly it's not good because you came to mine. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> let me put my hard one away. Um, let me go put these coffee beans away as well. I don't really uh, use these rooms for kegs too much, but I do, well, obviously I'm, I'm using it for ancient fruit right now, but I have been using it a lot um, for just in general. So I've been storing stuff down there. Well, I don't know what I just said. I don't know, I'm sorry. Please ignore any words that come out of my mouth because I don't really know what I'm talking about either. <laughs> I don't really know either, so don't worry. Sid, ma don't make fun of my- I haven't decorated my kitchen yet. I haven't decorated my house really at all yet. I only have one chair and Sid is making fun of me for it. Some people don't- I can't even put my chair where I want to. Move, 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 move. Well, no, now I'm gonna keep my just one chair. Sid's being rude. I don't deserve this. 
Oh, my spirits are in good humor today. That's fun. We just take turns sitting at the table is all. Oh, I have this random pumpkin. I don't really want that. Can I sell it? Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Only Elliot sits. I don't really, I don't really take many breaks, so I don't sit down all that often, obviously. <laughs> oh, are those truffles down there? This layout is not good. It's really not. <sighs> it's okay. No, I made this uh, save after 1.5 came out, Grace. Um, I've been playing this, like, obsessively every day after stream um, for a few weeks now. And I'm playing it today on stream because I'm getting kind of close to, like, finishing it up, you know? Um, so, no, gold fruits, that's a good question, I need school. Gold fruits don't turn into gold, uh, gold wine. So, basically, you, any, even gold quality wine, any gold, like, you put gold ancient fruit, it just gives you wine. The way that you get increased quality wine is by aging it. Once you get the basement in your house, this layout for casks is not good, I'm well aware, by the way. I'm just gonna wait until it's fully ready and then I'll fix it. But, um, once you have it, uh, once you have the basement for cat and the casks, you can put the, the, the wine in there and then it slowly ages. So you can see some of it is like further along than others. Um, we've got like some silver, there's some like nothing quality, there's some gold quality and they'll slowly turn into iridium quality and then it's like the best and then you can sell it. You can sell it any time, but if you like keep it longer, the longer you age it, the better quality it gets to be, obviously. Um, and then that's how you do it. <laughs> that is how you do it. No, this is the save I've been playing on my single, just for fun, single player. Not the save I've been playing with Dan. The save that Dan and I have been playing, we were streaming. So this is separate from that. This is like my single player save I've been using. Um, oh my goodness. Oh, I have such, my farm is such a mess. <laughs> Ugh, I can't wait to like put some more time into actually decorating it, you know? Um, but I know Clara, I know. I just haven't done it yet. It's okay. <laughs> Do you mean, like, the rest of Robin- the only recipes I haven't crafted yet, um, let's see. The la the, la the last crafting I have to do, I need to make Deluxe Speed Grow and Fairy Dust. And then the rest, um, I don't know if I- I think I've bought most of them already. Um, but I can triple check if I'm missing some of the Robin ones. Um, but I know- I know which ones I'm missing because I have the thingy pulled up. As you can see, I know exactly which ones I'm missing. <laughs> like, I have to buy this recipe for the Warp Turn to the Desert and stuff. Um, but I, I, you know, haven't done it yet, so. Don't worry, don't worry. I haven't been trying so hard to do that. That's, like, been my priority today. But I haven't really tried much before today to do it. Um, so. Valid question, but yeah, I've, I've basically like started working on that since today, trying to craft everything. Um, mostly I've been working on trying to cook everything, clearly, um, and earn money and such. I was kind of like not bothering with the crafting because I was like, I don't have a recipe yet. I can't get them all yet because I have to unlock some of them still. Like, might as well just wait and deal with it later. Yeah, Sturdy Music is on Spotify. If you want to listen to the Sturdy Valley soundtrack, it's on Spotify. All of it. Concerned Ape has a Spotify that you can listen to it on. Uh, Mackenzie, I've been live for like four hours today almost. And I will be live for another like hour or so, probably. Um, did I complete the missing bundle? Yes. I did. But I haven't gone over there yet. I just realized I've never gone into the movie theater on this save. <laughs> But I did complete the, the missing bundle, yeah. The easiest way to get rid of more? The Skull Caverns. <laughs> you just, I mean, it's not easy necessarily, but that is the way. You just gotta do a, a mad rush to the far, the depths of the Skull Caverns. Um, <laughs> that is the way. Okay. Fruit Loops, thank you for the five months, by the way. Thank you so much. Vanessa, thank you for the, the gifted sub. Uh, Marp, thank you for the prime sub. Tribe, thank you for the prime sub. Alexis, thank you for the nine months. Megan, thank you for the 11 months. Vanessa, thank you for the bits. <gasps> Lane, thank you for the two months. Oh my god, how did I miss Molly? Maddie, double? I think I know I read those, but I definitely missed a couple in there. I'm really sorry. Okay, I go to sleep now. Off we go. 
Well, the Statue of Perfection is a way, but you can't, that one's like, you know, you might want Iridium before year two, um, but if you impress your grandfather enough, um, at the end of year two, he'll come to your farm as a ghost, and he will give you a Statue of Perfection that gives you some Iridium every day, like from two to eight Iridium every day, basically. Um, so it's right here. Um, so that's an easy way to get Iridium, but it also, you know, you have to wait until year two to get it, so it's not that easy. <laughs> uh, which is why I didn't mention it, but, oh, I didn't mean to do- I don't want that. That's why I didn't mention it. Um, but that is an option always. Oh, jeez. We're gonna get some more battery packs. The coffee machine comes from a quest, um, on one of the new the new board that Mayor Lewis has by his house. I might go I might craft some more um kegs. Okay. Ooh, three random pieces of wine. <sighs> it's so annoying. The layout of this, I, like them all being out of like sync is so annoying. Okay. Eventually they will all be together and that will be wonderful, but we just are not there yet <laughs> Eventually 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 we will have this uh, all figured out and filled up We're just not there yet. Okay, you go away. Oh my god <sighs> Anyway <laughs> Okay, so the let's see the next couple of things that we have to craft I'm literally gonna upload my save file again the next two, we, there's only a couple that we know that we can craft. The, um, crafting, nope, crafting, it's just the deluxe speed grow and fairy dust. How do I, oak resin and coral. Oh, I just wasted my oak, I just used my oak resin, that's why I can't do it still. And the fairy dust, I'm currently growing the fairy rose for, so that's a, that's a work in progress. Okay. Myth, thank you for the sub gift to your mom. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much, Jess. Thank you for the 41 months, by the way. And Fruit Loops, thank you for the five months. 41 months, Jess? Oh my goodness. That is, um, quite some time that you have put up with me for. <laughs> quite some time. Okay, let's go. Off we go. I came here too early. I thought I already bought all the recipes from Robin, but that person has made me second guess myself, so maybe I haven't. Stop storming. It's very aggressive. Little Momo Girl, there's, there's like, scary mines with, like, monsters in them. You have the sword so you can kill the monsters. <laughs> you have to buy one a day? Oh. Oh, I didn't know that. Maggie, thank you for the sub gift to Snazzy Snail, by the way. I appreciate that. Come on. Come on. Let me in. There we go. I forgot it was a Thursday. I saw Maeve give a sub to her mom, so I wanted to give one to my boyfriend. Fair enough, Maggie. I mean, I respect it. How <laughs> about, thank you for the tier 2 12 months. Olive, thank you for the 33 months. Thank you both so much. I'm gonna talk to this guy while I'm here, because the closer we get to 10 hearts, the better we are. So close. Mm -hmm. You bought them all in one day? I don't know. People are giving me some mixed signals here. Just close the menu and open again. Oh, okay, maybe that's why I thought I bought them all, but I didn't know I had to like close and reopen the menu. That would make sense. Can buy on the same day, but just not at the same time. Ah. Okay. Mubot is mean to you? Denny, what did Mubot do this time? Uh, I'm, I'm gonna be live for at least like 45 more minutes tonight. Um, I'm kind of hungry. I don't know when I'm gonna get off stream, but I'm gonna be live at least until seven. I, I went live early because I wanted to farm so bad, so. <laughs> I don't know. Um, 
But probably at least until seven. No, definitely at least until seven is my answer. But if something exciting is happening, you never know, I might want to keep playing longer. There's no way to know for sure. Why did I come to- Did I already find the ladder? I did. What am I doing? I was just trying to get more iron. That's the only reason. It's only 11.30 a.m. There's not a real ending to the game, no. You can just keep playing as long as you want to, but there's like obviously a lot of like goals and quests that you want to finish. Like you want to finish the community center and you want to like finish the island and you want to do all of these things. Um, the like technically there's a per like a, a literal perfection tracker in game. Um, and that involves like all of those things, like maxing friendship with everybody, finishing all the achievements, um, buying all of the obelisks, buying the golden clock, like doing like, you know, all of the big, big ticket things, doing all of that um, counts as like completing the game, um, technically, but uh, you can, you know, play as much or however long you want. You could play for 20 years, like 20 in game years if you wanted to. No one's gonna stop. No, it won't stop. Um, but. I've only really played- I think I've gotten to like year six in a save before, but that's it. Yeah, after you finish the community center, you can fix Willie's boat. So you like the first- the first quest is the community center, and then your- your goal is to fix Willie's boat. So that you can go to the island. I'm on year three right now on this one, Kayla. I'm on summer of year three at the moment. No, the kids don't age. Um, they, they stay toddlers basically forever. Yeah, it's only $15. This game is, honestly, it's very underpriced. <laughs> this game is very cheap for what it is. Um, ooh, so Marissa, sometimes remember that I once fooled people into thinking I was amazing at this game before I even played it, and now it is my entire personality. See, Marissa, you, I knew you would have liked this game the whole time before you even played it. I'm just saying. Everybody would like this game. Literally everyone. No, you don't have to make a new save for 1.5, Huffle. If you want to, you can. Like, there's a new farm type, and there's, like, some new early game stuff that you might, like, want to make a new save to play with the 1.5 update with. But you don't have to play with 1.5 on a new save. You could do it in any save. Uh, like, I made a new save because I wanted to try the new remixed bundles. Um, but you could play on an existing save with the update. Just like you can keep playing with The Sims update. Like, you don't need to make a new save to play with the new stuff in the sims you know you could play with the new pack with your existing save file if you want to it's the same thing it just adds extra content but you there's some things that like you can't do without a new save file like you might want to play on the new beach farm and then you'd have to make a new save for that um does that make sense <laughs> does that make sense okay 23 iron wow <laughs> Oh boy, wow, that's really something, isn't it? <laughs> I kinda wanna just go to sleep. I know it's only 3 p.m., but... No, I'm gonna kill these. Watch, I'm gonna get a prismatic shard. You'll see, just you wait. Just you wait and see. Okay, I didn't, um, I didn't. <laughs> okay, it didn't work. Uh, the prismatic shard is really, really rare. It's like one of the rarest things in the game. That was the joke, by the way, is I was like, I'm gonna get a prismatic shard. Like the chances of that are so slim. I wasn't gonna get a prismatic shard from that. That was the whole joke. <laughs> okay, now it's later, I can leave. Now imagine if I had though, that would have been a great clip. You see, worth a shot. I'm just saying. It didn't work though. <sighs> well, <laughs> oh wait, let me talk to Leo really fast. And then I'm just gonna go to bed because I want to see if I can get a sea cucumber from the, uh, what's it called? Traveling cart tomorrow. Is what I want to do. What are remix bundles? Okay, that's a good question. So there's a new setting you can put when you make a new save uh, in Stardew Valley now after the update, where you can choose to to remix the bundles in the community center. As in, there's like a, a default 
um, like, so the community center has a bunch of bundles where it's like, oh, you know, finish the spring foraging bundle and the spring crops bundle and the, you know, this and this and this bundle. Um, but you can, like, take a setting to, to remix them and it gives you, like, a few different random ones. And there's a bunch more. So if you play Stardew Valley a lot, you could, like, get some new bundles to play with uh, for the first time ever. And there's also a setting you could do when you're making the save to have remixed mine rewards. So instead of the like standard mine rewards you might be used to, you can get some different ones, which is pretty fun. So I played with both of those settings on this save. There's no DLC for Stardew, no. Because um, I just, I wanted to see the new stuff, so. That is what I did. Okay, if I bring these Omni Geodes, how do you... How do you buy the recipe for the Desert Warp Totem? Do you need Omni Geodes? Cause I'll go, t I'll go take a warp totem to the desert and do it right now. Yes. Okay. Oh, 10 iridium bars. So you're lie. You lied. It's 10 iridium bars. Okay. <laughs> okay. I will go now. No. Yeah. I've got a lot of prismatic shards. I've had a lot of luck in the skull caverns. Uh, <laughs> Oh yeah, you use Omni Geodes to buy totems. That's right. Okay. I need to purchase the recipe. Um, and then... Do these do anything fancy? It's shimmering with prismatic energy. What does it do? It just changes color. Is it just fun? It doesn't do anything special. They sparkle. Yeah, but like, do I get any perks? Okay, I just look fancy. Never mind. It's not worth it then. I'll keep my geodes. I'll keep my geodes to myself. <laughs> just makes you feel fancy. Yeah. Um, Sage, thank you for the three months, by the way. I appreciate that. Okay. Well, now I can go to sleep. <laughs> now, I've, now I've done what I need to do. Maybe I can craft the recipe for the Desert Warp Totem. Although, what do you need to craft it? Hardwood, coconut, iridium ore. Oh, easy! I was worried you'd need cactus fruit, because I don't think I have any cactus fruit, but hardwood, coconut, and iridium ore is very easy. I'll make a couple of them. Oh, look, there's random things blocking me. Okay, coconut... Yeah, maybe I'll make, like, five of them. Yay. <laughs> See? Easy. <laughs> Put those away. Oh, I have so much random stuff. All right. Sell the rest. The butterfly hatch just looks pretty. The butterfly hatch, like, spawns um, butterflies in your house, basically. Which is very cool. But not that useful. <laughs> You know, it's not like a necessity or anything, um, but it is cool, so. I did the, the scarier regular mines, Britta, but I haven't done too many of those um, walnut room quests yet. I guess we could try to do one of them now. It's, oh, maybe not today, it's a Friday. Maybe we should wait until the beginning of next week. Hello. Okay. Fortune teller? Spirits are mad at me. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so many things. I like getting things. It makes me feel powerful. Yeah, I'm still alive. I'll be alive for like 40 more minutes still. Don't worry. I am not getting off just yet. Okay, all of you go away. Um... Is my ancient fruit done on Fridays? Yes. My ancient fruit is done on Fridays. Okay, I might go to the island today then. Because I might go see if we can um, turn some more of this into seeds to like plant the rest of it at the island. And then we will just... I probably might just sell some of it because I have a lot. But... No, I don't really bother saying hi to my animals every day. I don't make a ton of money from the animals. It's not like a super huge priority for me, so I don't really bother saying hi to the animals every day. 
anymore. I used to, but now, like, if I have other things to do, like go to the island or something, I don't really bother. You know? Um, I'm gonna go check the traveling cart, and then I'm gonna go to the- to the- Uh, I'm gonna bring both of these with me. And then I'll go to the beach. I mean, to, yes, to the beach, basically. Uh, Dashi, you can plant trees in the greenhouse. You just have to put them on the, or on the sides. You can Google it if you're confused. It'll tell you where to plant them. But you can put you can put any fruit trees in the greenhouse. Um, very useful. Kathy, thank you for the bits. I'm sorry that your heating isn't working. Oh God, that's a nightmare. <laughs> um, going to take a shower to warm up. I'm so 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 sorry. Okay. Anything I need? No. Waste of my time. Waste of my time. Never see me live? Well, Elephant Boy, I'm live at this time every day. So, if you ever want to find me, <laughs> I'll be right here. <laughs> Most days. Just not Sundays. Every day except for Sundays, I'll be right here. Madeline, thank you for the sub gift, by the way. Okay, the best day to get cl oh the best way to get clay. I was like the best day to get clay. Ah, uh, there isn't. But you said best way to get clay. That's different. Oh, sniff. The best way to get clay. Uh, I don't really know. Is he sitting on the ground? He looks a little bit squished. Oh, Kayla, you saw me crying. Oh no. <laughs> I was gonna laugh at him. Oh, okay. Never mind. I'm sorry. It was today, 12 years ago, that my mom died. Oh no. I'm sorry. I laughed. Oh no. I still remember her well. She'd make salted radish sandwiches for lunch and toss the grid ball with me in the backyard. She took good care of me, and I was too young to really say thanks. Now she's gone forever. Oh god. <laughs> The only keepsake I have left, her secret music box. I'm sorry, Alex. Is this supposed to play something? Cause, oh. Oh. I think I turned the music off in game and that's why we can't hear it by accident. So usually you would hear something. That's awkward. Okay, I'm sorry. That's my bad. I ruined the cutscene. So what are you thinking right now, Kayla? Imagine you say, oh, your mom's dead? You shouldn't dwell in the past. Get over it. Life is hard for everyone. What? No, I'll always be here for you, Alex. I'm sorry. <laughs> Get over it, Alex. It's been 12 years. Well, <laughs> yikes. <laughs> um, Kayla, don't kiss me, I have a boyfriend. I'm, I have a boyfriend, I'm married, I don't. Okay, don't tell me I was crying, okay? I won't. This, I think this is Alex's like max heart cutscene. Um, sometimes they're a little like romantic feeling. So I was nervous he was gonna try to kiss me, which would not be good. That would not be good at all. Okay, let me, I forgot. I've been sitting here wondering why music isn't playing, but it's because, um, I turned the music off. So, nice one, Simsy. That was on you. <laughs> I don't think they would try and kiss earlier than that, but you never know. These people, I just, I'm just making sure. I don't want to... You know, Madeline, thank you for the sub gifts. Miss, thank you for the prime sub. Lazy, thank you for the two months. Madeline, thank you for all the gifted subs today. Seriously, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Come on. I've already seen Sam's band in this save. I've already seen Sam's band's cutscene. I'm sorry. Currently in labor. Oh, Pico, I'm so sorry, but how exciting. Congratulations. What a, what a fun day. <laughs> No, I'm so sorry. Oh my goodness. Well, I'm glad I can be a little bit of distraction for you there. Oh, that's some wild bait. Okay. No, the island doesn't have seasons. Um, oh, I shouldn't have done that with the gold ones. What was I thinking? Okay, how many more will we need? 
basically just want enough to fill up the rest of this area down here. I probably could get rid of some of the, um, okay, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. I need like 30 more seeds. And then I probably could get rid of some pineapple if we have lots of extra. I've just been trying to like, not get rid of pineapple too much yet. No, you can't have animals on the island. What else did I say I was gonna come here to do? Oh, I never even really considered putting scarecrows here. Do you need scarecrows on the island? I never really thought about that. Hmm. No. You don't need scarecrows. Um, <laughs> uh, I don't, I don't, I didn't think so, but. No, I didn't need the fencing. I came here for... Like, I didn't come here for fences. They're, I'm, they're, like, I could take them, but that's not why. Oh, the walnut room. That's why I came here. Duh, thank you. Oh, spoilers, I guess. But I'm about to do a whole quest, so maybe if you don't want to see that. <laughs> um, okay. Find 100 of each red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple items. Place them in my collections box? Find four prismatic shards? Oh, I can do that so easily. I have like 16. Oh, I'm just gonna put them? Okay. That's so easy. <laughs> nice. Okay, that problem solved. I'll just go bring some prismatic shards back here for him. Easy. Easy. Okay. <laughs> well. <laughs> Alright, we've got like 15 seeds now. That's pretty good. No, I don't have to find them. You just have to put them um, in the in the box. You don't need to find them. Just put them in the box. Some of the quests you have to find and or like you have to grow and place them. You can't just put ones you already have. But the prismatic shard quest, you just have to put ones that you you can just use ones you already have if you have them. So, I knew that because I've seen people talking about it already. Like I've I've heard of that quest already, so I knew about it. Um. So. <laughs> All right, we are almost full up of of these. One, two, three, one, two. I just need three more. Okay, so I guess I can try to plant. Well, I guess I should try to put them over here, huh? No harm in that, huh? Okay, fine, I will. Fine, fine. Honestly, you can't have too much ancient fruit. Like, we are, we're, we're gonna get rich off this ancient fruit. And that's okay. I, I am absolutely 100% okay with that. Um, wanna play this on our shared save? I don't know, maybe later this week. Um, I wanna play a bunch of Animal Crossing this week, but I assume Dan and I will play on our shared save at some point this week. I don't know. I don't know. I like having lots of ancient fruit. It makes me feel powerful. Okay, if you have too much money, you get bored. See, I, I need a lot of money. I need 12 million gold for what I'm trying to do. I need to make all of my obelisks and I need to, um, I need to, oops, finish the, I need to buy the golden clock. So we need 2 million gold to get all the obelisks and I need 10 million to get the golden clock. So um, I need as much money as I can get. <laughs> uh, hence this. So, <laughs> that's what we're doing today, <laughs> is trying to get rich. How many is that? 12? Is that too many? Ah, oh, perfect. Okay. Well, that's all filled up. Oh, wait, no, I didn't. Oh, I need one more. I didn't, I didn't finish the bottom. Oops. This is the Fern Islands, yeah. Um, Fern Islands. 
It's just the islands. Ginger Island. Ginger Island. Uh, Kayla, so sometimes you, you can get anywhere from one to three seeds from the seed maker. Sometimes you get one, sometimes you get two, sometimes you get three. Um, so that one, that time I just got one, sometimes I get three, you know. So luck, if you're lucky, you'll get three seeds per thing, but you don't always have that much luck. Is this a mod? Nope. This is from the new update. This is with the 1.5 update. I am going to sell all of those. The perk of planting things on the island? Well, um, it's sort of like a giant greenhouse because there's no seasons on the island, so these crops grow year round. Um, that's a perk. Um, you just have basically a whole second farm. CJ, thank you for the five months. It's a big perk. <laughs> A very, very, very big perk, because you have an entire second farm, so. Okay, well, I think I might just go home then, because I pretty much did what I needed to over here. And we could come back tomorrow with our prismatic shards for the quest. Okay. But yeah, so I'm, I'm using it to grow a bunch more ancient fruit, because I want to be rich. <laughs> Uh, that is why I'm doing this. Okay. Leave those there. Heading out. I'll see you later, Misha. Thank you for hanging out today. Um, Stardew gets updates. I feel like they get massive updates. It's been, like, once a year or so. They've done, like, massive, massive updates. Um, I say they. The game is made by just one person. <laughs> um, so he does massive updates, like, once a year. Uh, and this time has been- <gasps> What do I call my horse? No, there's no crows, there, so you don't need scarecrows on the island. Um, I'm not gonna whisper you, miss. Uh, that is your first message in chat. If you have something important to tell me, you can tell my mods. Um, what do I call my horse? I kinda wanna name it Jerry. Oh, no. Jerry. That works. Look at me go! Now I can be so speedy! This is worth it. This was well worth it. I'm glad I did this. <laughs> okay, I did give everyone gifts this week, right? Well, the ones that I needed to give, to give. Yeah, okay. I might just go to sleep. So. I can pick a hat for my horse. I've got a bunch of hats inside. Let me see what I can pick. Um, I don't, uh, I don't really like these hats. I'm not a fan of, there's a dark cowboy hat. He can look kind of like me. <gasps> yeah! Oh, that's nice. Okay, let's go to sleep. <laughs> yeah, the horse will stay wherever you leave it, and then he'll come, it'll come back into the stable the next day. So, yeah, you can give the horse a hat. I, I have- the horse has a cone hat in my other save, so I want to, um, try something different today. <laughs> okay. Hello. Oh, yes! Wine. Money. Perfect. Okay. I love to be rich. And then that means that I'll have a bunch of stuff ready in my other, uh, in my shed, too. I named my kids Harry and Mary in this save. I want to go check up on these things down here. Nope. Not yet. But yeah, my kids are named Harry and Mary. <laughs> and I don't have any mods, no. I do not have any mods. Okay, let me go get these things. I've never used any sturdy mods. I don't really mod The Sims either, in case you guys hadn't noticed. I mean, I use a couple mods that make my life easier when I'm recording, um, like MC Command Center and stuff. Um, but I, like, this game is a game that I play for fun, you know? And I think a lot of mods are, like, kind of mods that people use to cheat a little bit. No harm in that, but, like, I, I like to just play vanilla. I think it's fun. Like, I don't, I never felt the need to download mods for Stardew before. Um, like, I don't need to download, like, a, a speed mod or anything like that, you know? Oh, I stole my houseplant. Oops. 
didn't even realize that. Where's Mary? Can you show her? Yeah, she was just born, so um, it's still inside of the crib. And this is Harry. <sighs> but yeah, this game is so fun, like, with and without mods that, like, I've never really felt the need to download one. So... Again, I don't, like, no harm, there's so many cool mods, like, I'm not trying to, like, talk down on mods, because mods are really cool, I just have never... Yeah, she's still inside the crib, because it's still a baby. It has not grown out of the crib yet. <laughs> oh! Alright, I need to bring four prismatic shards to the thingy. Do I have a beach warp totem? Or I, I keep saying beach, how do you make the island warp totems? Hardwood, dragon tooth, ginger. Oh, I'm just gonna use it. <laughs> I don't care. I'm just gonna use it. I want to get my prize. <laughs> so. I'm married to Elliot in this save. <laughs> okay. This is spoilers, by the way. There is an obelisk to the island. I just don't have it yet. It costs a million gold. That's the one. I'm, that's what I'm trying to save up for. I only have six hundred thousand gold right now, but I should get a lot from my crops this season. Um. Okay. So, these are things that you can buy. Special things. This is kind of a spoiler, so leave, close your eyes if you don't want to see. But you can use these gems to buy, like, useful things. Mute me. Mute me. If you don't want to know, mute me very quickly. Um, this, ho like, for example, this horse flute summons your horse wherever you are. Uh, these Junimo chests work like ender chests in Minecraft. Um, like, you can place two of them. Like, so I can put one on the island and one at home. And then they have, like, I can access the chest from both places. Um... If you get the horse loot, you can summon the horse to the island. Oh, interesting. Um, hoppers work just like Minecraft hoppers. They load items into the machine in front of it. Um, the enricher, uh, you can put on a sprinkler, and it automatically applies fertilizer to seeds nearby. The pressure nozzle increases the watering range of sprinklers. The deconstructor destroys crafted items, but salvages the most valu valuable material. The key to the town allows you access to all buildings in town at any time of day. Um, the galaxy soul... If you forge three of them, you can make um, a, f a really fancy weapon, I guess. I haven't tried that yet. Magic bait. Catch any fish from any season, any time, weather, whatever, wherever you cast it. Mushroom tree seed. Um, some fancy seasoning. A hat. A really big fish tank. A heavy tapper recipe. I think I'm going to try to buy the seed recipes first. Um... Because I, like, I'm trying to finish crafting everything, so I'll probably buy the heavy tapper recipe. Um, and maybe, like, the deluxe fertilizer recipe. <gasps> what? I bought, ah! I bought the fish tank by accident? What did I do? <sighs> it's okay. We didn't get very far. <laughs> we are restarting the day. <laughs> it's unbelievable. I have to redo all of my wine. Well, you know what? It, it happens to the best of us. Sometimes you click on the wrong thing and waste a very valuable resource. And I don't want that, so I'm gonna do it again. <laughs> I'm gonna start the day over and pretend that didn't happen. Ooh, I'm getting a call. Sniff, sniff. Who? I'm gonna take a screenshot of that. <laughs> what is up with that? <laughs> Is that you, Grunt? I have some of that good sauce still, friend. It's making me very, very happy. Just want to thank you. Bye-bye, friend. Oh, okay. <laughs> I just got a phone call from a bear. 
That's pretty good. All right, let's grab these. I'll make sure I grab my totem as well. <gasps> no, wrong one. Imagine when I go to the desert by accident. <laughs> that wouldn't be good. That's not what I wanted to do. Oh, wait, look, my first hot peppers. I, like, you don't make a lot of money from peppers, but I planted them because I wanted to have them. I just, I thought it would be fun. So I, I made myself some. Uh, I just, I like how the farm looks when it's like, you know, <laughs> all full and stuff, <laughs> is what I'm trying to say. I like when the farm is all full, I think it's cool. Um, so, we are gonna make a lot of money from wine today. This will be a nice touch. Okay. The other thing that I want to do, I need to, I want to turn the quarry into, like, a, an orchard for, like, tapper trees. I guess once we learn the recipe for the quality tapper, that'll be super useful, too. So, maybe we can work on that. Like, we'll, um, we'll get the quality tapper recipe or whatever it's called. And then we will, uh, put that away. We'll use it to, um, build, like, a nice new area. Okay, off I go. Yeah, I'll show you how to make. I'll show you Selena. At the end of the day, we'll we'll look at like how it all, how the price breakdown all worked out from the stuff we earned. <laughs> You're putting your kegs in the quarry. Yeah. See, I need I need more materials to make all my kegs, so <laughs> I need to like do more tappers. <laughs> oh, I didn't tell anybody to unmute. Well, mute again. <laughs> um, I can't get another quest yet. But let me go by. Now, don't click on the wrong thing. I want the heavy tapper recipe. And I want... I guess I can afford the deluxe fertilizer one, so I'll buy that one too. Okay. You can come back now. I'll stop. <laughs> the fish tank? That's not funny. <laughs> um, okay, well, we made pretty good progress. We didn't mess up that time. You can unmute, by the way. Oh, snap! Hey! Come here! You alright? Oh, she came running! Did you not know where I was? I'm right here! Hi, kitty. <laughs> oh, snappy. Okay, I'm gonna go back home. I'm gonna go see if I can buy those recipes from Robin. Uh, that would be my cat. And that- Oh! She's running. <laughs> She's running around a little bit. Snap, what's up? How can I help you? She's just zooming around, don't mind it. <laughs> She's just living her dreams, it's fine. Everything's fine. Okay. Well, hopefully we can get the rest of those recipes from Robin, which is gonna be very useful because I need them. And then we can craft them. Shop. Okay, so you say that you can buy a new one every time you open it, right? Ah! I see. That makes sense. Interesting. How many of them are there? Carved one, too? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Skull one? How many of them are there? A marble one? Oh my goodness. The last is marble. Yeah, okay. Well, <laughs> that's a lot more recipes, so that's good. Yeah, look at all of these. Stone, gold, stump, carved, skull, barrel. We can make a lot of those really easily. So we can go work on crafting them. 
Kaleidoscope, thank you for the for the three month resub. CJ, thank you for the five months. Hannah, Ashley, oh no, Ma Marissa, thank you for the bits. I'm sorry if I missed those things from like 15 minutes ago. What is wrong with me? I don't think I did, but what if I did? The community upgrades, um, one of them builds a house for Pam, and then apparently, I haven't tried this yet, apparently you can like unlock shortcuts around the town, but I don't know what that means, um, really, because I haven't tried it yet. But that's what I've heard. So we will hopefully, once we've done the Pam thing, we'll be able to work on that more. But isn't that interesting? Okay, can I craft them all now? No, I need bone fragments. Do I even have 10? Okay, I do. What else do I need? Marble and aquamarine. Oh, geez. Okay. Well, we can't make that yet. <laughs> okay, there's a stone one. A gold one, I already made that, a stump one, a carved one, a skull one, a barrel one. <gasps> oh, the heavy tapper! Cool! Okay. Well, that's actually really exciting. What was the other recipe I bought? It was like a deluxe, deluxe, oh yeah, the deluxe fertilizer. Okay. Well, let me like swap this out for the deluxe tapper the heavy or the heavy tapper wait what does the heavy tapper do place on maple oak or pine tree and wait for the reservoir to fill with product works twice as fast yeah that's perfect that's what i thought it did um so hopefully we'll get more um okay well now we have so many things to like do and craft and see and oh my goodness <laughs> Um, but okay, so that item, um, this isn't the best layout for it because any chest that's touching this thing So if I put this like somewhere else like here will be better because then it can access all three of those chests But this is a crafting bench uh, a workbench that you can buy from Robin And then it draws from the chest that you're that you it's next to so that you can craft things really easily from it But it has to be uh, touching the chest so it doesn't like I have to grab things out of this chest I'm gonna move it somewhere else eventually, but I haven't done it yet because it seems like a lot of work um, to have to move on my chest. So I just haven't, but I will eventually. I just haven't yet. <laughs> yeah, it naturally takes a while, um, but with that new heavy tapper thing, you can get, you can speed it up. This, this is just gonna give me regular sap, but that'll be kind of useful. So. Yeah, but putting it between two chests is a better method, but I'm gonna eventually make it so that it's like surrounded by four chests. I just haven't moved it yet. Um, okay. Well, I, I might put those all in a chest in my house. To be honest, I might just go to bed. Because I want to move on. But yeah, like, surrounding it is way better. It makes way better use of the space. I just haven't done it yet. So, <laughs> when's the stream ending? Uh, I'm going to play one more day. So here's the breakdown, by the way. We made 103,000, almost 104,000 gold from that ancient fruit wine. Um, which is pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Naya, thank you for the five months, by the way. <laughs> you can get seven chests around it? Oh, nice. That's really useful. Okay. I didn't know you could get that many. Spirits are in good humor today. Thirty-five stone. That's useful. I also have some iridium, some battery packs, some resin. <laughs> um, I don't think that cooking show was a rerun. No, Sneakful. I already have all the recipes. I only I've already cooked everything except for one. I don't have a sea cucumber, so I can't cook this one yet. But I don't. I, I already have all the recipes, so I don't need it. It's okay. I've done it. <laughs> I have it already. <laughs> um. <laughs> money, 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 money. Money, money, okay. Oh, a sea cucumber pond to make lucky lunch. That's smart. 
Yeah, so I have them all already, but usually um, you would get new recipes on Sundays. So you're right about that. Um, usually Sundays there would be a new recipe. I just have them all already. Um, so, okay, I'm gonna go... Yeah, Simsy Sparks, I could've used a special bed to get sea cucumber, cu sea cucumber, but I don't really care enough. I don't wanna waste the gems on it. Cause I'll, I'll be able to get it really easily, so. I'm not too concerned about using the special bait to get the sea cucumber. See, this is why my farm is not cut out for having a horse. <laughs> is it worth it? I can't tell. Um, but I'm gonna go see if the traveling cart might have a sea cucumber today. So. Puffer fish? Nope. Well, maybe another time. <laughs> Dang it! Dang it! The horse has a hat on, yes. And <laughs> I thank you for the five months. I'm gonna be stuck, aren't I? Oh. Okay. Well, let me quickly, um, I'm gonna load my Stardew checkup again and we'll see how we're doing with the recipes for crafting everything because I am not sure. Okay, so crafting, we need the deluxe scarecrow, the hopper, the hyperspeed girl, and the magic bait. So we're almost there, we just can't get those yet. Um, we still need to make the deluxe speed grow, the um, fairy dust, and the marble thingy. Wait, didn't I craft the deluxe speed grow? Oh, I crafted it today, is that why? Oh no, it needs, oh, it needs the oak, it's the oak resin one. Never mind. Sorry, false alarm. That's the oak resin one. The fairy dust one I can't make because I don't have a fairy rose yet. Um, and the marble one, I don't have any marble. Marble comes from frozen or omni geodes. I have a lot of geodes we could go open. So we could try to get it right now. Okay, let's see if the fairy roses are grown yet. Nope. Not even close. Okay, so we need to make the, um... Deluxe speed grow, oak resin and coral. And then, okay, coral, waste an oak resin on this. Oh, deluxe speed grow. All right, so there's that. I can't make the fairy rose thing. So just the marble, let's go try and get some marble. We have frozen geodes and we have omni geodes. Let's go do it. <laughs> Aggressive, thank you for the bits. What are those noises? Did you hear that? It was very quiet. Aggressive, thanks again for the bits though. I don't, I'm scared. Um, oh wait, Marissa said one time I have a return scepter. Okay, no, back up. You have a return scepter and the amount of times you've gone to the island and then traveled back home more than once. Yeah, that's um helpful. Like the return scepter and the, um, like having the obelisk and stuff is so useful to like go back and forth. Okay, so we need marble from this geo from these geodes. It says you can get it from frozen geodes, so I'll try that first. Nope. Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Don't have an island obelisk yet, sadly. Oh, that is annoying. But once you do, it'll be so easy to go back and forth. I'm gonna save a bunch of these things. Louise, thanks again for the 14 months though. I'm sorry if I missed anything today. I have no excuse. Just a beach one. Ah. I'm gonna get the island one first, I think. That's why I'm trying to save up a million gold to get the island one first. I think I'll use it. Like, I think it's worth it to get the island one because it's the most annoying place to go is the island. Um. So I'm gonna get the island obelisk first and then the desert one and then the like mountain and stuff ones. Um, Cause they're expensive. It's a million gold. <laughs> Perf, thank you for the prime sub. Rodu, thank you for the five months. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I finished museum, yeah. Um, the museum is done. I might save a bunch of these gems just in case I need them for crafting stuff. I'll stick them in a chest somewhere and save them. Um, I think that would be useful. Um, just give me some marble, <laughs> please give me some marble, please. Would I ever consider doing farm tours? How would I do a farm tour, Eva? <laughs> 
Um, it's not as it's not as simple as like a Animal Crossing come pop on to visit your island kind of thing. You'd have to like add me to your Stardew Valley farm. We'd have to be like Steam friends. You mean oh, there's the marble I need. You mean like me going to your farm? I don't think that's a. I don't know if that's possible. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's a, a thing that we could do. Um, oh, this is the wrong place. It's your birthday? I can sing you a song. Marissa, are we not already Steam friends? <laughs> well, you could upload saves, but truthfully, I really don't want to deal with that. <laughs> I don't know how to organize a, such a thing and like most people don't know how to like get their save and upload it I'm not I don't really I don't know if that's a thing that I'm comfortable doing farm tour seems a little bit too complicated for me I think that's a little bit of over my um over my head and my abilities to be honest with you <laughs> All right, there's the marble one that we needed Um Will you be my origin friend? Add me on origin little Tika. Well, I get a lot of origin requests. I might have to add you on origin. I, I might have to add you on origin. But yeah, I, there's like, um, if you want me to see your farm, there's there's Discord channels for that sort of thing. Like there's um, like Stardew Valley Discord channels. You could post like screenshots of your farm in there. And that's like a more feasible way to like show off your farm as opposed to like uploading save files and me trying to like, play on each of them. I don't really know. I'm not, I like, I'm not even comfortable doing that with the Sims. Like, I don't know how to, how to organize that in a way that is like easy to do, you know? Um, like that seems a little bit over my head with the Sims even. Like, where would you post your save files? How would we organize such a thing? Like I, that, I don't know. I don't think we're cut out for it. <laughs> and like, what if you're using mods and I'm like, I'm not obviously, so I don't. Cause there aren't like, there aren't dream farms. Like there are dream islands, you know, in Animal Crossing. It's not as easy to like go and tour people's. Um, but you could post screenshots of your modded farms. That's a possibility. Okay. <laughs> oh, I was gonna put the food away. It's Sunday so I can bring gifts to people. Okay. I want to go bring because it's a new it's a new week. I can provide some gifts to my friends. Wait, is Leo here on Sundays? It's summer now. Oh, he's on the island. Leo. I will literally spend a thousand gold just to to give Leo a gift. I'm not kidding. I'll do it. No, you're fine. It's a fine question to ask, Eva. Don't worry. Um, I just don't know how I would go about it. Uh, Panda, I'm friends with everybody. <laughs> I I have max hearts with all but three. I'm I'm getting close though. I I need one more heart with the dwarf, Krobus, and Leo. Um, so I'm really close to maxing hearts with everybody. Um, soon, soon I will get there. Maybe even now. I'm not sure. Do you love me yet? <gasps> yes! 10 hearts, oh my gosh. I might get it today. <laughs> Any gold or radiant items that they love? Do you get, what do you mean? Um, Cause I'm giving, like they love like diamonds and emeralds and stuff, which is what I'm providing them with. I might actually get it today. I might be further behind with Leo. I'm not sure. We might not get it with Leo, but we will probably get it with Krobus if we got it with the dwarf. Um, no, NC Stone, I don't have a sea cucumber. I have, um, I've got a super cucumber, but not a sea cucumber. I wish. Gold and ready items boost friendship faster. Oh, interesting. Well, instead they got a diamond from me. You tell me this after I max hearts with Krobus. Now I only have one person I haven't maxed hearts with. <laughs> you tell me this now. <laughs> when it's too late, I've already done it all. <laughs> you need to have maxed with your kid as well. That's not what the perfection tracker says. 
The max parts with your kid takes way, 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 way longer. Libby, Roju, uh, Purple, Twin, Louise, thank you guys for the subs also, by the way. No, you don't? Yeah, I didn't think you did. Okay. Well, let's go. Leo, I am here to bring you... It's a Sunday afternoon, maybe? He'll be outside of his hut, I guess. Didn't want to spam it? You're fine, Phoebe. It's okay. You tried to tell me. I didn't realize that giving them gold or iridium gifts made their, like, was better than regular ones. Wait, it's 1 p.m. Outside his hut. Yeah. He should be hanging out outside of his hut right now. At 1.30, so... You, he's at the beach? Oh, I passed him? Oh. Well... <laughs> well, never mind. Oh, he's he's coming up. He's on his way now. Oh, I did it! I have max hearts with everybody. I did it. Yes. <laughs> Except my kid. But I have max hearts with everybody. Oh, this is perfect. That makes my life so much easier. <laughs> nice! I'm gonna tell Duck Dan I'm gonna brag. And my sister. I need to text my sister. <laughs> I've never done this before, so this is a big moment. I have 10 hearts with everyone. Everyone. I, I emphasize everyone twice. Big moment. Big moment. See? I'm so glad I streamed this today. I made so much progress. No, once you have 10 hearts, it stays. Um, your relationship will decay normally, but if you have 10 hearts, it won't decay. So now I just have 10 hearts with all my friends. And it's just gonna be that way. Because <laughs> I just have my 10 hearts. Um, no, so the other single people, I you don't have to give- If I gave them bouquets, I could, like, max 10 hearts, but I'm not gonna, like, start dating them. The single ones you can only get eight hearts with until you're dating them, so. And I'm not gonna date them all <laughs> because I don't want to. <laughs> um, so you can only have up to eight hearts with the single people. It just stays that way. That's why the other hearts are grayed out. Oh, my alerts were playing very quietly. Thank you for the tier two sub, by the way. Um, no, I don't think it'll decay at eight hearts. They haven't decayed at all, so I would assume they won't. Um, I would assume they won't. Okay. Charlie, thank you for the tier three 12 months. Oh my goodness, thank you both so much. Um, <laughs> what is going on? But Nugget, thank you for the tier two, and Charlie, thank you for the tier three 12 months! That is a year of, of paying me so much money. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, you can date them all still if you're married. Um, to date them in Stardew Valley, you just have to give them a, a bouquet. And you can still give everyone bouquets. Um, I might do that in a different save. I think after I finish this run, I kind of want to try to do a Jojo Mart save. And I like the idea of dating them all at once in that save. Like, in my evil save. Because there's, like, a special cutscene you can get from doing it and stuff. Um... So I might try and do that in that save. I just, I don't really, I like Elliot and I don't really want to do that in this save. So I can do that in my evil Jojo save. But there's a Steam achievement to, to do the Jojo Mart one. And I want to get all the Steam achievements, so I'm going to do it. Um, I have never done a Jojo Mart save before, so that would be kind of fun, to be honest. Um, it would be different. <laughs> different, fun, and exciting. I could have put Speed Grow down with my Fairy Rose, but I didn't, and now I'm just stuck. I am gonna go take care of my animals quickly, because I have not been doing that. What's the Jojo Mart save? Okay, so basically, um, so when, you, when you're playing Stardew Valley, uh, there's like kind of two paths you can take. Um, when you first start out, there's like this run-down old community center, and there's like this Jojo Mart, Walmart-esque company that 
uh, is like running this big box store in town and kind of putting Pierre, the like small shop owner out of business. And so you can slowly but surely like repair the community center and like finish these bundles. It's kind of like, oh, you know, grow all of the spring crops and bring them here and like get all these animal things and bring them here and like get a bunch of, it's like a quest to get a bunch of items and then bring it to finish the community center. And then if you finish it, it repairs the community center and then um, it sends Jojo Mart out of business and then Pierre's open all week um, instead of closed on Wednesdays like he normally is. Or you could like pay money to Jojo Mart to get the same rewards. So like as you slowly repair the community center, um, you get perks for for example, like it repairs the bus stop. Um, so you you can like repair this bus stop, uh, and then Pam works here, and you can take the bus to the desert. You can like repair these mine carts, and so instead of like using a bunch of items that you've slowly gathered to repair them, you could just pay for it with Jojo Mart. Um, but then if you do that, like bad things happen. I don't actually know what happens. I haven't tried. Um, but, like, I, you know, usually you, like, don't want to support Jojo Mart. You want to support the small businesses locally, you know? Um, so. <laughs> uh, that's, that's kind of, like, that, like, first initial decision you have to make. Um, but. Did my ostrich lay an egg? Oh, was it inside? Did I not even notice? Oh, it did. Maybe I'll try and get another ostrich. <laughs> no, we aren't cruel. Pierre is cruel. That's why they hate him. It's because Pierre, like, he's a weird guy. He steals credit for all your hard work. I mean, Pierre's not a very popular, um... <laughs> Pierre's not very popular. <laughs> Just in general. <laughs> so. Anyway. Um... You can feel however you want about Pierre, though. Don't let anybody change you. But that's kind of the fun part about Stardew Valley, is that all of the villagers aren't good people. Like, they're not all, like, you know, quality good people that you can hang out and talk to. Um, some of them are bad. And I think uh, a lot of times people, like, assume a game like this wouldn't be that way. Um... They think it's, like, a happy-go-lucky little farming game, but it's, like, there's a lot of, like, deeper story and, like, um, all these cutscenes that tell you about all the characters and their backstories. It's just, it's, this is a really cool game. Oh! I got a mountain warp totem from the ground. <laughs> also, hi, Dad. Um, but I'm doing really well with this save. I'm getting there. I am getting there. We still have a lot to do, but I am getting there. Okay. Okay. Oh, I was gonna go, um, I was just, I was down there before, but I'm gonna go see if I can cut down some hardwood, because I want to make sure I have as much hardwood as possible. Yeah, a lot of players, um, the Jojo Mart route is, is pretty good, um, for, like, that, like, profit route people try to take. Um, because you can do it all, like, you can get everything really fast that you need. Um, that would take a lot longer when you go, like, the community center route. Because there are certain parts of the community center that you, like, can't really get until year two. Or, like, can't finish until winter. But if you just pay for Jojo Mart, then it's, like, done and easy. You know? Um, so. But that's, that, that way is good for the people that want to, like, speedily, you know, get stuff done. Get everything they want as quickly as possible. Get a lot of money. <laughs> uh, but the community center is a good way to, like show you around and like show you what crops you should be growing and like all of that kind of stuff too so i think the community center is fun what's my goal right now i'm trying to finish crafting everything um there are a couple recipes that i can't get yet i still need to do some more quests um and then i think i mean that's pretty much it right i just i have to like get some more crafting recipes and I just need to wait until fall so I can get the fish that I need. Um, but we're- I'm getting close to finishing, like, the perfection one. And then, I, and then I just need a lot of money, basically. But that's a work in progress. Then I just need 12 million gold. <laughs> um, but... Yes, Rayan, you get the rewards with- the, the difference between Jojo Mart and the community center is that you either- you just pay gold for the rewards, or you complete bundles for the rewards. So it's, it, with Jojo Mart, the, that, that route, you get the same rewards, um, but you can, like, pay for them instead of, like, trying to finish a bundle, you know? Um, Charlotte, thank you for the 10 months, by the way. Thank you so much. 
So you wouldn't have to like wait until you've grown every crop that you need from all the seasons. You could just pay for it and then get the prize. So. Okay. I don't really know what happens when you do it, because I've never actually- I haven't done it. I've just- I just know a little bit about it. I've never actually done it, though, so I'm probably the wrong person to ask questions about it, too. If you're curious, you could try, like, googling the, the wiki and maybe you'll find out some information, but I haven't done it, uh, yet. I- I intend to do it eventually, because I want to get the achievement, but... Um, I haven't done it, so I don't- I don't have all the answers you're looking for. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't have all of the answers you're looking for. Okay, um... Let me put the... Okay. Sell that. Alright, I'm gonna go to sleep and then I wanna look at my perfection tracker and then we can end the stream. Um, I just wanna update the save one more. Yeah, that's never been spoiled for me because I've never- I've never seen anybody do that. So I- I've never had spoilers for the Jojo Mart thing. Ever. Um. So. Okay, we're rich. <laughs> okay, Charlotte, PNW, Charlie, thank you all for the resubs also. Thank you so much. Okay, we're getting there. Let me upload my save again so that I can... Here we go. This is important. Now we look at... Okay, I still have not earned 10 million gold. <laughs> I still have to cook the one lucky lunch that I don't have the sea, cu sea, cu ooh, sea cucumber for. Uh, just the fairy dust that we need, and then I don't have these recipes yet, so I can't make them. Um, I still haven't bothered to go finding these secret note rewards, so I have to do that still, which is kind of silly, but I just haven't done it yet. Um, that one will be easy. Um, finish community center, got grandpa's evaluation, finish all the special orders, finish all the journal scraps, got all the golden walnuts, did all the island upgrades. Um, so it's just the cooking, the crafting, and then the obelisk and golden clock. We're so close. These are just money that we don't have yet. And then this is, we're like, I'm so close. <sighs> Michaela, Quentin, thank you both for the resubs. 12 months, Quentin. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, yeah, Grandpa will evaluate you every year, I think. I don't really know how it works. Yeah, I did the Adventurer's Guild. I did everything, Adventurer's Guild included. That's the um, Monster Slayer hero. I finished the Adventurer's Guild. I've been playing this save a lot off stream. <laughs> Like, a lot, a lot, a lot. I mean, look, I have, um, 83 hours in it. <laughs> uh, Lasagna, thank you for the four months. <laughs> Quentin, thank you for the 12 months again. My natural hair color? Brown? This? Um... But anyway, I don't really- I- I don't know. I've only- I've- I just got his, like, max valuation on the first year, so I don't know how to make him reevaluate you. Grandpa evaluates you at the beginning of year three, and we'll do it again if you put a diamond in his shrine. Oh, that makes sense. Um, but yeah, I don't- I don't dye my hair. This is my natural hair color. <laughs> I had a lot of fun today. Um, I really like Stardew Valley. I don't know if you noticed, but it is a very good- very, very, very good game. No, Grandpa's dead. He comes back as a ghost, Shan, and, like, evaluates your farm <laughs> at the end of year two. Um, like, the night from, like, winter 28 to spring one. Oops, open my own stream. He comes back and, like, evaluates you. And then if you get, like, enough candles lit, like, like a four-star evaluation, basically, he gives you a prize that gives you a redeem every day. Yeah, he comes back to judge you. Yeah. And, like, how much you've progressed. Like, is your house upgraded? Are you married? How much money have you made? Have you finished the community center? All of, all of that. Um... Want to name a wallpaper before I go? Yes, yes. Show me, show me. I'll name it. I'll name it. <laughs> show me the wallpaper. I'll name it. <laughs> oh, 100%. Yes, I will. <laughs> Ooh. Which one is it? These are all very nice. I, I like these. These thingies, these squares are very nice. This one reminds me of, um, coffee. Whichever I'd like to name, I get to pick? Oh my goodness. Which one do I want to name? <laughs> what do I mean it reminds me of coffee? That's such a weird, like, 
Um, I like this wallpaper, though. That's kind of cool. I like this one a lot. Lots of squares. Lots of bricks. Cafe no curtain wall. Stop. <laughs> Just name it after Animal Crossing. <laughs> Cafe no curtain. <laughs> Honestly, I I support that. You don't have to do that, but I cafe no curtain is kind of funny. It's a little bit ridiculous and it's not going to make a lot of sense to most people, <laughs> but <laughs> um it's strawberry lemonade. I don't know. This one like I assume there's lots of swatches. It is a good meme. Cafe no curtain wall is a pretty good meme. I never know like how much of a meme we should go for with this. When you ask me to name things, I'm like, how ridiculous are you willing to let me say? <laughs> like, what are you looking for? <laughs> Cause like cafe no curtain wall is, is good. But like, what if you want like a serious name? Like coffee beans. <laughs> One says Lil Simsy in the words. I don't speak Simlish. I, don't <laughs> I, I think my formal vote is cafe no curtain wall. Because <laughs> there's this, um, for context, there's this wallpaper in Animal Crossing called the cafe curtain wall. And it's really popular. Um, cafe curtain wall. And I, I wanted it personally so bad for so long. Um, and like, you can only get it from this woman who comes to your island and sells you fancy wallpaper. This is what it looks like. You see how there's like the pretty windows and the, the curtains. Look, look how nice that wallpaper is. So you can see why it's so popular. And you can only get it from her and you have to get lucky, kind of. Um, so I want, I've just, I really like it. This is Animal Crossing. Um, that's a, that's the wallpaper we're talking about. And, um, this is the one that we're gonna name after it. <laughs> anyway, that makes perfect sense. I have yet again destroyed your custom content. You are welcome. <laughs> I think I want to go find someone to raid though. Preferably somebody who's playing Stardew Valley. I think that would be nice because we were playing Stardew Valley today. Um, you know what? Tushi was in chat for a second earlier. Do you want to go see Tushi's channel? Tushi is really, really, really good at Stardew Valley. Like, really, really- Wait, is it Dr. Gluon's birthday? Is he live yet? Probably not. He usually streams later. <gasps> no, wait! Gluon is live and it's his birthday?! Oh, I'm sorry, Tushi! Oh, it's Gluon's birthday! It's Gluon's birthday! He's live! Oh, and it's Gluon's birthday. Dr. Gluon is a very dear friend of mine, um, and he's playing The Sims, and it's his birthday. <laughs> so, we have to go to Dr. Gluon. It's- we- I- we have to. Um, we can raid Tushi again at some point this week, because I want you guys to see his streams, but... It's Dr. Gluon's birthday, so this is very important. Um, <laughs> and I- I don't get to raid Dr. Gluon very often, because he usually streams way later than me. Like, he usually streams at nighttime, so he's not usually live when I'm live, so this is a good opportunity. Um, he's doing a Paranormal Stuff Pack stream, too, so you get to see the new content, the new- the new DLC. Um, and it's his birthday, so let's go say hi. I hope you enjoyed the stream today. I'll see you all on Monday. I don't stream on Sunday, so I won't be here tomorrow, but I'll be back on Monday. I love you, I miss you, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Goodbye!